Oi, 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 oi. Y'all won't believe what I'm playing. Wait. Oh my god. I can hear my own voice. Blech. That's disgusting. Is this what y'all listen to all the time? Let me mute myself. Ugh. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now I can't hear my own mic. Perfect. Rusty Keys, what's up? Oi, oi, oi. Wait a minute. Is Clef Key in this game? Oh, wait. I haven't revealed what we're playing. Uh, can y'all guess? It's the game that everybody's playing. <laughs> What's up, Rosera Ann? Oi, oi, oi. Too smug. Too smug to live. Which which one did you say that you picked up, Ann? Did you say you got Violet as well? I just went out and I picked it up. I went out and picked it up from GameStop without pre-ordering it because I'm a maniac. Uh, and then I've, I've just had it for hours and just haven't streamed for no reason. No good reason. I, uh, I was watching the last episode of Chainsaw Man. Listening to some music. Oops. But this is still early, right? Earl, all I ask is for Joltik. Joltik? I, I don't have an electric pick for my team yet. We could maybe. Hashtag maybe, maybe. We'll see. Is Joltik even in the game? I don't, it should be. Joltik should be in Violet because there's like, there's like electronic stuff in Violet, right? The, the, the like, what is it called? The legendary is like an electrical type where it looks electric. How am I doing? I'm doing fantastic. I slept like a baby. I slept like a like an infant, like a small baby. Uh, only when we have the sound one. The what? <laughs> the what? What sound one? Where? What sounds? Where? There are no no more sounds. No more sounds available. Uh, let's try the co-op thing. I don't even know how does the co-op work in this new game. I don't know. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I'm almost ready. I'm almost ready. Where did I put my water? No, I need my water. You debated going to get the game early, but you heard that there are so many issues. There better be. There better be some issues. We're going to find every single one. The get They can't be possibly as buggy as the game that we played last night. Super liminal. We broke it. We completely broke it like four times. And the game has been released for a long time. Like, it's it. it they could have fixed those bugs a long time ago. There's no way. I've heard that there's FPS issues. I guess we'll see. You held back on getting it for now. Oh. Only when we have have the sound. I, I just literally didn't understand it, Calico. I openly ask and beg you to tease me. I please, for heaven's sake, just 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 go after me as much as you can. <coughs> I could use it. It builds character. Uh, I can I can't I can stay here for a moment, but when you start playing, you need to go because you don't want spoilers. Spoilers for Pokemon? Is that a thing that exists? You know, the the whole game was was like leaked, right? The whole game was leaked, but I, I I don't even care about the spoilers. Like, I wasn't even worried about it. The only thing that was spoiled was, like, the evolutions. And I don't I don't care about knowing that. Uh, ZB, what's up? How are you doing? Ready to, ready to check out Pokemon? We're checking it out. Thank you. Thank you, Rusty Keys. What am I wearing? I'm wearing my pigtails. I got some pigtails on. <laughs> just for fun. For no good reason. My hair was looking weird, so I was just like, ah, we'll just... We'll just put it in pigtails. It'll be, it'll, that'll solve everything, right? Just have some, some piggies. Oink, oink. <laughs> Can I get some oink, oinks in chat, please? <laughs> Can I please get some oink, oinks? Oh, wait. Oh, I already said it to the game. Let's go. All right. We, we're, we're going to be, we're un unwrapping this game. Everybody get ready for the unwrapping. I'm, I'm not, I'm not wasting any time here. I want to play this so bad. We're get. I've already picked out a starter. We're gonna be adopting a pile of leaves, as it says. There we go, we got an oink oink. Thank you, Rosera. Thank you, oinking for the piggies. <laughs> okay, I'll have, to, I'll have to adjust how loud the console is, as usual. Oink, oink, thank you for the headpad. <laughs> Headpad's kind of broken. Wait, 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 there we go. There we go, that works. What do we speak? What do we speak these days? Are we still speaking the same language? Sometimes I feel like y'all are speaking a different language than me. Here, uh, we'll say, we'll say Espanol, Espana. Esp what does Espana mean? Why, why is it, is that like Span, Sp Spain version of Spanish? Is that what that means? Espana, Fra France, <laughs> Deutsch, Italiano, Nihongo, uh, Korean. Uh, wait, what are the differences between these two? One of these is Chinese, but what's the other one? Is the other one like Vietnamese? No, it can't be Vietnamese. That has like a completely different script. What? Espana is Spain. Yes, yeah, so it's Spain Spanish. 
So, oh, simplified Chinese. Is the, I'm guessing, oh, thank you, Rusty Keys. Okay, okay. One of them's Chinese, one simplified. I can't, I can't read it no matter how simple it is. Uh, oh, no, we have to pick an appearance already? God dang it. Uh, what, what are we going to do? More, f more like face thumbing. <laughs> Moy, are you going to bed? You going to hop off? Hey, we'll see you later. Keep yourself safe from the spoilers, Moy. Get that game. Get that game and get playing and tell me what you think about it. Uh, we could pick a normal, a normal child. They're all normal children. <laughs> They're all boring. These are all just normal looking kids. They all have the same eyes. Why are all their eyes the same? All the girls have one hairstyle. All the guys have one hairstyle. These are these are lame. These suck. <laughs> this is a bunch of boring. You can customize them. Okay, thank God. Uh, so you just start with the look. I don't know what I want to do though. Do we want to be? Do we want to be a girl or a boy? Oh, we're just picking like the pre the preset. Okay, it's just the base. Thank God. I was going to say, it's so limited. Uh, let's just pick, let's just see what, we'll see what custom, what? No, it's making me do more. It's making me put in my name. I don't want to do that yet. I, I want to, I want to decide what to do yet first. I'm, I'm indecisive. Okay, we're, we're going to say Earl. I almost typed in my real name. Whoo, that was close. Almost doxed myself. <laughs> All right, Earl. Okay, cha we can change look and hairstyle. Okay, it's got a different eye shapes. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Now we got some options. My eyes are pretty squinty. Yeah, like that. Yeah, I think that's my eye shape, right? It's this one or this one. Maybe, maybe this. Well, we'll do that. Uh, how do I? How do I go to the next thing? Okay, my eyes are like are like greenish. Yeah, that's way too green. My eyes are not nearly that green. Uh, do you real your? You mean your real name's not Suds? What? Listen, it essentially is. I have beautiful eyelashes. I have I have some serious eyelashes. If we're if we're gonna make this realistic, we could also make my character look like a clown. Wait 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 wait. How how clowny can we get with our appearance? What's what's the most ridiculous eyeshadow? Oh. Oh, that's be. Oh, that's be. Oh, oh. I rather like this. Okay, okay. What kind of eyebrows we got? I can't see the eyebrows. Let's let's do the hair first. Do you want to go with this look? Sure. Just just let me change my hairstyle. Okay, we're gonna start with a hair. Purple, <laughs> typical side braid. <laughs> we got the side fade. Got the short bob. Oh, that's cute. I wish my hair actually looked like that. Long and straight. Side part, very swaggy. Long bob. Oh, this hair is so pretty. All this hair looks good. Pompadour, look like a JoJo character. Purple. Yeah, we need purple hair. Pixie cut, always cute. All this hair is fantastic. It, well, this hair is on the line. This hair is on the line for, for good. Short dreads. All, the, all this looks sick. All this is great. Tossled hair. Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's pick let's pick some long hair. I want to see if I can make my character look like a clown. Yeah, what kind of hair colors have we got? Whoa, 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 whoa. Where's where's the purple? Smoky pink. Oh, lavender, violet, <laughs> just like the game. Oh my god. Okay, is there space buns? Are there space buns? Ponytail. That'll just make me look like every other character. Uh, we could either... Ooh, Space Buns is cute! Oh my god. Oh my god, it's adorable. It's adorable. I think, I think we might go with the Space Buns. Now, let's keep, let's keep adjusting our look really quick. What, what, what do we look like? Uh, I want to change my eyelashes. Those look... No, 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 not the eyelashes. I'm so sorry. I meant the eyebrows. The eyebrows look silly. I got big eyebrows. I got huge eyebrows. No, bigger. Bigger. Yes. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Is there eyebrow color? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Do we have dye? Have we dyed our brows? Bet we have. There we go. It's looking good. Bigger. More. 
More! <laughs> oh, we can make him match my eyes. That's that's weird, right? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I need this look to be more iconic. More iconography. What kind of mouths of- Oh, <gasps> there's a cute mouth! Wait, 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 where was the cute mouth at? Oh, it's got the little, it's got the little, ooh, woo, that's so cute. Ah, oh, I love it. We have to pick an ooh, woo mouth. How many ooh, woos are, are there? These seem to be going like up in size. That's cute. Yes. The colon three face. The biggest colon three face is this. That is adorable. Do we have lipstick on? Oh, this is pretty iconic. I will admit. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna just say, this, this character is a little iconic. Let's see, got a bunch of beauty spots. Are these all just beauty spots? Is there? Yeah, these are. <laughs> these are just. <laughs> these are just pimples. Why? <laughs> why don't you just <laughs> make it an option to move it around? Oh my God, no beauty spots. We could have freckles. That is cute. Freckage. Should we go with freckles? I don't have freckles in real life. Can we make the eyebrows that match the drapes? <laughs> Shut Luke's up! Tayaki! Think of the 100 bitties! Oh my god, Tayaki! Tayaki, you came in hot! How are you doing? Oi, oi! Ooh! That's oh. iconic. Hang on. Back to red. Yeah, let's make the, make the eyebrows match. Match the hair. You're probably right. We should go with violet. Like that? I don't know. Something something feels off. Something's some there's an error. There's a problem. <laughs> I'm late for Pokemon school. Is that you with a whole loaf of bread in your mouth? <laughs> Tayaki. Oi, 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 oi. It's pretty adorable. Pretty cute. How do I how do I make this better? These are oh, these are color contacts, so they're not even your eyes. These aren't even my real eyes. We could pick we could pick just just a cool color like red. Oh. Ooh. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, the eye color is a huge option. I didn't realize that I had crazy eyes. These are kind of rad. These are kind of rad. Okay, maybe maybe I adjust the eyebrows. Maybe that's what's messing with me. The eyebrows are the eyebrows are kind of funny looking. Main character from a shonen. Oh, now those are some powerful eyebrows. Now that's the kind of power that we need. Okay, I, f I found the problem. The problem was the eyebrows, and they're way better now. Uh, this looks pretty adorable. This looks like I want to look like in real life. <laughs> Pedro, what's up? How are you doing? Oi, oi! Welcome to Pokemon Violent. I can't, I can't zoom in on my face. Okay, let's let's press B to confirm for a moment. Let's let's look at the hair. Let's let's take a, a reevaluation. The red eyes look super cool. That's true. The red eyes do look super cool. Oh! I need the hair to be somewhat realistic to what I could do with my hair. That's almost how long my hair is, but it's too basic looking. Too basic. Our characters, our characters got more swag than that. Ah, uh, two block cut. What does that mean? Oh, baby, dude, this is such a look. Oh, Kuri, what's up? Stop being basic. I'm not being basic. You're being basic. Being so basic. <laughs> Kuri, thanks for the 24 months, two years, two years of supporting the suspicious Earl. Well, well, well. Well, 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 if it isn't Kuri, look what the cat dragged up. Another cat. <laughs> Kuri, thank you. Thank you. You dummy. You sweet dummy, you. Which game did you pick? I know that you're playing this game. Don't try to lie to me, Kuri. I know you already bought it. Which one did you get? See, now this would be basic. It literally says these names, standard shortcut and typical side braid. You're getting Scarlet, Ten's getting Violet. Oh, so you don't have them yet. Nice. Maybe, maybe I know less than I thought. Scarlet, Scarlet's got the the mommy, right? Scarlet, Scarlet is uh is past mommy. Violet is future daddy. 
It was kind of a kind of a hard call, honestly. Oh no, they're both hot. It's impossible to pick. The panic. The panic has set in. Dude, I'm accidentally uh, uh, creating my ideal human being for both myself and my partner. Oops. Oops. Didn't didn't mean to, to make the most attractive character in the world. Sorry about that. But let's let's see if we can change the eyeballs. Do, do the eyeballs look better as a different color? Ooh. <laughs> Those are cool. Wait, wait, wait. What about what about different red? Total dark. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's amazing. A multicolor swirl. Whoa. <laughs> That's a mossing. Ooh. Ooh. These are all ugly. Oh my god. Okay, what about is there another red in here? That looks like th that looks like a black hole. That looks like also A Star, what's up? Welcome to Pokemon Violent. Dude, what about this? What about these eyes? The orange looks like the picture of the black hole that they made. Red does look good though. I will admit, red does look good. Everybody uses multicolor. No! <laughs> it's too scary. This looks like what would happen if your character was possessed by the legendary in this game. I wouldn't trust anybody with these eyeballs. Not not a one. Poppy Red is really pretty. We can mic our match our bike dragon. No! I don't want to match him. <laughs> I don't want to be assimilated. Uh I think our, our lips look good, right? Ooh. No, Violet, Violet, Violet doesn't doesn't bring this together. Yeah, I think these lips have to be red. Otherwise, otherwise it don't look right. What do y'all think? I think this looks amazing. The red does look so good. I'm saying. Also, Lemonberry, it's good to see you. Lemonberry's here early. Lemonberry's off. Yeah, the red ties it together. You can't you can't make it look too much like a clown. And I'm I'm a hundred percent sure about these eyelashes, right? I'm pretty sure I am, but I did not go through all of them. Ooh. I'm going to I'm going to end up looking like the the student that is like 1 year older than all the main characters and is like uh is like a local punk. It is super tough. Those look scary, dude. Those look like those look like spike wheels. <laughs> it's frightening. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm I'm the older senpai that that knows how to fight. What do y'all think? Number one and number two. Number two kind of big. Number two, number one. Mmm. I think the number two stands out a little bit better, right? They're pretty. They're all everything's pretty in this game. What the heck? What the heck? Pokemon made an adorable game. What's going on? You think you think number two? Yeah. I think the character models are gonna be so small. They'll be so small, it'll be hard to tell. Okay, I don't wanna I don't wanna be sitting here for too long. I'm gonna hold you to that when you first faint. What? I'm not fainting in this game. Me and my Pokemon will never die. Uh there's no head shape adjustment. You can't adjust your, your head. Your head is always the same shape. We're all just the same eggs. Okay, I look hot. Perfect. You can't change your language or name after starting the game. But can you change your, your look later? Okay, our character is amazing. Our character is perfect, beautiful. Ah, what's going on? Also, Anne's playing is playing violent as well. All right, language, English, name, Earl. Perfect. Probably outfit and hair only. Okay, no, no big deal. Our character looks great. Okay, how, how loud is this game? Can y'all hear it? Leading the way into the future while valuing our individuality. Oh, I get to skip good. It's time for you two to dive into the world of Pokemon. Who is that? Is that my friend? Is that my childhood friend? I'm so ready. You're not future daddy. Who is this clown? Detector Clavel, head of UVA University. <laughs> UVA University. 
Are they biting off a hero academia? Paldea is a sprawling region bursting with lush nature and magnificent landscapes. It is, of course, home to the mysterious creatures known as Pokemon. They reside here in great numbers, in fact. <gasps> a baby! I love that baby! I want that baby on my team. I want that baby. I want Smoliv. I want Sprigatito. We're just gonna have a we're gonna have a baby team. Pokemon can be found living all over. In the seas, in the skies, even in our cities and towns. You may even find a Pokemon within your walls insulation. We humans coexist with Pokemon as we help one another live and thrive. UVA Ac Academy is here to help learn even more about these precious partners. Within our halls, people from all regions gather to study together. And the Pokemon trainers, they do battle. They grow alongside them. That's a new looking Taurus. With robust curriculum of coursework helps our students draw forth their fullest potential. Is this saying that the tutorial is going to be really long? <gasps> the teachers. Oh, are those Pokemon teachers? They look like humans. They look like they could be the teachers. <laughs> Uva, it means grape. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I don't know how to read any languages. Pokemon Violet. There's a ghost type in here. So yeah, I'd say the Pokey Removers. <laughs> Who's the Poke Removers? Don't you dare remove my Pokemon. Yes, please, please translate to Spanish. There's this flamingos. Flying bicycle. <laughs> These legendaries. Why is the music like that? Is this an enemy to humanity? Oh, look at those fancy pompadours. They look like Jojo characters. Those are some tough parrots. They speak in full sentences. Are those my pets? Are those just what, those are just wild birds. <laughs> Also, Tin, what's up? How are you doing? He's running out of battery. You better look out. That's a, that's a Tesla Pokemon. Might burst into flames. Who knows? I'm reading the book backwards. My character's reading from right to left. What's happening? Ah, another day. Another day in the life of a university student. Good morning, room. Good morning, closet. I'll never be stuck in you ever again. Good morning, Nintendo Switch. The new Nintendo Switch system. This one has a bigger screen. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. Today on Seut Adventures, we'll see Mesa. Oh my goodness, there's so many words. Look at my albums. Your mom built these shelves herself. She neatly decorated all of your belongings. Oh, what's the name of that Pokemon up top? It's so cute. <gasps> a big baby. A big, a big Squolvet. Squolvet plush made with care using soft material. That's so cute. <laughs> it has its own little blanket. Should I grab my stuff? My bag and my hat, but it's not time to get ready yet. Hop it. That's its name. Thank you, Lemonberry. Hoppet is adorable. Good morning, mother. Have you made breakfast? Oh, we have a pet school vet. Mother, where are you? It says Muncha. You got such chubby cheeks. Baby. I don't really have any idea about how this game works yet. Do you get to freely roam? Do you get to have a Pokemon out? What's the catch system like? Who knows? You saw parrots? Finally, Chattatot is not alone. <laughs> Good morning, Earl. Mom. Mom, why is everybody sexy in this game? Please help. Oh, you're already in your uniform and everything. 
Well, this is your first day at the new school, after all. I'm so excited for you. Still, you might want to cool your engines before you go racing out the door. The school contacted me and says we're supposed to wait here a while longer. Their words, not mine. Apparently, there's something very important for your first day that hasn't arrived. Ding dong! Amazon delivery. Maybe that's the very thing that we're waiting for. Earl, get the door, would you? Sure. Where's the door? Is this the front door? Oh, there's a little pokey plushie up on the shelf. Whoa! <laughs> the zoom. <laughs> I don't know where the front door is. Do forgive the intrusion. You are Master Earl, yes? On behalf of the Academy, I must apologize for the late arrival of your enrollment documents. And also for my delay in introducing myself. Ooh, he's got some snappy shoes. I'm director of the Uva Academy. You can call me Mr. Clavel. The director? You came in here in person for my son on his first day? Well, I'm responsible for the entire Academy, including any failures on its part. So here are the so here are the last of the enrollment documents that should have already been delivered to you. Thanks. We love paperwork. Goodness, you didn't need to have to You've come all this way. At least could I offer you a cup of tea? Oh, no need to trouble yourself. Earl, I've got a thing or two to discuss. Uh, Earl, I've got <laughs> Earl, I've got a thing or two to discuss with the director here. Why don't you head to your room and finish getting ready for school? You'll need your bag and your hat. Uh, now, Mr. Clavel, please simply join me for a cuppa. Well, how could I refuse such a, a kind offer? Yeah, I gotta go get my sun hat. I don't want to get my, my skin charred out in the Pokemon sun. What's the name of this place? I'm trying to remember what the what the region's called. It's not Uva, is it? No, it's Uva University. Paldea is the is the region. Put on your hat and grab your bag. Drip check. <laughs> it looks okay. I look like a look like a Boy Scout. A Boy Scout with a bonnet. Mom! Mom, when do I get to start collecting sentient creatures? Ooh! Look at all the options. Show nicknames, sure. Auto save, horizontal camera, give nicknames, send to boxes, tech speed. Let's make it fast. Boom. Now we're ready to game. What's in my bag? Nothing. I got my adventure guide. Nice. Mom! Are you done talking with my professor? Why does the director have that kind of an accent? <laughs> I don't think the director has any accent. I guess he's I guess he's from Spain. This is all set in Spain, so I guess he, he's supposed to have a Spanish accent. But I, I don't freaking know. Also, I love the, the premium balls that he just has hanging on his pants. Or on his jacket. He's just got three balls per pocket. Just just hanging out. Oh, would you look at you? Well, just look at you. All ready for your big day. Yes, the uniforms of our stor storied academy suit you quite well indeed. Oh! Oh, gracious, how careless of me. I've completely forgotten that I've got something else for you, Master Earl. It's an important thing. But your living room is hardly the place for it. Would you care to follow me outside? Mom, what is this? I wonder what important thing that might be. Go follow the director out there and see. Director? This wouldn't happen to be my starter Pokemon, would it? Because I sure would love to start this game. I want to learn how to beat up other Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon time? Yes. Short tutorial. Short tutorial, please. Ooh. Right then, dear Pokemon. Time to come out of your balls. Whoa. There they are. There they are. The classic trio. They're all adorable. Pokemon did so freaking good. Game Freak did so good with these designs. We provide each student entering the academy with a Pokemon of their own. You could pick one as a partner. As, as a starter. Sprigatito, the grass cat Pokemon. Spur. <laughs> 
Fui Coco, the fire croc Pokemon. <laughs> Crawl? And Quaxly, the suspicious JoJo character. Quaxly, the duckling Pokemon. Pomp. <laughs> See, he says pomp because he has a pompadour, but his pompadour has a little, has a little, a three on it. It's adorable. They're all very good company. All right. I've already picked mine. I picked mine months ago. He has mustache hair. Yes. <laughs> it turns out that they're more inter, they're more interested in you, Master Earl, than familiar old me. I do wish that I could stay to see which one you'll choose, but I must be off to my next house visit. What? So he's going to leave all three of them? Do we get to, like, try them? I'll be at the house over there. Take your time with your decision. Now, if you'll excuse me, until we next meet. What a mannerly fellow that director of yours is. These three are lovely, but you need to choose just one, right? Not an easy task. Why not take this opportunity to walk around with the little ones and get to know them? I'm sure they have lots to teach you. Oh, but before you go, I have something to celebrate your big day. Take it with... Take it with you if you're going out on your own. A Rotom Phone! Hey! Rotom Phone's back! Oh, snap. Pokemon, where you collect pets that you battle with other pets. Yes. <laughs> Pet battler. Listen, why would you... Why would you just adopt a cat if you couldn't make it attack other cats? Alright. Now we got a map. This is cute. I like that they're letting you walk around with the Pokemon. What are, what are they going to do, though? Ooh, the camera's bonkers. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello, little ones. They're so small. You can really zoom out in this game. This is kind of cool. Good good for hunting. Look at the babies. Oh, Sprigatito, you're so cute. I love you. Meow. It's got red eyes, just like me. Oops. I keep petting Sprigatito. I need to give the other ones attention. Fui Coco. Hello, little guy. How do I pet you? I can't interact with it. No, I'm only I'm only interacting with Sprigatito. <laughs> it won't let me it won't let me talk with Fui Coco. There it is. <laughs> sounds, sounds like it's throwing up. What about you, Quack? Quacksley, look at me. My boy. Oh, they're all cute. They're all adorable. There's no wrong answer. There's no wrong answer, but there is a right answer. Now, what? Can we just, like, walk them around? Do they do stuff? Can these Pokemon eat the cabbage? Come over here. Eat this Eat this cabbage for me. You cook it, Fui Coco. And Sprigatito, don't look. We're about to kill some of your your fellow grasses. Your fellow plants. Alright. I guess I guess we can go pick. Doodly doo, can I run? This is our map. The handy Rotom phone is a popular item used in the Paldea region. Using the app you can find useful information. You can use the left stick to magnify. Flying taxi can take you to places that you've been before. Nice! The game has fast travel. And the map rotates. Okay. This is pretty cool. I like this. This map looks huge. Also, they tell you where all the Poké Centers are, I guess. Whoa. The Great Crater. The Great Crater is where the great Pokémon live. Got any games on your Rotom phone? <laughs> I've got, uh, got Candy Crush. Uh... I might have to leave soon, though. My friend wants to bounce. Would need somebody to bounce off for their stream. Hey, Mercs! It's good to see you. Oi, oi, oi! But yeah, no worries. No worries, no worries. If you're gonna go help your friend out, go help your friend. Go be your entertaining self. The best way to spruce up a stream. Have Mercs. E -o, e -o, e -o. Yeah, but they're for they're for Rotom. What is that thing in the background? Is that is that a Pokemon over here? There's like a giant icon. Y'all see that? Yeah, look, there's, there's an icon for Pokemon up here. Is that is that a Pokemon that we can catch? Does it show them on the map? What the heck? 
Is that just a bug? No, it's it's gotten further away. That is really confusing. I, I'm gonna ignore that. Let's let's go pick our Pokemon. We'll walk through the pumpkin patch. Come on, little Pokemon. We gotta take this long walk. Oh! You can press a button to mess with the camera. This is great. Feels good. Come on, come on, little ones. Where's Sprigatito? Sprigatito, don't don't get lost. I'm gonna lose you if you just walk into the grass. Stop! No! <laughs> You're so small. You're so small and green. You blend right in. Do you want something? What what is Sprigatito trying to tell me? Ew! Stop belching at me. Also, Sketchy Parker, what's up? Oi, oi. Parker, isn't this game beautiful? I think this game looks better for y'all than it does for me. On this screen, it looks pretty... It looks pretty crunchy. This looks pretty dang crunchy. Like, look at my character model. Like, the eyes are, are so crunchy. The pixels are, are very ouchy in this game. It does not look... It does not look smooth at all. Looks like it got ran through a through a deep fried meme generator. Hey, little Pokemon, did you want something? I thought that they were trying to lead me somewhere. Okay, whatever. Come on, Pokemon, or I'll please my headache. I won't. I'll stop. I'm sorry. Just, just, just a couple times for old times' sake. Look over to over to the crunchy castle. Crunchitize me. Oh my God, we're so slow. Can I not run? How how do I run? I accidentally set a destination. <laughs> no, <laughs> I want to run. Spree, maybe short for spring. Gatito means kitty. Aw. Spree gatito. I think it's mostly a joke off of sprig. Oi! No scary sounds. <laughs> Shiny, what's up? Oi, oi. Welcome to Paldia. Paldia, these nuts. Look at all these little Pokemon. Which one would you pick, Shiny? Be honest. Be honest, which one? Would you pick Weed Cat, Jojo, Jojo Duck, or would you pick Patar? Whoa, now we can run. Oh my God. That changes everything. Welcome. This is Cabo Poco. It's not much, just a little pinch of a community, but it's home. You mean these two buildings? Hey! The power of science is amazing! If you connect with your friends, you can head out on adventures together! Up to four of you at a time! Wow. We're definitely gonna do that. We're, we're definitely gonna play this with at least Opsti. Maybe we can maybe we can get a, a big group together. A big group of four. It's cute that you get to hang out with the Pokemon before choosing. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's a fun idea. Like, you can hang out with them. I kind of wish that they had some activities or something, though. This might be an activity. Aw, Quaxley's cleaning themselves. Damn! Sprigatito sniffing some flowers. Aw! <laughs> Fui Coco eating. <laughs> Ugh. Oh. <laughs> you burnt the orange. He's a clumsy little guy. They're all cute. Also, Ashley, what's up? You're getting the game tonight? You'd love to join me? What? I don't know if we'll be playing with other people tonight, but we'll see. Not quite. Er Master Earl has yet to make his choice. Who is this? Oh, <laughs> they're all cute. Quaxley's like, no thanks. <laughs> Fui Coco burnt that orange and Quaxley was like, nah fam, <laughs> you don't know how to cook. <laughs> These babies. Oh my God. Oi, 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 just the face I needed to see tonight. <gasps> What's up? <laughs> how are you doing? Weed cat, hooray. Buenas, buenas. We haven't met, have we? Are you my big sister? I can't, I, I must say, I wasn't expecting to see you quite here quite so soon. What did you expect me to do? Walk around in circles, do nothing? 
Sprig looks cuter than the drawing. It's cuter as a drawing than a 3D boy. That's true. I think they, they all look cuter as, as a drawing, to be honest. Uh, hang on, director. Is that who I think it is? Yes, this is our academy's newest student, Master Earl. He'll be attending as of today. So you're that kid that moved in up the road? I've been dying to find out more about you. Well, you could have come over and knock on the door. I'm pneumonia. <laughs> what the heck? Her name is pneumonia. <laughs> I'm pneumonia. Normally I live in the school dorms, but home is here. What do you say, new neighbor? Want to be friends? Bruh, you don't just ask people to be friends. That's awkward. <laughs> you can say no. Dude, do we want to play hard to get? Should we play hard to get as far as friends are concerned? I don't know, pneumonia. I'm not sure. I just met you. I I don't make friends that fast, okay? You go, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to hang out and see if we have some shared interests. <laughs> and, and anonymity seems nice enough. Okay, we'll say yes then. Love that enthusi enthusiasm. We're gonna get along just fine. Anonymity. <laughs> anonymity. Anonymy. <laughs> pneumonia. Miss Pneumonia is the president of our student cl council. Oh, great. Class president. I absolutely love Pokemon battling. In fact, we should battle right now. You and me. Bruh, I don't even have a Pokemon. She's just gonna sick her Pokemon on this, on this new student. I've got this new fire type. His name's Charizard. He's gonna roast you like Fui Coco roasted that orange. Easy now. You two will be in the same class, so you'll have plenty of time for your pets to kill each other later. And get to know each one another better, of course. We're gonna be neighbors and classmates? Nice! We'll be able to make our our pets attack each other all we want. That's great! Oi! Ashley Rose, thank you for the biddies! Oi, oi! Are those biddies for Fui Coco to eat? Fui Coco is hungry. Thank you for feeding them. Ten biddies? Ten delicious biddies. Uh, you gotta watch out for those. Class presidents can be dangerous. <laughs> Buenas is a short form of greeting. Rusty Keys is going to translate the entire game for me. Thank you. On that note, Master Earl, you got a pick. Have you decided which one of these Pokemon you want? I actually, legit, I want all of them. But I've seen the spoilers. Fui Coco's final design is absolute just F tier. F tier disgusting. Quaxley looks okay. And Sprigatito is actually, it's, it's tempting. I'm not sure if I'm gonna evolve Sprigatito. <gasps> you could spin? <laughs> they brought the spinning back. And you get dizzy. <laughs> okay, that's rad. Okay, I love this game. I'll pick a baby cat. I'm basic. I'm basic. I said it. I pick a cat. Sprr. Also, it's got the red eyes. It's coming down from a big from a big trip. That's Sprigatito, the grass type Pokemon. You can use its plant powers to soak up whatever water you throw at it. Would you like to Yeah, it also makes you real thirsty. <laughs> this cat. <laughs> team cat, team cat. What's with the toothpaste duck? <laughs> They're all cute. All of them are super cute. Would you like to go with our good grass type Pokemon Sprigatito here? What do you mean good? What where does that good come from? How good is this? Is this cat morally good? I kind of want to I, I want to look real quick. I want to just look at him, okay? Quaxley. Quaxley, the sussy little duck. I love that boy. Pom. That's Quaxley, a water type Pokemon. It may seem quiet, but its mighty streams of water can put out any fire. You'll see. It's mighty streams of water. And it says good. Are these all good? These are all good boys. That's Fui Coco, a fire type Pokemon. The burning hot sparks of it, uh, it shatters. What? The burning hot sparks it shatters will fry any and all plants in a flash. Better look out, Sprigatito. Would you like to go with our good fire type Pokemon? They're all good. Well, I guess then I can't make a mistake. We pick cat. No, frick, not that duck. Yes. Sprr. 
I mean, I was draw I was drawing this Pokemon like months ago because I love it. I love the design. It's adorable. We got him. Hey, what's up? How are you doing? Is that hand to hand? <laughs> hand to hand? What's up? What's up? And also Yukin Arts. It's good to see you. Woo! Woo! Ah! I haven't seen you in forever. How are you doing, Yuki? Oi, oi! Is a cat morally good? Yes, according to Pokemon. <laughs> Sprr! You chose Sprigatito. You like to give them a nickname? Yes! Nice. What's their name? Or wait, should we... Should We could call them Spriga Spriga. <laughs> that would be cute. We could call them Desposito. You can call me Hannah. Ooh, I like, I like your name, though. Your username's fantastic. What's up, Hannah? It's nice to meet you. Welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon. Wait, should we name them? Should we name them Sprig? <laughs> Spriglet? Spriglet. <laughs> That's cute. Just Sprig would be cute? I think so. You like Despacito. <laughs> Sprigatito. Spriga, Spriga, Sprigatito. Spriga, Spriga. <laughs> we could do Spriglet. Sp just normal Sprigatito's cute, but it needs a. I, I, I kind of like Espriga. Espriga means Sprig. <gasps> That's cute. Espriga. Esprigatito. Should we name it Aspriga? That sounds adorable. Espriga. Espriga. Like this. Espriga. <laughs> That's very adorable. Uh, I don't know. Sprig would be adorable. Mm. That's so. That's hard. It's hard. Should it be Espriga or Sprig? This is not a complicated. This is not a complicated decision. I'm just making it Sprig. There we go. We can always rename it later, too. No Tito. <laughs> we cut the Titos off. <laughs> Been pretty busy with school, but you thought Pokemon sounded cool. Aw, and you wanted to see me again. <laughs> oi, oi. We always love a check-in from Yuki. I'm glad. I hope that school's going good, though. You said that you've been busy. And that's a good sign. It's a good sign for you to be busy with school. That means that you're focusing up. I hope that is going good. Fred is also a good name for any Pokemon, in my opinion. <laughs> just Fred. We could, we could name a Pokemon Fred. We just need to find a good one. You find it fascinating that you're saying Spanish words? Heh <laughs> Is it making you feel funny? Is it, is it, is it activating your brain? Uh, Sprigatito seems to have taken quite a liking to you, Master Earl. This is your first Pokemon, yes? Please raise it with love and care. And of course, keep it tuckly safe inside of a Pokeball. Can you pet your Pokemon? I, I think that they removed that, though. Also, Jay, it's good to see you. What's up, what's up? Earl, I can't believe you actually chose Sprigatito. What do you got to say about it, Pneumonia? I mean, like, what a perfect choice for you. You two are such a good combo. Wow. Can I choose one of these Pokemon to detect? <laughs> You're the class president. You already have plenty of Pokemon. <laughs> Bruh. She was already saying that she wanted to do a Pokemon battle. She's just, she's just wanted to take all of them. Oh, did you not receive a Pokemon when you entered the academy, Miss Pneumonia? I did, but it died. Not back then, no. I had other Pokemon I was focused on raising at the time. But now I want to raise a new Pokemon alongside Earl while he raises his own new partner. Indeed, a rather splendid idea. If you wish to raise one of these Pokemon on equal footing, I shall be more than happy to allow it. Yes. Which one is Pneumonia going to pick? You picked the stupid one, you fool. Since Earl's chose Sprigatito, I'll go for this little one. Why would you pick the one that is that mine is going to easily defeat? <laughs> you should pick Fui Coco, you silly melon. Pump, pump. But I do, I do really like Quaxly. So I'm glad that we get to see more Quaxly. All right, then. Now that we've chosen our Pokemon, we have to battle. I'll be waiting for you down at the beach. Can I train up my Pokemon so that we can crush them? That one's ugly? No, it's not. None of them are ugly. They're all adorable. 
I picked Quaxley, or rather my my siblings picked for me because they called dibs on the other two. Aha! Quaxley's cute. I like Quaxley. Seems like a sassy, smart little duck. He needs glasses. But I do hope that you join her for battle. So do I have to? I want to anyway. I want to defeat pneumonia. Miss pneumonia waits for you at the beach. Okay. Can I take off my hat? It looks silly. My hat looks not good. Okay. How do I remove my hat? <gasps> Sprig! Oh, so cute. See, the 2D form is way cuter. If only this game was two-dimensional. Auto heal. Nice. How do I change my outfit? I want to remove my hat. Maybe I need to find a mirror to do that. Sprig. Come on, Sprig. Ooh. An item. Nice. A potion. Bonus potion. Is there a bunch of stuff just laying around? 2D Pokemon better than 3D? I would say so. If only it could have 2D Pokemons inside of a 3D environment. If only. Could they make like a Paper Mario equivalent of Pokemon? Because I do, I do like the, the freedom of 3D as far as movement. But I like the, the battles being in 2D. It's so much simpler. Also, I just saw an item disappear. And I see another... Um, Oh, yeah, it is right here. What the heck? It disappeared. I can also see Pokemon on the minimap. That's going to be really convenient. Maybe, maybe that isn't a Pokemon. Maybe that's like a spawning area. I don't, I don't see the Pokemon. I'm sure that they're hiding them from me until I complete the tutorial. The pixel sprites have so much more personality. Yeah! In general, I like... 2D better than 3D. Uh, that goes for for people as well. <laughs> Anyone can be a Pokemon trainer as long as they have Pokemon. It's your duty to grow stronger in battle. Are you ready? You bet I am. Get him. Perfecto. I'm so excited. For this battle, I think I'll use Miss Pneumonia. Don't you dare attack him with all your level 100 Pokemon. I trust you to remember that Master Earl is wholly inexperienced in Pokemon battling. Haha, <laughs> whoops. Good call, Director. I was about to send out my usual partners right off the bat. Oh my god, this girl is going to kill me. I guess I'll take this chance to try out my new buddy instead. I like her, her wrist guard. Wrist guard. The tights are cool. And she looks like she's wearing swim pants. It's a wild outfit. She's adorable! Pneumonia! Look at that little quack! Look at that little duck! Look at that handsome little gentleman! Look, he's got the... I love him! Oh wait, whoa, 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 whoa! I was gonna zoom in on his on his little, his little fluff. His little belly fluff is so cute. Okay, we got some fancy camera angles. Horrible looking shadow, my god. Could we, could we take another look at Quaxley's shadow, please? <laughs> These are garbage! Dude, would the game look better with just no shadows? They're so bad. <laughs> the only thing that looks good in this game is the character models. Uh, let's get that leafage. The text looks really clear and nice. Its readability is fantastic. Sprig used leafage. Quaxley's almost dead. The textures on the battlefield, what on earth? Yeah, the character models are the only thing that looks good in this game so far. And they look so crunchy from afar. This is a shockingly ugly game. Get him! Hey! Don't you shoot that water at me. You'll just make me grow. Wow. I can't believe that you picked up the Pokemon that I would easily defeat. <laughs> Hooray! We win! Oh, strong! What was that camera? The camera just went Wow, not bad, neighbor. I got $300. Dang. Did you see that weird camera movement? Is it too late to save that? It's weird as heck. I don't I don't know if that saved that. Where is it? says it's saved. Where is it? Is 
yeah, this. It goes like, it goes to the director for a second. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that was weird. You got more potential than I thought. You're gonna be a strong trainer for sure. Win one battle. Now let's let's try again. Stop trying to to, <laughs> dude. Pneumonia is just trying to dunk on me. Uh, also, Draco, what's up? Hey, look, it's a meowana. <laughs> Aw, a meowawana. Meowawana. Meowawana is so freaking cute. A little pile of leaves. A little pile of meowawana. <laughs> little weed cat. Don't worry about it. Let's battle again soon. Dude, pneumonia is trying to kill us. Pneumonia is going to send us to the to the hospital. You two seem to be coming fast friends, though you only just met. Thanks for speaking that into existence. <laughs> Can I count on you to take uh, the new schoolmate under your wing, Miss Pneumonia? Mm -hmm. You bet, sir. All right, here's the Pokemon app. Don't forget to check your phone. Don't play games on it all day. Make sure that you only use it for, for GPS features. Golly. Back in the day, we used to use ordinary... All right, Boomer, come on now. Filling out Pokedex by hand? Oh, ho. That's horrible. Stop telling us about those bad days. Those bad days are over, old man. Your days are numbered. You'll be replaced. Now, Miss Pneumonia, I still have a few matters to discuss with your parents. Uh, could I depend on you to take him to the academy? Fantastic, yes. That little one. What's happening to the little one, did he say? Fwah! Oh, he's staying with the professor. Adorable. Fui Coco's just happy to be around. Yeah, Fui Coco's just, uh, just happy to be with the professor. His head empty. Let's be honest, Fui Coco's not thinking a thing. He was, he's only thinking about his next meal. Maybe I ought to make more time to work on my Pokedex. Oh, right. Speaking of Pokedexes, Earl, you probably never caught a wild Pokemon, right? I'll show you the ropes. Whoa, there she goes. Come back. Come back. I don't know how to play. Come back, Pneumonia. Pneumonia, stop. Where'd you go? Are we catching a, are we catching a Pokemon out here? Oh, bonus item. Hmm, I'm getting hit with lovely little lag spikes. Oh, just just a couple of drops, just a couple of drippy droppy for all. Oh. <laughs> Every single time that I spot it, I'm gonna mention it. <laughs> it goes. Oh. Okay, pneumonia, come back. Stop talking with my mother. Y'all y'all aren't gossiping about me, are you? I hear pneumonia here will be taking you to school. That's right, ma'am. Leave it to me. So you've already managed to make a friend. <laughs> and I read all the wonderful teachers that you have to look after you at the school. So many handy facilities that you can use as you like. And your new friend pneumonia. It sounds like your school life is shaping up to be fantastic. Let's not talk too soon, mom. We haven't met the bullies yet. Now, you'll be staying in the school dorm, so don't bother coming home. Here's a bunch of spending money. Oh, a bit. Excuse me. More like Negrona. Ne ne <laughs> What's her hair doing? Her hair is looking good. You shut it. You shut it up. A sandwich. Sandwich. Oh, and maybe you better take these two. Five potions. Use them on that precious little partner of yours should it get hurt in battle. I know every day in your new life is going to be full of exciting experiences far from home. Pokemon far from home. Just try and savor them all. The good times and the hard times too. But if you ever want to come back home, you know your bed's always ready for you. When I'm not renting it out uh, as an Airbnb, that is. <laughs> there she goes. Your mom's so nice, Earl. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 pneumonia. Don't get any big ideas. You're giving off big buy energy. So I, I, I know how this is. You stay away from my mother. 
Just kidding. <laughs> but I was going to teach you how to catch wild Pokemon. Come on, Vamos. Huh? I thought it was Vamanos. What's Vamos? Vamos means let's go. Vamos. Bye bye. <laughs> there they go. You're not going to walk with me? Mmm, sandwich. Oi, oi! I'm here with Wolfie, big sleepy kitty. Oh, you have a you have a big kitty, a big chonk, a big baby. It means come on or let's go. Come on, Vamanos, everybody, let's go. Come on, let's get to it. I know that we can do it. Where are the frames? Swipe or no swiping my frames. Here's Poco Path. There it is. It's beautiful. Oh, let chonk. Let's chunk. Look at their little booger eyes. <gasps> booger eyeball. Booger eyeball piggy. What are those things? What the heck am I li Are those eyeballs? <laughs> Is that an egg with eyes and little legs? You're going to see wild Pokemon out and about. They'll be in the grass and the path. Get too close to one and you'll have to battle. If you want to catch one, you got to use... A good old Pokeball. They're so small. They're very, they're very palmable. Very palmable. <laughs> I've got tons. Have a few. How, how do you keep all those balls in that bag, huh? Seems like Pokeballs should like stack inside of each other, you know? Like you open them up and then you stack them. Vominos is let's go, but more in the context of let's get moving. I see, I see. Vamos. Akimik, what's up? Welcome to Spain. Welcome to Spain. Oi, oi, oi. Alchemic, were you planning on getting this game? Tell me you're planning on getting this game. You you wouldn't let Mr. Oink just sit over here and cry boogers. You'll be crying boogers if you don't catch one. Pokeball shrink? Eh? Oink, oink. Let's honk. Absolutely not. <laughs> I didn't know that she was so opposed. But look at this little piggy. This little piggy needs a home. It's gonna try and eat my little sprig. Wait a minute. Pigs eat leaves. Look out! Okay. How do we do this? What's that X button? X button is for... For like throwing a Pokeball? We're gonna catch him. Alright, Lechonk. Now don't die on me. I'm just gonna scratch you a little bit. Ah! Okay. Perfect, perfect. Alright, let's get him. Zoop. Look at that. Boy, would you look at that. We've caught ourselves a pig. Yeah, boy. D-Fire, thank you for the sub. Let's go. Thank you so much. Oi, oi. Three months, baby. Can we get some hype in the chat? Shucks. This Pokemon spurns all but the finest foods. Its body gives off a herb-like scent that bug Pokemon detest. Would you like to give Lechonk a nickname? Uh, sure. Oops. There. Pig. Oi, oi! <laughs> you love Lechonk? They're pretty cute. Oh, they're doing the same book thing as in Arceus? Or wait, is that new? I don't remember. Well, then what do I get called? I think Earl called me Ashley earlier, which I am not. You're Alchemist Fire. What do you mean? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> -ha, that's awesome. You caught the very first Pokemon you went for. It's crummy when you come to when it comes to actually catching Pokemon. Maybe you should give me tips. Anyway, here's some more balls. Thanks. Ten more balls. Wasted opportunity to call him Ganon. <laughs> I'll name it Ganon if it grows up. That pig grows, but I'm not keeping that pig in this party. You like to think that Lechonk's name is a pun for both the word chonk and lechon, which is pork. What the heck? These names are so clever. I'm missing, I'm missing all the puns. Now go battle those Pokemon. Okay, I thought we were going to school. 
Alchemic, you said you prefer your games finished. This game is finished. It's just unoptimized and buggy <laughs> from what I've heard anyway. The Pokemon you see wandering around in the tall grass are wild Pokemon. Oh, please. Like you've never played an early access game. That's worse than this game any day. Any early access game is, is far worse. Beep -boop, beep -boop. Look at all this free stuff. <gasps> Hoppets! No babies. Now, I love those. Now, I want one of these. I want one of these! <laughs> They're cute! <laughs> That's adorable. Look at these babies. Has Nintendo ever released games as early access? Nope. I don't think so. Scratch him! Lechon is also the name for baby pig in some places. Oh. They they eventually finished those games. This is this is released as finished. I'm confused. I, I'm entirely confused. Does this game have planned DLC? That's what I would call an unfinished game. That's that's the more offensive part. Get this hot pip. This game is as good as the previous Pokemon game. Forget the title. It takes place in feudal Japan. What? Is this the game as good as the previous one? Arceus? Oh my god! <laughs> bruh, <laughs> bruh, we saw into the Shadow Realm. Uh, outside of the cold regions, Hopip can be found practically everywhere. This is because the wind carries the species all over the world. Yeah, they just blow around. Helicopter. <laughs> hey! Eerie Coffee! Thank you so much for the raid! Oi! Helicopter. <laughs> How are you doing? Coffee delivery! Delicious! Now I want some coffee. Oi, oi! You were playing Pokemon! Nice! Which one were you playing? What's your starter? How'd you like the game? Oi, oi! It's good to see you. Big shouts out to Eerie Coffee. I'm so glad that you're back to streaming. I haven't seen you streaming forevers. These Sinistia emotes, I know. They have the best emotes. I freaking love them. Welcome in. You just made them. Those are cute. I've always loved, I've always loved that dancing, that dancing. What, what is it called? Ditto, that little ditto. It's been a hot minute. I'm glad that you could be called back from the shadow realm. You've been called back from the other side. You've been lurking IRL for a while. Sprig Sprigatito! Aw, that's what I picked. Helicopter. <laughs> we now have Helicopter. Hooray! Yes, I picked Sprigatito too. Many lurks. Yes, yes, yes. If you, if you need to lurk it up, no worries. No worries. Get yourself some food. You surely stopped streaming for a reason. It can't be because you got bored. That's impossible. We have Sprig, Pig, and Helicopter. Now we must catch them all. I want to catch at least one of each. We also got Hoppet Leaves off of catching that Pokemon. But yes, was the, was the game everything that you imagined? Are you loving it? You're probably way further along than I am. Tay Love, what's up? Oi, oi. Welcome. Welcome to Paldea. Welcome to Paldea. Here's a little bug. So the battles are kind of real time. That's neat. Dog wants out, but I'll lurk. <laughs> yes, yes. Let the dog go out. So this looks awful. But Brig use scratch on. Oh, I can rotate it. I see. These little guys are ugly. That is ugly. It looks kind of like the spider from Fifo Goes West. Let's bite it. Bite that tarantula. Nom. Okay, let's catch it. It flinched and couldn't move. Coward. Catch that ugly bug. A Pokemon so ugly that it has evaded capture for years. Nobody even tried. Hooray! I want to see up close on this thing. T Tyrone Tula data has been added. The thread of its... The thread it secretes from its rear is as strong as wire. The secret behind the thread's strength is the topic is a topic of ongoing research. Would you like to give it a name? Ugly. <laughs> 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 
Oh, Spooder. Oh, that's an even better name. Dang it. You you walked by that one? I bet you did. Whoa, you can do a slide now. Okay, this game's amazing. Okay. This is a huge upgrade. This is worth the $60. I changed my mind. It's worth it. You can now do dolphin dives. You stay away, Latronk. I already have one of you. Only need one each. Come here, little bird. Look at the cute little bird. Come down here. Come down here, coward. Face your new god. Face your new master. Stupid bird. No! <laughs> Not the pig! <laughs> we already have enough pork on this team. Okay, okay. Bite the bite the devil out of this thing. Get him! Come on, Sprigatito. Kill this pig. Lechonk attack. Lechonk fight back. Scratch him. See you later. Lechonk is gone. Hooray! Now my other pig is more powerful. I want to find another bird. Where did all the birds go? This is the little hoppet. Hoppity. Hippity hoppity. What, what's going on over here? It's kind of looking shiny. These things are super cute. I love their ears. Look at that pixely little baby. A literal baby. I love them. These Pokeballs that are like laying around, they disappear whenever you get close to them. Like that one. It disappeared for a little while. But now it's back. I wonder if they're like timed or if that's a bug. I cannot tell. Where are the birds? You can slide onto a tree like this. <laughs> yeah, let me try to slide up up its branches. Good point. No, it wouldn't let me. Ah! <laughs> I just bounced off that pig. Whoa! You said you can slide onto a tree. H how? I'm trying out here. Press R. Ah! If a Pokemon... Oh, it's a little baby. Get back in here. I, I'm not letting Sprigatito walk around. They're too young. Wait. Get him, Sprigatito. Get him. Get those birds. Get those birds, little, little friend. Get him. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Get, get the birds. Are you a cat or not? Ooh. Strong and feisty. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Aw, no, I'm taking this bird away from his family. You won't escape me, bird. We're gonna catch you. Oh, wait, the grass didn't work good. Hey, what's up, Nick? Oi, oi, oi. Welcome in, welcome in. This game is pretty fun so far. I like it. I like it, mostly for the new Pokemon. The new Pokemons are adorable. Absolutely adorable, and Sprigatito's gonna die. I guess I'm gonna switch him out for Pig. Get in there, Pig! Sprig, come back. Get him, get him, get him. Didn't say you can. Was asking if it was possible. Oh, to slide onto a tree. I'm sorry, I misread. <gasps> that bird just growled at the pig. Tackle him. Jump up in the air and hit him. There we go. <laughs> pig. All right, Pig, you just hang back and I'm going to catch this bird. That's some pig. I'll tell you what, that's some pig. It's a veritable smorkish borg, smorkish borg, smorkish borg. After the crowds go home. Templeton. Templeton, you wouldn't eat that bird, would you? I'm starving, Charlotte. Don't judge me. Fletchling can be found in both rural and urban areas. They once had huge territorial dispute with Squawkabilly. Fights broke out over town. What is this lore, dude? What is this lore? Templeton was just getting what he could. Templeton was the underclass. What is the name of this bird? 
This bird's name is... Wait, did y'all already give it a name? Did y'all already name them? It said burb. Burb is good. Burbit. There we go. <laughs> Templeton. Templeton was based on a real person. Burb. Perfect. Burb has been added. Do -do -do -do. I just like to give the first ones that I catch a name. All the first Pokemon, they get named. The way that I view them. I view that as Burb. And exclusively Burb. <gasps> Is that a little pooper? No, it's not a pooper. It's a little caterpillar. There's a new brown whooper. <laughs> the, the whooper's color has been changed to brown. Their name is absolutely Pooper now. Uh-oh, Scatterbug. Scatterbug! The bugs are here, scatter! Sprigatito's slow. Okay, Sprigatito, I'm gonna heal you up. Little baby, you stay alive. Stay alive, you little rascal. I'm not gonna have my new cat die. Ow! You watch it. Bite a bug. This cat knows how to bite a bug. His head looks like a soot sprite. Oh, it does kind of. His little he's he's got a little sprig on his head too. Okay, can we can we not kill it, please? Now, Sprigatito, go easy on this scratch now. Also, Sprigatito's floating over the ground. Pretty sure. Pretty sure that Sprigatito is levitating, which is a new move type. Get him! Get that weird bug! Get that worm! I want that worm in my pocket, stat! Hooray! I love that you level up from catching Pokemon. It's been like that for a while, but it's 100% necessary. This Pokemon scatters poisonous powder to repel its enemies. It'll eat different plants depending on where it lives. Okay. You see, some of these some of these Pokemon things are just like, they love to eat. And then some of them are like, this is this is the <laughs> the Pokemon that was the leader in the war against armies. Snoodle. <laughs> Snoodle, because it's a little noodle. Alright, alright. Snoodle it is. A perfect name. Snoodle. Baby. Baby Snoodle has been added to the party. He's only one inch tall. No, wait, he's a foot tall. That's a one foot worm. Do any of your new Pokemon have cool abilities? Huh? Cool abilities? You know that this is Pokemon, right? Rusty Keys? Have you ever seen this game before? All the abilities are cool. I want to... Wait, wait, wait. Boxes bag. I... How do I access my phone? Ah! They added Pokemon Snap. They got filters? These aren't filters, this is zooming. Oh, the fisheye lens. This is a fisheye lens? Oh. <laughs> Look at that ugly bug. Stardust, film reel, toy camera. That's kind of cool. Monochrome sepia, cool. Okay, fisheye lens, and then what's with the Let's see, hide filter, rotate camera, reset point. Yeah. But how do we how do we do the middle stuff? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Me and this bug. Me and this bug just hanging out in the field. Okay, I see, I see. So you can look at the camera or no. There we go. Everybody look at the camera. What? <laughs> so this Roar XD. Nice. Rawr. I'm gonna eat this bug. What's this? Okay, this is a good. This is a good pose. I like this. At cool. Dang. Look like I'm. This is my application to Team Rocket. Oh dear. Hello. Hello. Hello, fellow Pokemon gamers. I'd like to introduce you to my top 10 favorite Pokemon. Welcome back to my Pokemon vlog stream. I wanna go away. There we go, perfect. Amazing. Spooter was in the shot the whole time. Spooter was confused. <laughs> Didn't understand. 
Listen, this is a this is a one party state. You only need one party to consent to being recorded. None of these Pokemon have any rights. Look at the birds. Okay. <gasps> this thing! I want this thing! I want this thing on my official team. It is so cute. Palmy! Get him! Get that Palmy. It's so adorable. It's tiny! It's so tiny. It's perfect. It could fit in your pocket. Could you imagine if one of these creatures actually existed? I'd be so happy. I want one of these. I hope that God's taking notes. This is the way that I want actual evolution to go. Hey God, we fixed your animals. And we gave them cute names. Pig learned disarming voice? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, <laughs> not the disarming voice. It walks in the door and is like, sweetie, everything's okay. The pads of its paws are electricity discharging organs. Pommy fires electricity from its forepaws while standing unsteadily on its hind legs. That's so cute. <laughs> it says unsteadily. <laughs> so it's clumsy. So it's a clumsy little Pikachu clone. Should we just name it Pikachu? <laughs> Pika new. <laughs> See? That's not Pikachu. That's Pika new. Uh, I looked all over for Pommy, was not found. It was up here on the hill the whole time. It's just new Pikachu. Literal pocket monster. I would love to have one of these little these little babies. One of these babies in my pocket. They look kind of like a I don't know. I don't know what kind of small animals like this. Like a like a chipmunk? It's like a little chipmunk. Add to my party. Yes, yes. I want Pika new. I will say, the, playing the game this way does make it harder for me to memorize these new Pokemon names. Let's get Ugly off the team. Oop. Ugly's gone. Awkward! What's up? Oi, oi, oi! Welcome to Pokemon. <laughs> Welcome to Pokemon Violent. I hope you enjoy your stay. Tee hee. Oi, oi, awkward. What are you up to? Watch this. Whoa! Whoa! Brigatito! Spriga, Spriga. Baby. Pet baby. Meow. I wish that we could pet them, though. I wish that there was a petting mini game like in that Pikachu game. Would it really be so hard for them to put the the mini game in this game? Maybe, maybe it shows up later. I wish, because you could like take Pikachu and like poke their ears and like pet their head and give them snacks and stuff. You could give them baths and mess with their hair. Hey Earl, you're getting the hang of how to catch Pokemon, okay? Let's see how far. Uh, so far, you've caught go go wow. Whoa, what was that? I thought that that was her reaction. Go! I've never heard that kind of cry before. It could be a strong Pokemon or something. I say that we go find out whatever made that cry. Just be careful. There's a kind of unsafe cave not far from here, so steer clear. <laughs> Dude, what? <laughs> She's like, do you hear that loud, ominous noise? Let's go take a look at it. Also, don't go into the abandoned mine shaft. All right, I'm going to run faster than you to whatever this is. Cutscene? Huh? Is that the... Is that the legendary? The legendary got its its head stuck in, in a plastic bottle or something? Ah! There's hounds! Grr. Bow, bow, wow. Those look like bad dogs. How are they floating like that? I don't trust them. Ah, yeah! <laughs> whoa, whoa. Am I taking a tumble? Dude, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Does the phone work as a parachute, bruh? No. 
Not the anti-grab phone. You gotta be careful. It seems like that would activate... Like, that would activate while you're falling. And if you don't hang on to it, then it will, like... I don't know, rip through your backpack? What if... What if you had the Rotom, like, on your stomach? And you... And you hopped off... Like, if... What if you had it on the other side of your body? Would it pull with such a force to, like, rip through your body? I don't know. The safety features on this Rotom are kind of scary. Look at that silly little snake. This guy. <laughs> the silly little bike. Look at this funny looking bicycle. This bicycle's got a personality. Is this one of those smart bikes that they made for those cities? Maybe, maybe you can give it something to help it perk up. Eat this, eat this Rotom phone. Doesn't seem like that'll do the trick. Maybe something else. I don't know. Would you like an adventure guide to to entertain you while you sit down here? Nah, that doesn't. That's not it. Hmm. I don't know. We could we could give it a we could give it a pokeball. Here, you want to crawl on this thing? No, it doesn't seem like what it wants. Maybe maybe it needs. Maybe it needs to eat le some lechonk hair. <laughs> I tease. It's definitely a sandwich. It doesn't look like it eats. It doesn't look like it's biological, though. It's Mecha Lugia. Yes! But I like Lugia more. Ooh, that's kind of cute. This is kind of a cute face. It's like a, it's like a robot. It's a robot lizard. That's actually adorable. It has an adorable face. It's its body that's gross. Why well, I look so pouty? Oh, it's actually kind of cute. It's toothless. Toothless the robot. Okay, it's actually kind of cute. Agias. What does that mean in Spanish? I like my new robot. Is this that Tesla bot they've been talking about? Is this the Boston Dynamics Pokemon? Whoa, it's got afterburners on its butt. That's amazing. The cutest bike ever. That's what I'm saying. It's actually adorable. Pokemon, how to train your mecha dragon. Oh, yes! <laughs> Cybertruck hitting different these days. No glass windows for them to break. It's trying to find local superchargers. Whoa! With the EMP trim? That's crazy. Holy schmoly. It activated. It's ability! What's it screaming for? I love my, my character's reaction. It's like, oh. This Pokemon is screaming its life out. Whoa! The, the lag. <laughs> the frames. It's too adorable of a dragon. My switch can't handle it. That was the last time I ever saw it. No, and now that person's gonna show up and talk about- What the heck? It's in there! Huh? I guess I have to go in there. I'm trapped on a beach. Hey, big guy. You wouldn't mind if I hopped on your back and go for a ride, would you? Come back here. We're in the inlet grotto. Oh, this is the dangerous cave that they talked about. I'm such a rule breaker. Such a bad student. This tracking mission. Oi, Earl. How'd you know pneumonia? What the hell are you doing down there? You're not hurt, right? I'm fine. Thank goodness. I was really worried. I could see their sweat from here. Girl, you dripping. If you had, if you had gotten hurt because I said we should go look at whatever made that cry. No, never mind that. Right now, we've got to focus on getting you back up here. You've just got to find some way to climb out of there. If, if you get close by, I'll try pulling you up with Pokemon move. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
potion. I want to ride this bicycle up here. Whoa! What a helpful, what a helpful friend to have around. You could be part of my team. Ooh, the hounds are in here. The bullies. <gasps> These little guys. Little mongoose. These little guys are angry. I like their energy. Young goose. Get hit with some leafage. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Sprigatito just Thanos snapped that poor little mongoose. I want to catch one. Stop killing them. Sprigatito, don't kill this one. Just give him a little scratch. These guys are tough. Get him. No. Oh, okay, good job. Good job, Sprigatito. This is your new friend. Whoop. This cave looks wild. That texture looks like an N64 texture. <laughs> Dude, what's going on? <laughs> Don't zoom in on that. Close your eyes, everybody. It spends its waking hours searching endlessly for food. This is really, this is something really weird. Is the fact that this like gets covered up a lot. Like it, it's barely covering up the words in the background and it is covering up their uh, portrait. It's a loitering Pokemon. Would you like to give it a nickname? And look, it disappears after you're done. I guess this is just to make the Pokedex look good, but it looks, looks weird. Want to give it a name? What's the name of it? Yangoose be like, oh, after that. It was like, rawr, 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 rawr. and then it went, oh. Should we call it Yangoose? <laughs> because Rosera misspelled it as that. Yangoose. <laughs> We're going to just send it to the box. To the box with you. You can check all your party information while you're while you're like deciding where it goes. That's cool. Endlessly looking for food. Same. <laughs> Haka, what's up? Oi, oi. Found any good food recently? What the frick? Did he just spawn out of that wall and whoa? <laughs> what's going on with this diglet? Did you see all that? Well, I gotta save that. <laughs> I want to see that again. Leave him! Leave him in the dust! Oh, snap. Get melted. Burb learned quick attack. Nice. Right, Sprigatito, you can walk with me. Come on, Sprigatito. We gotta find another diglet. Another diglet. Oi! Thank you for that, Pat. Man! How far are you into the game right now? We can't walk here. There's an invisible wall. Not allowed. Forbidden. The forbidden sector. Sprigatito's too strong. Stop killing everything, Sprigatito. Sprigatito's a good baby. I wouldn't change a thing about him. No good food recently? You had to pick a dessert to take to Thanksgiving? Oh, are you going to make one? Yum, yum. I got a... um. Today, my roommate brought me this popsicle that was like it had mango and like a spice in it it was like a spicy sweet mango pop with with real mango in it it was delicious hey heads up some pretty rough and rowdy hondors i'm glad you got your bodyguard yeah this is me and my new friend i like how pneumonia is just like well i guess that's your new bodyguard that the giant scary creature that's clearly a legendary or something. By the way, did you see Wakanda Forever? I didn't. I actually heard it was pretty good. But my friend made it into a really weird recommendation because he said, I wouldn't recommend it if you haven't seen the first one because it won't make any sense. But I don't recommend that you watch the first one because it's not very good. <laughs> so I don't know what to do. I I'm not really interested in... Uh, I'm not interested in superhero stuff in general. I, I'm, I'm, I'm tired of it. Behind you, it's behind you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
How dare he? Well, see, I'm not naming any names. <laughs> and I haven't seen it, so I don't have an opinion. <laughs> not the dog! Kill that dog! Oh my god, don't you dare kill my baby. Dude. This is a scripted death. That sucks. That doesn't count. Scripted death for my poor Sprigatito. That's awful. But at least this dragon's adorable. Not dead, just sleepy. Yeah, I know, but they still hit him. They still hit them and knock them out. This game is cruel. This game is a cruel joke. Um, but Black Panther is probably the best of the Marvel movies? Huh. Well, I don't know. Does that dragon have like LED eyes? Yeah, it's I got the robot version. Violet is the is the robot one. Scarlet is the one where it's an actual weird dragon. But I figured that it would be better to get this one because this uh it, it makes more sense as a robot because you ride it like a bicycle. It's your it's your vehicle. Also, the frames are like at 15 frames a second. <laughs> They didn't even they didn't even optimize the cutscenes. Like the cutscenes you already know what they're gonna look like. You already know how many polygons there are. You already have the the hardware. Like you know exactly how it's gonna work every single time. The only difference is I guess like hair customization for your character. That's it. Way to go. For a second I thought that you were both goners. Dude. The game's a bit pixely. Oh yeah, no, it's it's chunky. It is crunchitized. It's a deep fried game. But besides besides it being pixely, well, I mean, they make it pixely so that it performs better, but then it performs bad and is pixely. Like, I get it. If you make the game ugly, it's because you're trying to make it go smoothly. But look at that. Look at that. And the game's still chugging. It's ugly as sin. Arceus was a bit pixely too. Arceus also had this this thing where they to optimize the game, they lowered the frame rate for for actors that are further away. If this game does that, I'm going to feel real bad cuz that is the ugliest way to optimize a game ever. I don't want to be a big whiner. Okay, I'm not going to be whining about everything. But it 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 looks worse than anything. Better better to just make them pop in. I'd rather have pop in than, than lower frame rate. It looks so different from a minute ago. Do you think it's okay? Hard to say or I don't know. <laughs> Hard to say. You can't tell either, huh, Earl? Well, all that aside. <laughs> well, ignoring that this creature is dying in agony, I'm seriously glad that you made it back in one piece. You know, that battle down there was really something. You and this fellow looked perfectly in sync facing down that Hondoom. And I said, no. What? You didn't even tell her what to do? I guess it's not... I guess it's not like you're this Pokemon's trainer yet, huh? Yet? Can critique a game and still enjoy it? Yeah! I mean, the, the graphics are only one side of it. I like the new Pokemon designs. And that's that's enough for me to, to get a Pokemon game. As long as the story's not too annoying... There's a bunch of new Pokemon, then it's it's always a fun grindathon. Oh man, oh man, oh man! The more I look at this Pokemon, the more mysterious it seems. If you do become its trainer, you gotta let me battle against it. I'll run you over with that thing. We'll exchange numbers so that we can get in touch if we somehow get separated again. Good idea. I was gonna suggest the very thing. Whoa, they got the NFC? And here, let... This will let you teach a Pokemon a move to help it battle stronger opponents. Swift. Nice. Think before you use it. They can only be used once. So the HM is like a permanent thing. TM is, is, is one use. Let's get to that lighthouse. It'll be a good spot to relax. We can break in. Hey, little fella. Hey, little Durgan. You seem healthy enough. It's cute. It's so cute. Look at him. Look at how strong he is. Look at that big strong boy. 
I like his little shock whenever whenever he has to turn. It is just a toothless. Toothless baby. Come hither. Come hither. Slide with me. Maybe an intern forgot to update the frames. <laughs> No, no, no. This is not this is not traditional animated. Don't worry, don't worry. I don't think that they had to... Most of this stuff is just automated. Deedle, deedle. Hello? Hello? What are y'all chilling up there for? Akira slide win? Oh my god. Please let us do the Akira slide. I don't want to invest in this game yet. Invest. But it's so cute. You can get a little invested. Just just try a little investment. Why that little? What are you doing out here? I'm not talking to you two. You can shove off. Wait, I know you. Aren't you Arvin? You're enrolled in the humanities track, right? And aren't you the son of a Pokemon researcher, Professor Turo? Oh, uh, rich kid. Doesn't matter who my dad is. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those big teeth. <laughs> <laughs> the real issue is, is what in the world is this Pokemon doing out here? And what is it with this form that it's in? I met it at the bottom of this cliff. It saved me from a tight spot. See, we heard this strange cry, and we tried to investigate it, but Earl fell off a cliff. <laughs> that Pokemon saved him, but it seems like it wore itself out in the process. It got kind of slumpy afterward. But you should have seen it before. It was totally different. It was unbelievably strong. Yeah, well, as it should be. But it can't fight while it's like this. The form Miradon takes in battle, that's its true form. Miradon? Is that the Pokemon's name? How'd you know it? <laughs> you can't go in the lab. It's locked. I don't remember ever seeing you around, but given the uniform, you go to the academy too. Why is he so angry? Who is this guy? What is this white rage? Holy moly. He's molding. Miradon isn't the sort of Pokemon that any old trainer can hope to command. It's special. Special how? What sort of Pokemon is it? It's a robot. You think that you're up to ordering Miradon on around? How about I test your worthiness? Sure. Heh. Well, look at you, quite the little go-getter. <laughs> I've been feeling all out of sorts, so I'm going to use this battle to blast these doldrums away. Ew, I don't, I don't like his sideburns. His hair is beautiful, but his sideburns are yucky. What? You attack me with a squall vet? You fool. You fool! I'm about to grass the heck out of this, this poor little baby. The memories are leaving a bad taste in my mouth, and I want it gone! I'm gonna battle away my memories. The professor's child of divorce who still has a lot of rage in him. <laughs> Kill the nepotism monster! Fight! When you're going through a life crisis and you try to cut and dye your own hair at home. <laughs> Y'all are savages, this poor child. The opposing school vet is dead. Whoa! Hooray! You just level up my Pokemon. Helihopter learned absorb. Sorry, Arvin. Oh, Sprigatito's proud! That little camera move happened again. Does that happen every time? It looks really weird. Seems like you knew, you two know a thing or two about battle. You mean that you were assuming that we did know how to battle? And you still attacked us? This is questionable. Questionable character here. Morality dubious. It's chilling on the black screen. Child, that's a 22-year-old man. Is it? Wow, we're all that? That was awesome. I guess I wasn't going to stand a chance using some Pokemon I'd only just caught. But if you really think that you can take on Mir... If you really think that you can take Miradon off my hands for me, you'll need this. 
What? He's just giving us the keys to his whip? It's the Pokeball that Brute's been kept in. Has he been bullying this poor Pokemon? This character's awful. He's just, he's giving away his companion. And also he's like calling him a brute. What is Mirrodon like a trouble Pokemon? This guy's awful. I'm so glad that I could take this creature off your hands. So why do you have it? My dad bought it for me on my 18th birthday. Anyway, that thing's your problem now, not mine. Good luck. Hey, star system. Oi, oi. Oi, can you not hear me or something? So he just abandons this Pokemon. Okay. Also, I hope that you have papers for this thing. You got this thing registered? <laughs> wow. They just, they just gave us this legendary, I guess. All right. I guess it's not a legendary. <laughs> That Arvin guy knows more than he's letting on. You mean he, he didn't say anything? So I'd say yes. Next time he and I are battling, I'm gonna wring some answers out of him. I'm gonna hurt his Pokemon until we get some answers. <laughs> but right, we gotta climb the lighthouse. I can't wait to show you the view of our school. Okay. I wanna learn how to ride this bicycle first. Okay. So, how do I summon him? Get back here, Spurgatito. Maybe we, we gotta go to the lighthouse first. Auto climber. Isn't the Poké Center now like a gas station? Also, this is this is giving me huge um, Breath of the Wild vibes and Arceus vibes. It's so pretty. Adios, peeps. Good vibes to all. Oi, oi. We'll see you later, Sandwich Nom Nom. We'll see you later. Thanks for chilling with us. I want to learn how to Akira slide. Look, Earl. That's Mesa Goza. Mesa Goza. Mesa Goza over there. And that huge building with the Pokeball on it is our school. It looks like a freaking castle. <laughs> Got Pokemon Hogwarts. It's gonna be so great having you in the same class. I'm looking forward to it, but all that schoolwork. So is there a dating sim in here? It'd be cool if there's a Pokemon dating sim where you could date other trainers. Uh, right, I can't wait to get back. We're gonna learn so much and battle so much. Isn't it awesome what you can see from up here? Mountains, forests, grasslands, beautiful nature stuff as far as the eye can see. Yeah, it looks really good. <laughs> Those tree textures. <laughs> Ooh, look at the beautiful scenery. <laughs> look at the beautiful Nintendo 64 graphics. Dude, <laughs> everything's paper thin. <laughs> it's all just it's all just on a plane, I think. <laughs> or part of it is. <laughs> look at the look at the beautiful city. Would you like to go over there? You can't enter that zone. That's the paper zone. Okay, look, these trees are models. Because they're moving ever so slightly. But not those. <laughs> not those. <laughs> this game looks so bad. <laughs> oh. Consider this me... Uh, consider this... Consider this me officially telling you. Welcome to Paldea. Consider this me telling you. Consider this me telling you. Mm. But anyways, like you can see, it's kind of a hike to get to school from here. Good thing you just got a motorcycle. Let's make it to Los Platos for starters. Can we go to Los Poyos first? I'm really hungry. Vamos! Vamos, gamers! We gotta go to Los Platos. Los Platos. You make me an apocalypse. So that would have been the border. The way you got me poking. Look at the little chunk. I love all the Pokemon. This place is crawling with creatures. I wonder if there's any new Pokemon this way. To the plates. <laughs> is that what that means? Platas. Oh, this is this is back. This is where I fell. Things look damaged ahead. Better not get too close. We look like we're pretty close already. 
Wow. Game bullying me. Nick, enjoy your lurk. Thank you for the lurky lurks. I want to ride my bicycle. Bicycle Pokemon's way down there. Auto heal. Make lead Pokemon. Auto heal. How does that work? It, it tried to explain it earlier, but I didn't pay attention. Okay, so this centers the camera. That summons my little baby. Wait, hey, let's battle! They got random battlers out here? You want to battle, kid? If you talk to a Pokemon trainer like that, like like me, that means we got a battle. I remember in the olden days where if you just met eyes with them, then they then they come after you. It'd be funny if all the NPCs in this game just chase you. If they spot you and they just start running after you. <laughs> it could it could lead to some pretty tense moments. Trying to escape whenever your Pokemon are really sick. No 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 no! I'm almost to the center. The Pokemon trainers are just sprinting after you. Get on your bicycle. Release an oil spill. Bite him! This little kid's got suspenders and a little fedora on. Youngster. Your Pokemon are strong, huh? Yeah. Yeah, they're real strong. What do you say now? Here in Paldea, you gotta talk to a Pokemon trainer to challenge him. We can't tell if you want to battle just by making eye contact. Hey! <laughs> hey! Don't erase the legacy! Oh my gosh, how dare they? How dare they be like, It's not like we just make eye contact and battle you. <gasps> Psyduck! Psyduck! This one's for Divey. Where's Divey? I'm catching their favorite Pokemon right now. Psyduck's Cloud9. Psyduck's on Cloud9 right now. It doesn't look it. Get him! Ah! <laughs> Leah, don't bonk me! You you accidentally missed your bonk and you hit you hit the poor Psyduck. You killed that Psyduck! Back in my day, you went through a cave with repels and a dream. Back in my day, you used to have to have a tin stack of repels just to make it across the map. I love this baby. I want this little baby! This is one of the Pokemons that every single evolution of it is adorable. I love every Evo of this Pokemon. Most Pokemon, I only like their first Evo, but this one is adorable from, from baby to big bunny. From baby to bunny. From cradle to grave. Brigatito, don't you even think about evolving. No. The tail is packed full of nutrients that it needs to grow. Ew! So its tail is just a placenta? And yes, its tail is a placenta and an umbilical cord. It's packed with nutrients that it needs to grow. It is a placenta. Dude, why Earl no bald? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not bald because I have beautiful hair. It's a tail full of yummy goo. The polka dot Pokemon. It's probably fat storage. Yeah, that's probably true. But it's rolling around on one of its organs. That's not, that's not just a big old puff. That's an organ. So what should we call it? But, but Earl Handsome went bald. Are you saying this is not handsome to you? Come on. Come on. Give me a break. Give me a freaking break. I'll, I'll may, you're trolling. They're poached to the brink of extinct, extinction because its tail ball nectar is so desirable. <laughs> That's disgusting. Should I call it? <laughs> what should we call it? What should we call the baby? The polka dot Pokemon. They're so cute. I love them. My poor child. <laughs> My poor baby. I want, you want to call it Yolk? Aww. Yolk is kind of cute, K. Ray. I like that. K. Ray, pardon. That's almost as weird as the pig Pokemon that bounces on its tail or it dies. Yolk is cute. Yolk is a cute name, and also, it it has a yolk that it gets nutrients. Last time I was here, his head was an egg. What happened? <laughs> I got purple hair now. I've been growing my hair for like almost two years, or is it one year? I don't remember. I might go I might go back to being an egg eventually. 
If it, if it uh, you know, if the meme seems appropriate, we'll go back to we'll go back to egg mode. <gasps> Sprinkle Tilda is sleeping. Wake up, baby. Wake up, little baby cat. Oh, he's so strong. Look how strong and tough Sprigatito is. Wait. Wait, wait. Yeah, you can't really see it, can you? Here, Sprigatito, do something. Oh, look how strong it is. Strong and sassy. <laughs> oh, here comes another one of these little babies. I kind of want I kind of want more of them, but we already have one. Also, there's this little thing. This little this little fluff ball. This little fake Pikachu. Ah! LeChunk! <laughs> Not LeChunk jump scare. Kill it! Kill it with fire! Bite him! I will bully Earl until he's bald. Well, you might have a you might have a lot of work ahead of you, homie. It might be a while. But I'll tell you what. I'm always right on the edge of just shaving off all my hair again. Get him! Good job, Sprig! Good job, little leaf. All right, little leaf, come on now. Come on, team, let's go find some new Pokemons. Whoa! Ooh. Psyduck! Psyduck, Psyduck, Psyduck! Get him! Get that Psyduck. I'm gonna scratch the devil out of him. Get that big old duck. Don't let that duck live. Whoa. You confused my Pokemon. Now you will suffer. You will suffer for what you've done, you silly duck. Are you trying to water a plant? Do you realize what you're doing? All right, all right. We catch him. You want a shiny blue duck? Did we ever get a shiny Psyduck? I think we did. Didn't we? I wanted one. Hey, Zopeshi, what's up? That's like Joe Pesci. Oi, oi. Welcome in. How you doing, Pesci? Own claws, sure. Let's let's take a look. Uh, user sharpens its claws to boost its attack strat and accuracy. Target is bitten with sharp fangs. This is 60. We could replace Tail Whip. Uh, this lowers their defenses, or I could up my attack and accuracy. That seems better, right? We'll do it. Exactly like Joe. You like the pigtails? Thank you. <laughs> I just, I just randomly, randomly pigtails appeared. <laughs> Fairy Wind. What's this? User attacks by stirring up Fairy Wind. Dude. <laughs> Not the fairy wind. Mom! Joey's Joey's blowing fairy wind again. It's chronic headache as it's as its chronic headache peaks, it might exhibit odd powers. It seems unable to recall such an episode. <laughs> I'm gonna name this one Die. Cause this is Die's favorite. Die the duck. Now put that duck in a box. You just pigtail attacked me? Whoa! Earl used hair whip. It's semi-effective. Are there any more Pokemons? Oi, oi! But yeah, Joe, or Zoe, are you are you just trying to check out this game? You're trying to check out this Pokemon game? It's been pretty fun so far. I like it. I like it, it's good, it's acceptable. So far, we haven't made it to the gas station yet. Maybe it'll change my mind. Any more Pokemons out here? I see some ducks. <gasps> Pooper! Get Pooper! Pooper can be on our team. Yes, yes, yes. Get him! Get that Pooper and don't kill him. Don't you dare. Don't you dare! Get him! Get that baby! Back in my day, Pokemon games were 2D and the Pokemon made scary noises. <laughs> the Pokemons went... <laughs> even the cute ones. Even Pikachu would go like... 
<laughs> it was awful. Back in my day, Pokemon sounded like... <laughs> we got the pooper. It's poison and ground these days, so it's not even water. It's dangerous for Wooper to travel alone. They line up in groups of three or four and help each other as they walk through the wetlands. Hooray! We finally got them. Game complete. Da -da -da -da. Let's add them to our party. Poisoning ground. Uh, we'll replace Snoodle. Sorry, Snoodle. You've been replaced. Back in my day, you needed a bag full of repels and potions, a gym badge, and a Pokemon that had very specific moves to be able to light up an entire cave. Back in my day, only one Pokemon at a time got experience. What is this little thing? That thing is cute. What am I looking at? It's Iggly Buff. Also, the music's kind of... Music's kind of going off. The bass lines and Sword and Shield were the only thing that I like about that game. Okay, okay. Sprigatito's looking kind of looking kind of rough. We gotta heal him up. The little dumpling. It looks like a literal dumpling. Get that soup dumpling. Get him. Gotcha. We got Igly Buff. Iggly Buff is really cute. I like that baby. What's happening? It's a balloon Pokemon. <gasps> it has the mouth. It has the mouth. It has the it has the colon three mouth. My favorite mouth in the entire world. <laughs> Hooray! I'm so happy. It's adorable. I want it on my team. It likes to sing, but it's not yet good at it. With a little praise and encouragement, it'll get better little by little. Even the description is adorable. That is so cute. Yes, we should name it Dumpling. That's a fantastic name. Dumpling. Little Dumpling. It's not good at singing yet. We're gonna add our party. It's fairy and normal. Let's uh, replace... This is electric. Burb is flying. Helicopter is gonna be grass, so we can get rid of that. Sorry, Helicopter. We got, we got Iggly Buff. Beep, beep. Beep, 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 beep. You probably like the music because Toby Fox is one of the composers. What? Toby Fox did, did composing work for this game? That's crazy. That's crazy. Say psych right now. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, it's a rocks. I like these little things. This is another one that I like all the evolutions of. All the evolutions look good of, uh, of Ralts. They're all either cute or sexy. They're all good designs. Just like Az Azrael, or however you say that. You're gonna get going? Hey, we'll see you later, Rosera. Thanks for chilling and checking out this new Pokemon game. Oi, oi, Rosera, enjoy your evening. Bring the good vibes with you. You may take as many as you want. Adios. <laughs> Vamos. I don't know how to say. Gambate. Gambate, Rosera san. Didn't teleport. That's no Ralts. It's a feeling Pokemon. It's highly attuned to the emotions of people in Pokemon. It hides if it senses hostility. Oh, It's cute. Well, it didn't sense hostility. That's the thing. Uh, do you want to give it a nickname? Sure. What is it? Why is the name Ralts? Such a weird name. Salts? Uh, Malts? Let's see. Uh, Shy Guy? <laughs> I thought about that. I thought about that. That's kind of cute. Kind of a cute name. We could name it Salts. Waltz. Mmm. Waltzer Jr. Yeah, how do we do a space? Waltz Jr. 
Maybe, maybe Ralt Jr. How about that? Ralt Jr. <laughs> instead of, instead of Ralts. This is Ralt Jr. <laughs> it's a psychic and a fairy. I, I guess it's, it's going to the box. We'll see you later, Ralt Jr. We might, we might call that, that one back if we need to evolve it. If we find the, the already evolved forms, then we won't have to, but it, it all depends on how this game works. We, we don't really know yet, but in some games, it's easier to just evolve them, but I don't think I've played a modern Pokemon game where that ever happened. Modern Pokemon games be like, oh yeah, you could just go to this zone and, and find all the evolved forms. That's the dog! It's Pido. Fido? That's what it is. Fido! It's cute. The donut baby. They put they really front loaded this game, didn't they? They front loaded this game with all the new Pokemon, all the cute Pokemon. They're like, please, please, please like our game. Please, please, please. All in the first in the first hour, we'll, we'll show you all the new cute Pokemon, okay? Promise. They got Pooper. They got Fido. The starters are adorable. Uh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna just take this one nice and slow. Has Leia hair? That's true. We gotta think of a good name for this one. We could call it Crispy. Crispy Cream. <laughs> we could call it Dog Nut. Because it's like a donut, but it's a dog. Dog Nut. Call it call it Pancito? What is what does Pancito mean? The yeast in Fido's fur is useful for cooking, so this Pokemon's been protected by people since long ago. Ew! No, the yeast in Fido's bre breath? What? It has yeasty breath? That's not good. <laughs> That's yucky. You get that yeasty breath away from me, puppy Pokemon. Maybe we, sh we should call it old yeasty. The yeast I can do. <laughs> oh, yeasty. <laughs> is that good? <laughs> is that... Yum. No, yeast is not good. Yeast is bad. No yeast. Oh, yeasty is going to the box. <laughs> it's a fairy type. Could maybe use it. Maybe maybe its evolved form has a different different type. Look at all these Pokemon. They're all investigating me. Huh? Oh, that activated battle. Okay. All right, get him. Leave him. Yeast is the reason that you have bread, you ungrateful trainer. What? Listen, I like yeast whenever it transforms, okay? I don't like yeast on its own. Yeast is a bacteria, right? So I don't want... Without yeast, you would only have tortillas. What's wrong with tortillas? Tries to tries to diss streamer ends up dissing tortillas. That's a big L. You just copped a large L. Oi, ego, what's up? Oi, thank you for the head pats. Welcome to the new Pokemon. You like tortillas? Me too. Also, yeast makes bread, and bread's bad for you. Okay, prove me wrong. Bread's no good. If we didn't have yeast, we'd all be healthier. We'd all be happier. We'd be living better lives. Also, Kim! Welcome in! Kim, look at how cute this game is. Look how cute this game is. We have so many adorable Pokemon already. But I think we might have all the all the Pokemon in this area. Press X to doubt. What? Carbs aren't so good for you. Carbs aren't so good for you. Imagine eating a hamburger with no bread. That's how the ancestors used to do. We got Endure. We climbed a mountain and we got endurance. This game's very, uh, very clever with it. Hey! <laughs> no pooping! You saw the yeasty puff? Aw, oh yeasty. Look, another yeast. Another yeastling. Yeastless. This drive-thru is really cool. 
They also only had a life expectancy of only 30, so you don't want to look at them for advice. That's that's true. <laughs> that's true. I mean, it's not advice from them. They they didn't they didn't know. They didn't know they didn't know that bread was bad for them. That wasn't why they didn't make it. <laughs> they would have made it if they knew how. They were too dumb to make bread. You can come here to take care of a lot of things, but I'll leave the explanations to the pros here. Welcome. Happy to be of service. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. Right, so we got Nurse Joy. We got, uh, I, I don't know who this is. Random guy. And this is the technical machine. All right, so we got, we got Amazon Alexa, Nurse Joy. The last guy is just, uh, I don't know, Himbo Trainer. Thanks, Pneumonia. At the Union Circle, you can connect with other trainers and find yourself some adventuring companions. That's so cool. I like that it's there. Bread makes you fat? <laughs> Man, I was just eating bread all day. You'd get fat. What? Bread makes you fat. <laughs> bread makes you fat? Have you seen, have you seen the, uh, the animated version of that? There's a, you there's a YouTuber that animated it, just like the comic book, and it looks amazing. It looks amazing. It's Chad. <laughs> Chad. <laughs> That's Sigma Chad Pokemart. Uh, pressing the R button is a quick way to tell your lead Pokemon, all right, buddy, let's go. Once you give the go-ahead, your Pokemon will set out on its own to battle nearby Pokemon and pick up air items that it finds. When your Pokemon is low on energy, which happens when its HP is low, it won't be able to go exploring on its own. So if it gets weak, try to heal it up. When your Pokemon starts a battle while exploring on its own, you won't need to give any orders. It can battle on its own with auto battles, meaning that you can keep searching the area for discoveries while waiting over, while watching over it from nearby. Auto battles will be decided by strength and the type of Pokemon taking part in the battle. So keep that in mind when you're choosing which of them to send out on their own. What? So if you just have a tough Pokemon, they could just walk around just slaughtering the local wildlife? That's amazing. I wonder, do, do, will it still, will it still level them? Do they get levels for just as random kills? Our team's really cute so far, except for we got to get rid of Lechonk. Lechonk's got to go. I'm sorry, I don't want booger eyes on my team. When you're feeling lost, when you don't know where to go next, you can always find help at the Pokemon Center. I want to tell them when my birthday is. Hello and welcome. I don't know where to go. Can I register my birthday? Be careful that you do enter it at right. You can't change your birthday after it's registered. So I could just register uh, it for today, right? Could I register it for d today so that I get a so that I get a gift? <laughs> Because I don't think I'll be playing this come next May. Not a chance. Not a chance. Whatever the whatever the birthday gift is, I'm not going to get it. So, <laughs> what's today? Into your birth month? So that be what? 1118? It's my birthday. Would you believe it? It was crazy. I can't believe it. What a coincidence. It came out on my birthday. 11, 18, 1953. <laughs> so I've got here a birthday for 11, 18 for Master Earl. Is that right? That's right. Thanks for registering it. You should stop by on your big day too. We'll be expecting you. All right. <laughs> expecting me, eh? Happy birthday to me. Yay! <laughs> Hooray! Happy birthday, Earl! I hope that this will be a wonderful year. Ah, the frame rate! Oh my god, the frame rate in the background is so bad. Holy moly. My eyes. Ah! 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 <laughs> Not the slideshow! Look how it's Clippy! Clippy's been reborn! Hi, can I help you with something? Get out of your PowerPoint! Holy moly. No! The PowerPoint grows strong. <laughs> that person just disappeared. <laughs> they phased out of reality. Oh, they're back. <laughs> they're back. They're gone. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> they keep appearing and dying. They appear, run out of frames, and perish. <laughs> Dude, what's happening? What's happening over there? 
No, not another one. All the children of the village are being lured out by the mysterious low frame rate Pokemon. It's harvesting their frames. Oh, this game looks disgusting. <laughs> Wish I had a Pokemon like a Lechonk. You want my Lechonk? I'm trying to get rid of my Lechonk right now. These small children, you can't talk with them. Well, anyway. <gasps> Look at the deer. That's so cute. Gluck, gluck, gluck. Ah, I'm topped off. Look at the baby. Look at you. That's so cute. I want one of those. Where do I get that Pokemon? The little deer with the flower hair. That's one of the cutest designs I've seen. This uh, strange Taurus. This Pokemon's at the 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 Pokemon at the head of your party will all be the always be the first one sent out into battle. Really, Deerling? Is that like new? Oh no, the frames! <laughs> They're slow and laggy. Clippy Junior, no! Clippy Junior was just born. It's like that baby Peanut. You know, Mr. Peanut getting turned into like baby nut. Well, Clippy has been reborn. Appeared again on Windows 11 systems. Beware. There have been sightings of of a young clip. Of a young paper clip. I'm look, at, look at all this stuff that we can just grab. There's free loot laying around. But I kind of want to learn how to drive my motorcycle. We should go back. Should go back and see if they'll teach me at the gas station. All these Pokemon are so cute. Got the Fido and Dumpling out here. Little Dumpy. We can slide. Wait, how do we slide again? Whoosh. Sliding strats. Whoosh. 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 Hey, Maeve, what's up? Look, a new Pokemon. A new Pokemon has appeared. It's just like the rest with some slight changes. Excuse me, sir. Could I purchase some keys to my new bicycle? I'd like to buy. It's like they sell all some basic stuffs. All the basics. And then we already registered our birthday. I thought that I was going to get a gift or something. I don't know where to go. I'm all good. What about these? I want a TM trade. Whoa, these are cool. What? Can you, can you like, can you craft them? You can craft your own TMs. That's really cool. You can craft them with league points and with the like, the, the stuff that you get from, from battling Pokemon. That's really cool. Okay, I like this idea a lot. Yeah, and uh, a lot of these have like question marks. I'm guessing that's because I haven't gotten the Pokemon powder yet. So that just means you gotta like encounter all of them. And it, and it makes sense that like, yeah, like the tarantula is the one that helps you make the bug power thing. That's kind of cool. I never struggled with getting TMs though, I will admit. You can also just get league points by trading in the uh, the tr the uh, the crafting items. That's kind of cool. Again, I never really used TMs, so I don't know if that's going to be useful to me. But it is cool. I like it. Now, time to go. Once we leave Los Platos, uh, we hit the best-known spot in the South Province's Area 1. <laughs> God, that's a long sentence. The massive hill on the way to school. You'll find trainers there that are just itching to battle. Good luck. Okay. We'll go beat up some trainers. And maybe catch some new Pokemon, too. Oh my god, Pelipper is huge! <laughs> Pelipper. Pelipper could swallow this child. This child could easily fit in Pelipper's mouth. Oh my gosh, it's aggressive. There should be there should be a law. There should be a law against children having Pelipper as a pet. Hey Granny. What it do? Off to school now, dear. Careful on the road, and remember to jot things down so you won't forget what you've accomplished. What? Take take notes on everything that I do? Okay, I just battled a Pokemon. Dear Diary, Pokemon sure are funny looking. Dear Diary, I found a Squavette earlier, and I caught it. 
We don't have a school vet yet, do we? I love them. We shouldn't have one yet, because I think that they put a, um... They put, like, a little icon next to them if you've already caught them. So, Leafage and Bite are more powerful. How do I see their info? Bite has the most power, so I guess I'll give it a big nosh. Give him a big noshy noshy. Get that squirrel wet. Don't, don't, don't kill it! Oh my god. My critical attacks. <laughs> no! Let Shonk harvest it, it's life force. No! <gasps> Look at the little tree! Oh. It's Bonsley. I think? Is this Bonsley? Yeah! It's a little bonsai tree. Bite it! Bite that tree. That can only be one. That was not very good. That was actually quite bad. We need a fire Pokemon to cook this thing. We gotta cook this thing like a bonfire. Oh, that was worthless, dude. Maybe maybe it changed in Gen 8. That's the one gen that you haven't played. What what is Gen 8? Is that uh is that Sun and Moon? Sun and Moon, black and white? What no, not black and white, surely. But from five to seven, you could only use you could use for them for infinite use. I thought that those were HMs. I thought that HMs you could use forever, and TMs were always once you one use. TMs are infinite, TRs are single use. What? Technical records? I've never even heard of that. I've never heard of a record. I've only I only know TMs and HMs. I've never even heard of anything else. Boom! We got it. At the cost of Spriggly's life. What should we... Ah, the floor. Take a photo. That's lovely. <laughs> Pika New wants to, <laughs> wants to learn the move charge. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> sure. Let's, let's take a look. Dang, Earl. Update your Pokemon knowledge. What do you mean? I never claimed to be a Pokemon professional. I never said that I knew what I was talking about. I, I like the Pokemon games on um, Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Advance, and then Let's Go Pikachu, and Let's Go Eevee, and Arceus. Those those are all the games that I like. Uh, and my first game that I played was Soul Silver. I like that game. But there's, there's like a chunk of them. I didn't play X and Y or Sun and Moon. I tried X and Y and Sun and Moon, but I did not like them. Did not like them. Uh, user becomes charged, boosting the power of the next electric type move. And we already had Thundershock. Uh, let's let's replace Growl then, because then we can we can boost up our electricity. Our electricity. Bonsley. From its eyes, it can expel excess moisture from its body. This liquid is similar in composition to human sweat. Ew! So the little sweaty trees. <laughs> They're a little sweaty. They're li they sweat out of their eyes. Oh, <laughs> look at it! It's a sweaty rock. It's true. What should what should we call it? Sweaty rock? No, I don't want to call it that. Oh, we could call it like um, mo mossy rock. No, it's too long of a name. We need a we need something short and punchy, like Gerber. <laughs> Gerber the life baby. <laughs> <laughs> the Gerber baby. Wait, no, we could, we could, uh, what, what, what is it like? It's, it's got little balls on its head. It's got little funny balls and it's made out of rock. What? <sighs> Sweaty rock. That's such a long name. <laughs> These graphics are top notch. Yes. They look even better whenever they, <laughs> whenever they <laughs> break. Uh, I'm going to name it Gerber because y'all, y'all can't come up with anything better. To the box! To the box with you! You silly tree, you! Alright. Let's... Let's heal Spriga. I do not want Sprigatito to die. And I don't want to walk all the way to the gas station. Okay. There was another Pokemon out here. They got scared? Did I kill the school vet? Yeah. I killed it with a critical hit accidentally. It's going back to the dungeon anyway. Yep, we'll never read that name ever again. <laughs> We're only naming it for, for our entertainment. It's for entertainment alone. That Pokemon will never see the light of day again. 
I hope you've enjoyed your days in the sun, Pokemon, for you'll be inside of a ball inside of a box for the rest of your life. This is your fate, little one. Make peace with it now, and you'll have an easier life. Now let me catch another one. Scovet, you shall share the same fate. Double jail. You'll be locked in a cell inside of another cell. Got you, Scovet. Maybe, maybe the Pokemon go into a coma whenever they're in the balls. Do we have any Poke Pros out there that that know that know the truth? No matter how much it stuffs its belly with food, it's always anxious about getting hungry again. So it stashes berries in its cheek and tail. This is a smart little guy. I like this little guy. I like your attitude. Reminds me of my grandpa who would say, are y'all hungry? And we'd be like, no, we're not hungry yet. And he's like, good, let's keep it that way. Let's go get some food. We shall name it. What shall we name it? Shall we name it Chonkster? Little Chonkster Squirrel? Squirrelet? Chonkster. Grandpa. Grandpa. <laughs> Just name it Grandpa. No, I should have named it Grandpa. You're right. I need to slow down. It's called a cheeky Pokemon. Dang it. I should have known how Kimmick was coming with the fire. I should have known that you had all the ideas. Grandpa Squibbit. <laughs> Maeve! Are those pigtails you're rocking? You bet it is. You bet it is. The best way to do my hair. What is this? What is this? Where is its face? Is that its face? Or is that its rear? Ew! This little thing is disgusting. It's got a little hair like Egad. It's got hair, it's called a shrewdle. And it's got hair like Egad, two little soft teeth, four little weird legs, and giant eyeballs that have little pupils. That is disgusting. Now that's ugly. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> that's uglier than that tarantula. This is making that tarantula look like a, look like a dream. How dare you poison my leaf? Get that point. It's cute. This thing? Are you sure? Are we looking at the same thing? Looks like it has a little. It's got a weird little nose. It's ugly cute. Wait, you're human? Of course I am. Look, there I am. <laughs> I'm 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 uh, doing some I'm doing some cam streams for a little while. That sounds sus, doesn't it? Maybe I shouldn't call them cam streams. But yeah, I've been showing my face a little bit. But we will we will be back to V tubing. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be switching in between them. I'll be switch no. switching between V tubing and not V tubing, just to make sure that everybody is suitably confused. Uh, should another move a sweet kiss? Who's learning how to kiss sweetly? Iggly buff, of course it's you. But yeah, what's up? Oi oi! Nora Nora diverse onion onion oi oi. Neuro, it's good to see you again. Hope you don't mind me having a face. Hope you don't mind me existing as a human. I promise it's only temporary. I'll only be in this body for a little while longer. Shrewdle. To keep enemies away from its territory, it paints markings around its nest using a poisonous liquid that has an acrid odor. Ew, so it's also stinky. It's stinky too. Shrewdle. I, I think that's a pretty good name though. It's beating the crap out of your cat! Yeah, it has it had poison. So should we just keep it as, named as Shrewdle? What would you name it, Shiny? You're the one that likes it. You're the one that likes it, so you should be the one to name it. Wait a dang second. No! We're out of seconds. We have to name this thing. You have a you have a cat too nickname after your cat IRL? Huh? You have a cat too? Named after your cat IRL. Oh yeah, your 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 cat in this game. I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm, mm hmm You got a you got a Sprigatito too. I just named mine Sprig. Ew, that Pokemon sounds like a silent fart. Chadwick. <laughs> Chadwick is an awesome name. I love it. Like Chadwick Boseman. But I'm bad at names. I just name things in Swedish. Oh yeah, give me a Swedish name. Just give me the Swedish Swedish word for bug. It does kind of look like Egad. That is true. 
It does look like Egad with its little hair. Oops! No! Shrudel will re remain unnamed. I, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Let's see if we can name them while they're in the while they're in their box. Because you can access boxes at any time, which is very convenient. Release, change markings, summary. No, we'll have to go to a nickname person for this. We could also release the shrewdle and catch another one. It's all right. It's in the box anyway. We'll name the next one. Get your get your your name and caps on. Oh, so it's an upgrade from that little worm thing. You can name it if you bring it to your party. Really? That is that's an odd that's an odd workaround. So you have to you put it into your party, then you can name it. Okay. Replace Lechonk. Okay, now we have we have Shrudel. Change markings, give an item to hold, check summary. How do we uh, how do we set its uh, name? I brought it to the party. Do I need to use Poke Portal? What is this? Oh, this might be for for multiplayer stuff. Union Circle. Adventure around Paldea with friends. Try your hand at Terra raid battles. Link trade surprise. Let's check for mystery gifts. Yeah, any any free gifts? Searching for gifts. We got a flying Terra type Pikachu gift. What does that mean? Oh, this is this is the the Pikachu for pre-ordering. Even though I didn't pre-order it. Her 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 her. We don't need Pikachu. We have Pika new. Pikachu's adorable though. Look at that baby. Say Pika. Say Pika, I dare you. Pika! When so oh, I didn't get to read the description. Let's We got a Pikachu! It's a gift from Nintendo! Nintendo, thank you! Thank you for the gift, Nintendo! Paid sixty dollars for a game and this is all that I get? A Pikachu? Okay, uh How do I look at my Pokedex? Where's the Pokedex button? Where's where's my Pokedex at? Maybe I don't have a Pokedex. I don't. I have Mirrodon's Pokeball, a Pokemon that you a Pokeball that you can hold that can hold the mysterious Pokemon. Okay, so they haven't trained me how to use it yet. So maybe maybe we should continue the story so that we can use Mirrodon. We can ignore all of these trainers. It's Sprigatito is kind of weak right now, right? Didn't they get didn't they get poisoned heartily? Oh, there's the the little pond skimmers. We could grab one of those. Let's let's heal up real real hasty like. Gotta run. See you later. Hey, we'll see you later. Rusty keys. Thanks for vibing with us. Thanks for all your good name ideas. You saved my buttons more than once. My uh my trainer friends just hanging out over here. I guess their Pokemon are really hurt. This is taking forever to heal them. Heal up my babies. Thank you, thank you. Oops, it's playing Animal Crossing? Traitor. Sprigatito! By the way, did you know? There are all kinds of handy functions registered to your directional buttons. Check them out. Use emotes, open camera app, check notices, change outfit. You can just change outfit on the fly, huh? That's cool. Hey, yeah! There's a bunch of uniforms that you just get automatically? Ooh! Yeah, I want to take off my hat. My hat's ugly. Wow, they just give you a ton of a ton of clothes. School helmet. <laughs> Only nerds wear helmets. Remove. No headgear. There we go. Now we're looking good. Horn rimmed glasses. Oh, those are super cute. Those are super adorable. Campus backpack. That's better than the beige backpack. I'll take it. Uh, gloves. Should we wear gloves? Hmm, I think not. Those look like drawing gloves. 
We got performance sneakers. Mm, those look like they're Velcro. Yuck. <laughs> we'll take the school shoes. Uh, crew socks, gray. No, I I like the high socks. In fact, I'd like to get I'd like to get leggings if I could. Summer. So these are all just different times of the year. Ooh, winter uniform looks good. Oh, I'm kind of tempted. Yeah. <gasps> hey, Oopsie! Thank you for the tier two. Oi, Oops! What's Dang up? What's up? I got the game. I finally got it. Hooray! Hooray! We're trying to pick out an outfit. Nice pigtails. Thank you. Y'all, try to help me. Help me dress my. Help me dress my character. Help me address my character. <laughs> which which outfit should we pick? Not that one. That one's the ugliest outfit. The default is the ugliest. This is also ugly. So it's either this one for winter or spring. Either one. They both look pretty good. I like. I, th I think I like this one the best. It's a very very good outfit. Very good. I wish we could get some some different shoes. They kind of look big like clown shoes. <laughs> uh, try on preview appearance. Oh, then then you just you just check out the appearance. Check the drip. <laughs> Looks great. I don't have glasses on right now, but I promise I wear glasses sometimes. Change look. Do you want to go with this outfit and start customizing your look? Uh. No, did I say proceed without changing? Ah! No, I don't want to customize my look. My look's great, but you can just change you can just change your model any old time. Dang it! I gotta redo everything. Don't worry, I already know what it is, so it'll be quick. Should we go with the glasses or, or should I not? I can't decide. We have to wear a backpack, we can't remove it. Okay, we had that, had the high socks, and we were using the spring uniform. Yes. Yeah, what do y'all think about the glasses? I don't know. Whoop, 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 whoop. Are you gonna play Pokemon me? Alchemic said they're not getting this game because it's not finished. <laughs> Honestly, don't blame them. $60 for this? Look at that! Oh my god! Watch that. Watch this right here. Hang on. Dang it! Ah! Camera's going. Camera's going crazy. <laughs> you can see the. You can see the ground. Fair enough. You saw some sussy stuff on Twitter for what? For this game? Sussy stuff? I mean, this game's broken, but that's okay. Yeah, we've already we've already had this error happen several times. But it's okay. I mean, nothing's like game breaking. <laughs> but look at this. It's just like the, you can see the underneath the ground. It's kind of janky. What happened here? Oh, this was the Diglett thing. How do you fast forward in these? Sharing and editing. I could trim it really quick. Yeah, this Diglett. <laughs> there we go. Next. Yeah, save. Save it like that. Make it small. <laughs> it spawned on the wall and slipped off. <laughs> it's so dumb. No, restart. I want to re-see it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of my my uh my camera is kind of in the way. What is this? Why was I taking why were we taking screenshots of this? This game's awful. <laughs> but uh, I kinda love it. Oi, D Fire, enjoy your lurk. Thanks for chilling with us. Chilling with us in the new Pokemon game. Whoopee! Have fun catching them all. You bet. That's my favorite part of this game. But I think I think that we should go learn how to ride our bicycle. We've already caught every Pokemon that we've seen. Every type. We got every type. 
So Opsti went for Sprigatito and Violet. Are you copying me? Or I guess I'd be copying you, wouldn't I? Do, 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 do. Let's go in, let's go into town. <gasps> these little babies. I loved them. I love these little babies so much. I, it's kind of fun that they that they spawn like big big herds of them. They don't just spawn one Pokemon here and there. There's like little little groups of them. I'm sure all the groups have different names. Well, here comes all these buildings. Woo wee! I wonder if they're gonna release any like uh, anything to make this game look better. Look at the grass. Grass is slowly appearing. The buildings are popping in in the distance. It's beautiful. What are you doing way out here, huh? I shouldn't be doing all this walking because we're gonna we're gonna learn how to ride the bike eventually. Then we can go zooming. <gasps> is that a Lachonka mode? That's cute. Oi, oi! Nick, welcome back. All right. We need we need bike. Derp, 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 derp. Because this takes forever to get anywhere. Look, a little, a little helicopter, a helicopter. Let's go into the city. See what's going on. This this city is huge. With our big university as well. Hello, fellow children. That last move was fantastic. Been having some nice battles. Who are you, local businessman? Hello there, I'm the Pokemon League rep. Have have you been having some nice Pokemon battles? <laughs> well, good news. If you can defeat four trainers here in Area 1, there's a lovely prize with your name on it. So far, you've defeated one trainer. Once you defeat four, there's a lovely prize. Very tempting, but I would like to learn how to ride my bicycle. Thank you. Game is trying its best, is it? Is this its best? Mm, I don't know. Maybe. Let me in. Let me in. Oi, Earl. Did you battle some trainers on the hill? I bet your Pokemon are getting stronger. How about you show me how much you've learned in battle? Of course. Elisar, what's up? Elisar, are you enjoying the new game? Let's have a fruitful battle. What was that horrible noise? Battle time. We're challenged by pneumonia. They're doing two Pokemon this time. Oh snap. Oh, that's my um that's my fire alarm. Or my uh my smoke alarm. Let me let me press that button really quick. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me let me press that. I've got this um, I've got this pole that I was using earlier to press it. I just need to press this button real quick. <laughs> there we go. I'll replace that battery later. It started doing that uh today. It's it's how I woke up. That's how I woke up this morning. Is this horrible beep <laughs> beep? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Now we beat up your Pokemon. Leave them. Fui Coco setting off the alarm, shaking my head. No. <laughs> Fui Coco. I love the beginning whenever he burnt that orange. He burnt the orange, and Quaxley was like, "No, thank you." Uh, about to send out Palmy, which is electric, right? It's that little cute electric baby. Wow, you're doing better than I expected. You're legit, Earl. You're totally poggers. You're pogging all over me. Get that little thing. Leaf it. Leaf it in the dust. Battling with you is a blast. I think I better pull out my ace in the hole. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what are you doing? What is this? <laughs> what? What the heck just happened? It turned into a diamond light bulb. 
Terrestalizing <laughs> is always a solid strategy. It gives them Terra type moves. What the heck? Terra type moves? Not very effective though. Terralizing gives them a real boost. When a move isn't effective, look how hard it hits. It did not hit very hard. <laughs> Terralizing? Too bad, your Pokemon's still terrible. Ooh, that, that animation was kind of slow. <laughs> That's sad. It looked like it really suffered there at the end. What? You beat me even though I cheated. I can't believe how fast you're improving. I've beaten you every time. What do you mean? What do you mean there's never been a time where you've been doing better than me? Although they did handicap themselves by using a Pokemon the same level as ours. Come to think of it, you can't terrorize your Pokemon yet. You can't, it sounds too close to terrorize. <laughs> You've got to scare your Pokemon into battling for you. You're so good at Pokemon battles, I forgot how new you are to this stuff. Anyway, it was fun to battle. Here's some revives. Thanks. Let's go in the, in the place. Now, Mezagoa's waiting... Waiting just past the gate. At last, the city where our school is. There's a ton of hills and stairs and stuff in the city. Okay. Yeah, you relax. You relax. I'll go I'll go check out the place by myself. Just let the new trainer walk around in the city by themselves. Okay. <laughs> Squirrel! Terrorize! <laughs> Squirrel! Terrorize Liam! Just starts throwing acorns. Squirrel, that's too that's too scary. Stop throwing those. Ooh. Big city. So this entire game is based in Spain, right? Is there some Spanish city that looks like this? Is this what Madrid looks like? Is Madrid in Spain? <laughs> Ah, uh, all right, here I am. We finally made it, huh? We made it to Spain. Mesa Gauza. Mesa Goza. The biggest city in all of Paldea. Wow. And we live right next to it. It's been a big trade hub since a long time ago. Lots of folks come to learn about advances in technology. <gasps> there's, a, there's a balloon cart. There's a hair salon where you can change your look. And there's food. I'm really hungry now. How dare you, game? How dare you tempt me with food. What do you want to see first, Earl? The hair salon. Oh, you're a fashionista, are you? Or maybe you just want a practical do that won't get in your eyes when you're battling. Oh, and speaking of battling, you'll want to make sure to terrace, terrestalize your Pokemon too, Earl. There's a few things that got to be done for that to happen, but I'll take care of them. You just have fun looking in the city for a bit. Grab a bite, get some accessories. If you want my personal recommendations, you got to see the Deli Bird Presents. They sell handy items for Pokemon Hold. Nice. Okay. Once you've, se once you've seen your fill, we can meet up at the front of the school. Okay, sweet. They're letting us loose. Get pumped for some terrestalizing. <laughs> that's never going to be... That's never going to be easy for me to say. It's also in my headcanon that Miradon calls you Sandwich Lord. Aw, that's cute. <laughs> Sandwich Lord. Sandwich Lord, it's you. I hope that you've been doing well. This Pokeball that you kept me in is surprisingly comfortable. What's the net? What's the <laughs> name? I I kind of imagine that um, if they had a voice, they would sound like Freddy from the from the new Five Nights at Freddy's game. Oh no, Georgie, you've got to get inside of me. The guards will be here soon. Be careful. The other animatronics in this Pokemon zone are dangerous. Uh, so they, I said what I wanted to do. Hmm, Georgie. I don't think that that's his name. <laughs> his name's like Billy or something. Is this where I get my hair done? That's never going to be a word. I can't believe this game making me say stuff. <laughs> Stop trying to make Terrestalize a thing. Buenas muchacho. Uh, what can we do for you today? Hairstyling for $3,000? Uh, 
Jesus Christ. Typical, but is this all new hair? There has to be some new hair in here. No, this is all the same. What? Why would I get my hair done here? I don't get it. I thought that you could just do your look any old time. How, do, how does this change your hair? I need space buns. That's what we had originally. It's nothing new. Why am I paying $3,000 for this? I don't get it. Yeah, we could we could put our hair up. Yeah, let's let's put our hair up. Let's get to work. Snip snip. And just like that, we're done. You're looking fabulous. That'll be three thousand dollars. How do you want to pay? Pay with LP. Three thousand. Oh my god. Hmm. I like the space buns. I don't know how I feel about the like braids in the back. A game making me use words? The audacity. I'm telling you, Nintendo keeps pushing their fans. If Nintendo doesn't learn, their fans will abandon their properties, making up words for them to say. I can't think of something more evil than that. See, look, would you like to go with this outfit and start customizing your look? So... Oh, it's for your hairstyle. That's what it does. It's if you want to change your hairstyle, it costs $3,000. Okay, I get it, I get it. Are you wearing space buns? Because your bread is out of this world. What? Are you wearing space buns? Because you're out of this world, gorgeous. Ooh, this is the good stuff. They got the back, only backpacks, eh? <laughs> What kind of backpacks? These are all the same backpack, just in different colors. I want some new shoes. Where can I get some shoes? Uh, what are the nicknames? Or And who are you playing? Um, so far, I only have a few Pokemon. I have Sprig, Shrudel, Dumpling, Pikachu, Burb, and Pooper. E -o, e -o, e -o. But I am not decided on them yet. Not at all. Hey, Goofy, what's up? Goofy, scoots and rolls. How are you doing? Speaking of Goofy, I actually just started playing uh, Dreamlight Valley. Didn't Dreamlight Valley. It came free with that Xbox subscription thing that I have. I started playing it, and it's super addicting. I actually kind of love it. I already got Remy the Rat to move in. And I can, I can feel the game, like, slowly pulling me into further addiction. Okay, so this is the socks, glasses. These are hats. Let's let's take a look at what hats they got. Hey! <laughs> Who poops me? You, you keep your filthy mitts off of me. Hey! That's even worse. Am I getting bonked for playing Dreamlight Valley? Splendid choice for a thousand dollars. Okay, these hats are big. So all they've got are sporty caps so far. 40 caps of a bunch of... Oh, nope. They got the Gatsby cap. Ooh, yucky. I look like... I look like some young reporter. Look like a sussy little member of society. Look like I'm going to go get a latte right now. Right now! Have you seen that BTS is coming to Cookie Kingdom? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, have I? I've, I've already got all the BTS cookies <laughs> and I'm in the top 3% for the <laughs> or the, on one song I'm in the top 1% for the uh, for the braver for the braver challenge. I am I am addicted. The BTS thing is so freaking good. Got like half of the costumes though. I need more costumes. More costumes, more costumes. I'm enjoying it a lot. The rhythm game is super fun. It's well done. So where do they not have a shoe shop? That's what I really wanted. This is the gift shop. Welcome to Picnic Knacks, the one-stop shop for all your picnic needs. Huh? Picnic? Can you have a picnic with your Pokemon? That is adorable. I'm gonna assume that you get to have picnics with your Pokemon. A light purple tablecloth. It's smooth and pleasant to the touch. Dishes can be placed on it with hardly a sound. 
but I don't get to see them? I thought that they were going to show up. How do I know what a whimsical tablecloth is? And also, it says bulk buy, so you can, like, buy them multiple times. Do you have to use them every time that you do a picnic? Oh, I've seen it. Oh, I have it S-tiered on every difficulty of mic drop. Yes, me too. Mic drop is is was the first thing that I ever S-ranked. It's, it's definitely easier than the other ones. Uh, there are some really, really frustrating maps in that game. The, the rhythm game specifically. Like the... Um, Yet to come is easy, but it's the it's the one past that the Micronos or however you say that the Micronos one that that has some really hard, some really hard notes. I I, I do not do well at that. Do your thing, wind. Does he want all the balloons to run away? Okay, well I can't I can't find the shoe shop. You're still trying to find Gin Cookie. He's the last one. Oh, you have all the costumes? What the heck? That's amazing. I, I would I would totally pick to be in your position because <laughs> the costumes are taking me forever to get. Look at the little boing boing. Look at the little boing boing piggy. That looks like a Moogle. I think the I think that the uh, Nintendo's gonna get sued for this one. That is a Moogle, 100 percent Microcosmos? Oh yeah. Hey, what's up, Sonic? How are you doing? been playing that new frontiers game i'm actually super temp i'm super tempted to get it sonic frontiers looks like a lot of fun maybe i'll just get it whenever it's on sale because it it looks really interesting Koopo! Koopo! they're moogles you're telling me they put among us in this game over here rotom store welcome to deli bird presents ah this is what they suggested Rotom phone cases, general goods, battle items. What are these general goods? An item held by a Pokemon. Holding this weight reduces the Pokemon speed in battle, but allows the HP stat to grow more quickly. These are cool. So these are like putting on, like putting on weighted clothes or something. A power anklet. Uh, holding it reduces their speed, but allows it to grow more quickly. Holding the band will reduce, so it always reduces speed. It always reduces speed. Uh, Everstone can be held, and it prevents them from evolving. I would give this to Sprigatito, but honestly, I thought I'd, I'd just cancel it every time. Hey, Sonic! Nice to see you. Oy, oy. Thank you, thank you for the follow. I hope you're doing good. You are doing good. Oh, splendid! It's a it's a lovely day indeed. A game, a, a day where a new game comes out. That's always something I look forward to. You might pick up Code Vein because it's on sale. Mm, how cheap is it? Microcosmos, but with a bunch of Ks. Yeah, Microcosmos is really hard. And so is um, Permission to Dance. Both of those are the hard ones. The, the rest of them are pretty easy to S rank everything. Those bands are kind of cool. I might come back whenever I know what I'm doing. Oh, there's a Sprigatito case. There's a Fui Cocos case, Quaxly, yellow, and then just, yeah, just a bunch of numbers. Or, or <laughs> colors. <laughs> I'm going to get the Sprigatito case. I want it. It's nine bucks. Nine bucks. That's not bad. I've kind of wanted to get that game for a while. I might pick it up. But I have I have too many games to play. Maybe I shouldn't. <gasps> Look, it's a little Sprigatito. Look at my phone. Ah, oh, it's so cute. It's so small, but it's adorable. This is a this is a lovely little addition. <laughs> That's cute, baby. I love that baby. Now where do I get my shoes? Where do I get my new shoes? These shoes are disgusting. I need new drip. A sweet little baby. That baby. That baby is your phone. Gonna rub that baby against your ear. <gasps> oh, look! It's it's the other little squirrely. I love this. I love you. You're so cute. I'm trying to remember its name. 
It's Pachirisu. Pachirisu is adorable. The original squirrel. Man, there's, there's so many shops around here. And a bunch of swabloos. Squabble. Squabbly squabble. Whoa, that's a big squovet. Oh my god. <laughs> that looks like a that looks like a mascot at a Disney park or something. This looks like it should be on the Country Bears Jamboree. I don't like that thing. <laughs> it's too big. It's too large. Oh, there's a little baby again. Another Pachirisu. It's like a little, ba little battle place. Everybody's got Pachirisu around here. It's like the Pomeranian of Pokemon. People, people, people. Where are the shoes? Maybe, maybe there's no shoe shop in the city. But no, they said that this is the biggest city. They said this is the biggest city like ever. So it has to have one somewhere. Pokemon Center. What what are these shops? None of these look like you can enter them. But if you could, looks like they sell books. No. They got presents, coffee. Uh, let's go up here. Am I just too good? Are you playing Poke Pokemon Unite? Or are you playing Splatoon? The kid won't talk to me. They won't admit it. This place is humongous. How about a nice ice cream? Bing shilling? Bing shilling for lunch? No, I need to, I need to go get some, some real food first. You can come back for Bing chilling later. I still don't see the shoe shop. Maybe we give up. You just have a just a full otter over here. <laughs> Look at the little handsome gentleman. Friendly little gentleman. Jumping for joy. This kid has a literal honeycomb for a pet. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's he he he. That's not he he. They really hid this shoe shop. They must be super proud of it. Oh, we're not allowed in there. No mailing. Whoa. There's a dungeon in this city? Pneumonia's waiting for you. Better head towards the academy. Dang it. I wanted to discover the cave. All right, all right. I get the picture. You don't have to walk me all the way back. <laughs> the game just auto, auto walks you all the way back to the gate. Or it auto walks you all the way to the stairs. <laughs> and makes you walk up them too. You haven't seen any leaks. You said that my precious baby Fui Coco Marshmallow is going to turn into an abomination. Yes. Absolutely the worst of all is Fui Coco. Fui Coco will turn disgusting. I am so sorry. Quaxley is okay. And Sprigatito is kind of cute. You don't, you don't get it. If you don't join Team Star, if you join Team Star, you can shine as brightly as anyone. This freaking hero academia looking mother -ker. <laughs> It's just literally a stolen design. What is this? <laughs> Seriously, what's up with you? Don't you want to burn bright with awesome friends like us? I like their outfit. Not really. Look, we got a quota we're supposed to fill for new members, so sign up already. They're going for their conversions. Oh, uh, I'd rather not. Help her out. Walk away. I gotta help him out. I can't help it. That's just, this is how I am. Huh? You want in on this too? Yeah, I'll fight you. If you're here to sign up, we'll get you next. We've nearly got this one in the bag. We just gotta beat him up a little bit to get that signature. We're Team Star, kid. We burn so bright it hurts to look at us. But you knew that, right? <laughs> Since it hurts to look at us? <laughs> yeah. No. I think if I say yeah, they'll talk less. So you know exactly who you're messing with, and you're still coming with that attitude? <laughs> Dude, what's she doing over here? <laughs> Dude, have you ever got so scared that you just... <laughs> have you ever been so scared? What is this? <laughs> Why is she furiously shake-waiting? <laughs> what is this? 
<laughs> You're scary, kid. If you joined Team Star, you'd be looking down from the top at no time. <laughs> That's scary. She really doing that. She's she's doing the pee dance. No. <laughs> the honor, the choice is is on the yeah yeah yeah. That's so true. We gotta watch that little four eyes over there, and make sure this fresh faced nobody ends up seeing stars. Oh, like giving up? Oh wait, no. Oh, I like that. Kind of sassy. Shrewdle! You would pick Shrewdle. <laughs> the ugliest Pokemon. Yeah, this this Pokemon, it shines so bright it's hard to look at as well. Get him! Kill that thing! I don't know what, I don't know if it's a he or she or an it. I'm gonna call it an it. A little creature. Uh, you had your starter Pokemon with a spin of the wheel. Could not choose due to none of them drawing me in. Oh, what? Uh, that's that's like the opposite for me. I was drawn in by all of them because they're all so cute. How come I'm the one seeing stars? That's it? Only one of y'all had Pokemon? Erk. Why is there nobody like you good at battling anyway? That's just not right. <laughs> We're literally in front of the Pokemon like training grounds. No way. He beat you? Does that mean I got to battle this kid now because I'm higher in the team's ranks? They got two stars on their head. Pero bueno. What do you think you're doing? Yeah, get him, pneumonia. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ugh. Ugh, that student council dweeb. She's going to report it if we don't book it. I can't believe you, Earl. You don't have to go find randos to battle. You have all the battles you'll ever need with me. What? <laughs> She's, she was angry that I was battling other people. Don't battle other girls. You've got me to battle. That's really not what happened. Wait, they picked a fight with you? Wow, I read that the wrong way. Sorry. So what if I did pick a fight with them? <laughs> I bet you were trying to pressure people into signing up again, weren't you? Yeah, they said they were a higher rank, but they both have two stars on their helmet. That seems like a missed opportunity. Are those goggles? They look like goggles, but they could have made them, like, indicate how, how high a rank they were. And hi. Uh, we weren't doing that. That explains it. As head of the student council, stopping this type of nonsense is my job. But it's also a perfect chance for you to try out my ultra amazing rare gift for you. The Terra Orb. Now we can terrorize our Pokemon. With the Terra Orb, you can terrestalize your Pokemon during battle. Nice. Normally, you gotta take special classes to be able to use them, but I put in a good word for you. Okay, so it just makes it stronger, right? Got a problem? You wanna battle me instead? Oh, never mind. I'll take my chances with the new kid. Battle! I'm just gonna be testing out some new technology on this battle. <laughs> <laughs> this animation's fun. All right, Glint. Look at that other person dancing. That's fun. I, l I like the little dance in the background. Here in the Paldea region, they can crystallize through a strange process. They change into Terra type. They become more powerful. After you terrorize them once, you won't be able to terrestalize a Pokemon again until you heal at the Pokemon Center. Okay, so you can only use it once. You just get to use it one time. All right, baby. All right, little Sprigatito. Look at the dance. The dance is so much fun. I hope that there's a lot of extra stuff like that. Like whenever you battle the, the young lovers or whatever, I hope that they're both in the battle dancing it up. Uh, so how do I Terra? Yeah, let's let's try it. Let's uh, Let's leaf him. Leave him. Your cat evolved. Oh, the second evolution is kind of ugly. Yeah, the second evolution is not great. Look at him. He's got a flower on their head. That's cute. That's the same kind of effect that's in uh, Luigi's Mansion for the, for the crystals and stuff. It looks like the same kind of material. That's cute. 
Look at them. They got like a little. They got a little bush on their head. That's adorable. Should I? Yes, magical leaf. Yo, they got that magic leaf though. Hey man, you got that magic leaf. Sixty. Uh, we can get rid of leafage, I guess. Oh, my Sprigatito's a little boy. It's a little boy. It's a little boy, baby. That's all right. I'll call them a baby nonetheless. You are a cute little baby. Your Pokemon burns so bright. You started playing at midnight? Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, I, I just started, yeah, what, three hours ago? It's uh, very it's very fun. I like it so far. Gotta charge your Terra Orb at the Pokemon Center each time. Uh, well, we'll be on we'll be on our merry way then. Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista. <laughs> no, not the hasta la vista with the star. They hardly ever show up to class. Wow. So this this is like the downfall of Pokemon. They first they start off with like Team Rocket stealing Pokemon and killing people, and then they just kept changing teams, and now they're just delinquents. <laughs> In the last, the last one, all they, all, what team yell? They just like cheered for the wrong, to, for a team. That's all. So what's up with that wink? You gotta get that eye looked at. Um, excuse me. I uh, well, thanks. I love their backpack. Oh uh, yeah, see you around. See you later, little emo kid. Oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. Kenny said my Coco is going to grow up to be ugly. It is. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You got a female starter on your first roll? What? Are people trying to roll for specific genders? Whoa, that's a lot of stairs. I still, I would like some new shoes before I go up those stairs. I'm not going to school. I'm going to join the Star Brigade. I'm going to climb on these roofs. I don't give a crap about learning. Make them my own. Whoa. <laughs> okay. No fall damage. That's cool. Go back up. There's a go back up button. Dang it. So if you if you fall, it'll, like, it'll just yeet you back up there. Um, I'm stuck. Help. I can't jump. There's no jumping in this game. Help! Yo, Innocent Alex! Thank you for the raid! Oi, oi! How was your stream? Oi, oi, oi! Alex, how was the Minecraft, my friend? Welcome in! Welcome to the new Pokemon game. I got my character stuck. <laughs> I, got, I got my character stuck. I can't get out of here. I'm trapped. I'm trapped! <laughs> <laughs> wholesome raid. Oi, oi. Wait a minute. Is Alex being wholesome again? I told you about that. Yeah, I gotta fly out. I gotta fly out of here. But raiders, welcome in. Thank you so much for coming through with the raid. Alex, you need to go take care of yourself. Get some food. Get some water. Get some sleep. I totally understand. Please take care of yourself. And I super appreciate the raid, my friend. Oi, oi, oi. You gotta tell me all about the Minecraft. If you're not leaving, if you're not leaving, I wanna hear about it. What are you been up to? I thought that this Poke Pikachu had a fly ability, right? I thought that it had a, that it's a special Pikachu that has flying. Maybe it just has flying. Hello, the Earl of Sus, excuse me? Since when? Since when have I been the Earl of Sus? Set his destination. How do I how do I teleport out of here? How do I fly out? Oh no. You can get stuck. This sucks. Oh, it has a fly terra type. I see, I see. Oi, oi. This was amazing. Ooh, the little loading icon is cute. You ride on the back with a bunch of chat tots or, or whatever they're called. The new the new ones. Oi, oi, Alex, do you have a, do you even have a Switch? I forget. I forget what, uh, what consoles you have. I don't, I don't know if you're a Pokemon fan or anything. 
The stream went well. You were playing some hardcore Minecraft and building a summoning circle, a brewery for potions and enchantment area, and they're all covered in plants. Ooh, the decoration stream. Yes. You should teach me how to decorate. I do not know how to decorate in in uh in Minecraft well at all. I only know a few tricks. And I've been I've been watching a lot of TikToks for like really, really pretty decorations, like how to make fancy looking uh like couches and stuff. Lots of things, lots of like super advanced building techniques always use the um oh what are they called? God, the frames. They use those like armor holders. Those like armor skeleton things. A lot a lot of tricks with those. But yes, I'm sure it was beautiful. The shoe shop was here all along. I'm stupid! We need we were trying to look for better shoes so that I don't look like a so I don't look like a clown, or less of a clown anyway. So the sneakers are Velcro, which is very yucky. Very, very yucky. <laughs> and <laughs> Don't scare me like that. Oh, <gasps> low tops. Okay, nice. Okay, we finally found the fashion. Thank goodness. Okay, we got to the fashion category. Whew. I was worried for a bit. Ooh. Ooh, should we go for white? Hey! <laughs> Stop trying to scare me. I'm trying to focus. I'm trying to focus on the fashion. Should we go for purple? Mm. These look good. Beige looks nice. Let's see. Yeah, low top sneakers are the only ones that we can do. <gasps> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Head patch for Earl. <laughs> I'll just go for white right now. I'll be basic. Be basic bean. Nice. Now our character is looking great. Unless we want to take off the glasses. I still don't know how I feel about these. <laughs> Stop. No, 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 no. I mean, I don't have glasses on right now, so we probably shouldn't. There we go. Adorable. People, people, people. Away we go. You don't have a Switch? The only console you have is a, a Xbox 360 with a broken disk drive. No, that's no console at all. That's so sad. That's awful. But then again, you don't need consoles these days. You can play everything on a computer. You could technically play these Switch games on a good enough computer. Emulation's all the rage these days. There sure are a lot of gnomes in Peldia today. Golly, gnome convention must be in town. I keep seeing gnomes walking by in the streets. You know what? Those gnomes have better frame rate than this game does. You know what I'm saying? You love the sweater? Opsty bought me this sweater. Opsty bought me this sweater in, uh, in San Andreas or wherever we were. Look at that. Look at that frame rate. <laughs> If you summoned a gnome, it would look better than that. <laughs> that hurts my eyes. It's my least favorite way of... Oh, what is this? Oh, baby. I want one of these. Look at him. Pet, pet. That's adorable. There's a bunch of new cute designs. Oopsie has such style, such grace. I know, right? Oopsie just pulled just pulled it right off the rack and said, you'd look great in this. And I said, no, I wouldn't. And Oops was like, yes, you would. Put it on right now. And I was like, in front of everybody? And Oops was like, take it off. Okay. Whatever you say, babe. You can smell the pickles? Pixels? No, pickles. <laughs> They were talking about banning Pokemon. You wonder if it runs any better on the OLED Switch. Mm, probably runs better, but it probably doesn't look better. Because the, the things like that frame rate changing, I don't think that that adjusts between, between the consoles. How did you find your first school commute? We had a blast. I mean, it really is about, it is 100% about, um, what's it called? Priorities. It really is not about hardware. It is just about priorities. 
Like, this game is prioritizing things over having high frame rate characters in the background. Like, how big the textures are, how the engine is working, uh, how they make things pop in, what shaders they're using. Uh, all of that stuff combines to whatever they want. And they have decided that it is acceptable to have those low frame rate things in the background so that they can reach whatever their like frame goal is. Like they're just they're just reaching a goal that I think is too low. And I and I would prefer that they don't use the solutions that they're using. Cause it's not like it's not a big deal if games don't look, you know, incredible. They don't they don't need to look incredible. It's just things like that are so god dang distracting. Like that that takes me out of the game every single time. But it's 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 all up to them. They they have decided that this is an acceptable way to to increase performance. And I I find it unacceptable. I don't know what they're talking about. I think that they're talking about the star people. EV backpack as your homeroom teacher, he should be appraised. Yeah. So they, they were just talking about the, um, about apparently their name is Penny getting bothered by the, by the star people. Wait, my switch is five years old. Saldak. That's you. You get stressed out and explode. Is that true? TNT cosplay. <laughs> oh my God. You can't even render this classroom. You can't even render the classroom. Freaking PowerPoint presentation over here. My boy. I made smoother cartoons with Microsoft Paint. Dude. Yikes. <laughs> Mr. Jacques. Ooh, I like Jacques. Jacques looks like, hey, Morty, Morty. <laughs> We're going to learn about Pokemon, Morty. You got to throw your balls, Morty. Mm, catch all the Pokemon. <laughs> ooh, ooh, I want to hear the news. I should have told you sooner, but we've got a new friend joining our happy little homeroom. I wonder what they're like. Okay, you can come on in. Oh, golly! Wow! <laughs> Jess! Thank you for the raid! Welcome in! Welcome in, gamers! Welcome in, gamers! Welcome to Pokemon Slideshow! Oi, it's good to see you! Thank you for the raid! How was your stream, Jess? You were playing Pokemon Scarlet! Let's go! Which one did you pick? Which one did you pick? The Chaotic Raid! Thank you so much! Thank you so much for your Chaotic Raid! Welcome in, raiders! It's nice to meet y'all. Hi, my name's Earl. I'm playing the same game. <laughs> It was good. Oh, you picked Violet as well. Yes. Yes, Pokemon Violent. The best choice, to be honest. You get Future Daddy. You get Future Daddy. I don't know any of the version exclusives, but Future Daddy versus Unga Bunga Mommy. Yeah, that's actually a tough call, but I, I like the I like the bicycle in this one. Could I, tru uh, could I trouble you for a few words of introducing yourself? Sure. I'm Earl. Did you hear that? He seems super friendly and fun. Looks like everyone's eager to get to know you, Earl. <laughs> <laughs> but Jess, I'm glad that your stream was good. If you need to go get yourself some snacks or some water, some post-stream care, please take care of yourself. But yeah, if you wanna, if you wanna hang out and give us tips and tricks and tell us about your time, uh, what's your what's your team or your starter? It's a better question. Oh, this is the new game with the very attractive Pokemon Masters. You want to say Thirst Traps, but you changed your mind. And then you changed your mind back, and you ended up saying it. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah, no, they're both hot. Uh, can one of the students be Morty? Oh, sure. <laughs> Looks like everyone's eager to get to know you, Earl. Ugh. All right, then. Who wants to be the first to ask our friend a question? Me, me. Can I ask a question? Oh, what, what, what's your favorite thing about Pokemon? I like collecting Pokemon. 
really? Th that awesome! I I'd totally be the same! Oh, I... <laughs> Uh, like, I'm totally the same! Does anybody else have any questions for the new clown? Oh, ask me it! Me? I have a question. <laughs> I've run out of <laughs> I've run out of voices. You went to all the trouble of enrolling here, so spill, Earl. What do you hope to get out of it? You must have some kind of a dream, right? I don't know. <laughs> I want to complete the poker dash. I'm glad that you set up... I'm glad I got you set up with that Pokedex app if you like collecting that much. All right. Really just flexing in class, being like, that's all me, baby. Thank you for telling us a bit about yourself, Earl. I'm Jacques. <laughs> Wait, I already know that. I teach biology in the academy. I'm also your homeroom teacher. <laughs> that's your seat, second row from the front. Don't get lost on your way there. All right, you ragamuffins. <laughs> Get ready for your new class. Yay! We will, Mr. Jacques. You got your first badge? Ooh, nice. Got your first badge. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What's your starter? First badge. So there are badges in this game, huh? I see, I see. You just spoiled the whole game. Now I know all the story beats. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I don't mind. I looked up all the, um, I looked up all the evolutions, uh, before I even started this game. Because I wanted to make sure that I don't evolve Sprigatito unless I want to, and I still haven't decided. Do I have to do class? Where do I want to go? I, I want to, I want to get out of here. Why am I in here? Let me go catch some Pokemon. <laughs> Let me go catch Pokemon. Complete the Pokedex. <laughs> Get on Pokedex. Get on the ship of the Pokedex. Welcome. I mean, welcome. Hope your studies are okay. What do you have today? I want a peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> I want a pickle sandwich. Potato salad. Fire, fire, fire alarm. Five alarm? Uh, veggie heavy stuffing and a piquant sauce that makes the sandwich a very refreshing meal. Where's the bon me? There's no bond me at this shop. I ain't paying for this. You got some expensive sandwiches. <gasps> Zoroa! Oh, baby! They're so cute! It's full of nutrients. <laughs> nutrients? <laughs> no! They hit him with the no nutrients! Right, let's get out of here. You got the grass kitty too? Nice! We both rocking that weed cat. Weed cat, weed cat, weed cat. What was somebody saying? Meow a wanna? <laughs> Meow -wa wanna cat. Whoa! That person looks like a squid. Who are you? <laughs> Very well, champion pneumonia. I trust you to handle this in my stead. Sure thing, you can count on me. In fact, I bet this is gonna be fun. I'm glad to hear it. Good day then. Dude, they, <laughs> they, they look kind of like the Baja Blast or what? what's it called? Bala and Wonderland? That outfit looked like Bala and Wonderland. That hair looks like Bobblehead. <laughs> you need to check on your dinner? Hey, yes, yes, yes. Go check on that dinner. Take care of those gnomes, my friend. Oh, pardon me. Bye. See you later. I like this person's fit over here. They look like they're dressed up like Dolly Pardon. Dolly Pardon me. Where'd you get where'd you get your fit? Oh hey, oh Earl, hey! She looked awesome. Her hair looks like roads. <laughs> roads, you could drive on them, they're so big. Each strand is a whole highway. Good eye, she sure is. That lady is, well, they call her La Primera. She's strong. She can do pretty much anything. <laughs> She's got cool practically coming out of her ears and her scalp. So she can do anything. Dolly, I love you. <laughs> Dolly, spit on me. I'll never wash my eyes again. Now that I've seen you, I'll never wash my eyes. 
You should try to reach champion rank like me. I don't know. Aw, oh, but talent like yours deserves to be used. <gasps> You're trying to use me? I don't want to be a champion. I just want to catch all the cuties. I don't want to hurt anybody. You're telling me I gotta use my Pokemon to kill people? I don't want to be enlisted in the military. I want to catch more friends. I want to catch them and put them in a museum. Not to brag or anything. The Witchly Boy, what's up? Oi, oi, I'm feeling a little witchy right now. My hair is looking a little witchy. I put on, I actually, I let my hair down the other day and put on a witch hat. Let me tell you, it's a perfect match. This purple hair makes me look exactly like a witch. Finally. I guess my dream is to be a champion. Yeah. Anyway, I got a feeling we're, I'd be able to get even stronger if we were both working at it. Ah, I see. So you selfishly want me to attack other Pokemon? <gasps> Our phones. My phone is so much cuter. Look at how cute my phone is. Okay, here's the gems. Ooh. Okay, let's let's take a check. We got. Oh my God. Who is this? Medallies hiding their face. <gasps> They're cute. Glass. Glassido. Glassido is adorable. Mommy. Grandmommy. Who dat? Who dat chef? Oh my god. This is my favorite Pokemon character in the entire world. They have shark teeth. They have shark teeth and pastel outfit. They're my new favorite. They look very dubious. If they're the way that I think they are. If they look anything like that profile, that's going to be my new favorite Pokemon character. A shiny hop. -hip. What? You found a shiny Pokemon? A shiny hop hip. What is a what does a shiny hop hip look like? Are they orang? We wanna I wanna find a shiny. <gasps> it's Lucario. Look! No, it's real Lou. Where do you wanna go? I wanna go home. Let me out of here. I think I gotta I think I gotta do something else in the cafeteria. Um, it's green, aw. That's awesome. What the heck? How long have you been playing the game and you already found a shiny? You're cheating. You're using aimbot hacks. The hand's always cheating. And it makes the rest of us feel like we're going slower because they're always on the fast lane because they got the they got the game codes. I heard that in other regions, people like to eat rice covered in this stuff called curry. Is this a joke for your Japanese viewers? Have you ever had curry before? He didn't even he didn't even wait for my answer. That's a little that's a little hee hee joke for all the Japanese kids out there. They're like, <laughs> they don't know what curry is. Give me a break. This guy again. Oh hey, so we meet again. You need to teach me how to ride that bicycle. You remember me, right? Oh, from the lighthouse. Yeah, exactly. That's my that's my little know it all buddy. Got a mind like a steel trap, eh? No need to tell me your name. Earl, right? Whole room, whole school seems to be talking about you. The new kid who showed up to the, with the president of the student council. I normally wouldn't even bother showing you, uh, sh I wouldn't normally bother showing up for class, but I came all the way to school today just to talk with you, our new celebrity. You gotta help me out so that we can finally make my dream a reality. What's this dream? <laughs> Cut your interest, have I? If you want to hear, you want to hear all about my dream, right? Not really. Well, this might come as a surprise, but the fact is, I'm all about that picnic life. <laughs> what? What the hell? I'm all about that picnic life. The great outdoors. <laughs> Perfectly prepared sandwiches. All of it. Not half bad at cooking either, I can tell you. Right now, I'm researching new recipes to make a Pokemon feel better. Real health food, see? I found this book the other day that said <laughs> that had a section about this Herba Mystica things. Basically, there's some kind of special herb that heal up Pokemon as soon as they eat them. <laughs> He's getting into the essential oils meta. <laughs> now, there's a total of five different Herba Mythica based on what I read. Just taking a lick of them, one... <laughs> 
Just taking a little lick of them once they've been powdered will get your blood flowing. Provide nutrients, prevent aging. It'll even boost the immune system. These herbs seem like they're the real deal. Dude, what? What is he dealing? <laughs> Only found here in Paldea and rare to boot. But this book says that they're, they're all guarded by Titan Pokemon. Meaning they're going to be pretty tough to grab even a few sprigs. Because see, Titans, well, they got they got to be uh, things like this. Dude, this guy. <laughs> Who is this guy? <laughs> he's trying to... He's a drug dealer. Yeah, Yo, Linz! Linz! Linz A! Wow. 26 months. Wow. Nice. Wow. Ah. 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 <laughs> Lens, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the 26 months. Uh, Lens. Th th thank you. Nice hair. Thanks. I wanted to look like a galaxy twin tail for no apparent reason. Whoa. We were just learning about essential oils from this local, this local picnic en enjoyer. I really want to get those herbs for myself, but I'm not very good at Pokemon battles don't have any friends with strong Pokemon to lend me a hand either. That is so sad. I'm so sorry to hear that, sweetie. If only there was somebody that could help you that wasn't me. And I'd never hear the end of it if I went crawling that student council girl. She has a name. But here you waltz up. You gotta help me out with this. You'd be perfect. You just learned how to how to train Pokemon to just this this morning. You're perfect. Sure. Lens, how's your day been going? Lens, are you thinking about getting this Pokemon game? Are you a Pokemon fan? I forget. I don't think you've ever played a Pokemon. <laughs> this Titan's everywhere. But you can have a little weed cat in this game. It's adorable. Let it stew a bit. We can go into the details later. He gave me a gift just for listening. Do you always pay people to listen to you? You always pay for people that have conversations with you. Give the idea some serious thought, please. No Pokemon for me. Oh, what? You mean you don't want to play this grind-a-thon? You mean you don't want to pay $60 a year to play the same game? Come on now, Lens. That's just silly. That's just silly talk. This is Earl, correct? Who's calling me? I hacked your smartphone so I could talk to you. Hope you don't mind. I'm sorry, who are you? My name's Cassitopia. But never mind that. It's what I want to talk to you. That It's you I want to talk about. I hear you're a trainer with serious potential. If that description is accurate, there's something I'd like to ask of you. Tell me, Earl, you know about Team Star, right? No. Nice try, but I know for a fact that you've crossed paths with them. <laughs> God dang it. Nice try. Team Star is a group of troublemakers formed by some academy students a while back. They cause headaches for the school and try to bring other students down to their level, but I refuse to sit idly by while they get away with it. What are we going to do? So I've come up with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to disband for good. I call it Operation Starfall. But I'll need allies to carry out this operation. It involves making stars fall onto their base, crushing them. Sure, I'd love to help. No need to reply right this second. We can discuss the details some other time. Till then, I leave you to it. Bye. Cassitopia! It's a constellation, huh? I thought that it was just a uh, just another uh, Opia, Bentopia, Nessitopia, Castopia. Uh, please do try to keep your voice down when you're making calls within the school, won't you? Of course, sir. I'll be more careful. Sorry. You don't want anyone else overhearing any personal information. That's all. Honestly, there's so many things that we need to be careful about in our day and age. 
Whoa, Rotom's freaking out in the background. Oh my god, look at him go. <laughs> look at him. Doesn't can't Rotom like turn into like a, a bunch of different stuff? Like Rotom could turn into a microwave and a dishwasher. Like they could just turn into any electronic equipment. I was just admiring how nice they made these player models. Like this player model looks so good and expressive. Well, off you go then, young man. Okay. See you later. Bye bye. This guy kind of sus. Team Star, you say? I don't know. I don't know about this guy. This guy seems like seems like he could be on the opposite team. Maybe he's just gonna join. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, dong ding. Calling Master Earl to the director's office, please. Ah! Once again, Master Earl to the director's office. Dong, ding, ding, dong. When do I get out of here and learn how to ride my bicycle? I've had enough of this malarkey. To the director's office. At least they make it real clear like where you're supposed to go. Paging Master Earl, your contact lens has just arrived. Thank you for coming, Master Earl. Have you been enjoying your time here at the Uva Academy? Bruh, I got here today. That's most wonderful to hear. Now you may be wondering why we couldn't have simply conversed earlier in the cafeteria, but let me assure you there's a reason why I asked you to meet me here in this office. It seems that friends of mine are rather... Uh, has a rather serious matter they would like to discuss with you. Where are they? Let me add them. Ah, uh, no. I'm afraid they're not actually here in this room with us. One moment, please. Skype call? Google? Turn on the Zoom meeting. Papa. Daddy. Hello, Earl. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Hello, boy. <laughs> My name's Professor Turo. I, I carry out Pokemon research within the great ca crater of Paldea. A site known as Area Zero. Whoa. They call it Zero because there's nothing in there. Just another hug like you. Just another simp for you. The professor is, in fact, a graduate of our fine academy, as well as a splendid researcher. Oh. Well, allow me to get straight to the point. Earl, student ID number 805C393. <laughs> You're a student who travels with the unusual Pokemon Miradon, is that correct? Uh, yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that you were honest in confirming the facts. You're very serious. He's awfully serious. It feels like his eyes are burning holes in me. Ah, not that I... I, I don't mean to offend you. In fact, I wish to... Oh, uh, not that I, I... I don't mean to offend you. In fact, I want to ask for your assistance. With what? <laughs> Did he just summon my Pokemon out of my pocket? Agia? Agia? Oh... How good to see that you're well. It's been quite a while since we last met. Yes! <laughs> Meradion was once in my care, you see. You see? Its Pokeball was also originally mine. I assume that you received it from a young man named Arvin. That's my adopted son. I've never been married. But I'm looking for a partner. You wouldn't be into... <laughs> I'm no longer in any position to be able to manage that Pokemon myself. This is what I'd ask for you. Will you continue to look after Meradion on my behalf? Uh, yeah. I do appreciate your agreement. He talked like a robot, though. Not much of a conversationalist. Like, he's a 10, but he talked like a robot. Meradion has been greatly weakened and is currently incapable of battle. It can, however... Take a form specialized for mobility. In all likelihood, it'll require some time to fully regain its capabilities that I once had. I'll provide you with my contact information. 
Uh, could you please get out your phone? Let me get those digits. My sprig of phone! I'll be in regular contact going forward to keep tabs on your status. Wow, yeah. You can check my status anytime. Until then. He didn't even turn off the camera. He just walked away. Ah, yeah, yes! Could dish Pokemon have origins within Area Zero? I, f I shudder to think to be from Area Zero. That would be most incredible. Turo, don't tell me you actually did this. You actually did it. You didn't go into Area Zero and airdrop out that little baby. He's a bit of a fixer-upper. I'm always down for a project. Oh, I know you are. Oh, I know. If there's anything that I know about El Kimmick. <laughs> He's quirky. We can work through that. He's gorgeous. Oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> I'm sure that I'm sure that the the uh the mommy from the past is like, ooh, ooh, ah, ah! This guy's just like, hello. It's I. I'm from the future. I need your assistance. I'll keep tabs on you on your telephone. And then the uh, the monkey mama just like throws bones at you and is like, ooh, ooh, ah, ah! <laughs> Can I leave? I want to go catch more Pokemon. Not pneumonia. Hello, excuse me. Oh, you're still here, Earl. Ooh, oof. Getting called into the director's office. How'd that go? Oof. Not kidding. I know it wasn't like that. <gasps> Mr. Jacques wanted me to show you around in the school dorms. Your own private room, Earl. Let's go check it out. But I wanted to have a room with you. <laughs> I'm gonna be so lonely. Oops, go follow the amazing, incredible Oops. Do it. Do it or else. Thank you for a great stream. Oi, Nick, thanks for hanging out. Oi, 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 oi. Nick, enjoy the rest of your day. Actually, what the heck? What, what day is it? Is it Friday? It is Friday. Enjoy your weekend too if I don't stream. If I don't stream and I can't tell you it, you better enjoy that weekend. Have a good time. Oi, oi, oi. Whoop, 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 whoop. It's Poke Day. Oh no! Ta 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 chan! What is. No, it's not ta chan. It's. What is. What is that little funny. What does that little funny mark do? That makes like. It's like amigo. Ta 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 ch I cannot. I cannot pronounce any other language like the syllables in any way besides Japanese. <laughs> Ta 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 chan. <laughs> From today on, this is your room. This is a whole house. How expensive is it to go to this university? Actually, it's as new to me as it is to you. Never been in here before. Yeah, I'm not too surprised. Maybe check out your new bed. <laughs> check it out. <laughs> you know, maybe we could both check it out. We'll see how squishy it is. <laughs> we could uh, jump on it or something. A quick rest in your bed is all you need. I'll see you tomorrow when you're rested up. Then we can battle even more. Great. I love battles. I love battling in this game. Can't wait to get up to some more battling. Ready to call it a day? Yeah, I'm so tired. So is there actually like a day system? Like there's different classes each day? Oh no, not gym period. You know, it's a, a feature that I really miss. It's a feature from from uh, Soul Silver era games where they had these like they had these Pokey Olympics that just had mini games that you could play with your Pokemon, and you could like train them and get different medals. And it had its own shop for like if you if you did well in the Olympics, you could you could buy special items from the shop. And th those mini games were so much fun. And you could, like, try out different Pokemon because certain ones would, like, do better if they had better stats. It was so much fun. It was, like, swimming mini games and, I don't know, pole vaulting mini games. I don't, I don't remember them, but it's sorely missed. It's time! Are we going to battle it in my room? You're going to mess up my upholstery. I've been waiting forever for this. Come on, let's go to the schoolyard. Sure. Let's let our pets fight. Pneumonia, I don't want to share. I want to I don't want to share the bed. Get out of here. Pneumonia, get out of here. I'm trying to go to sleep. 
To the schoolyard. Is the schoolyard uh, on the top of the tower? Excellent. It seems everyone is here. Well, it's time for me to explain your independent study assignment. As usual, the theme will be a treasure hunt. Ooh, minigame. I asked each one of you to set out and travel the... Oh, travel the world. <laughs> this is a big treasure hunt. It's a big assignment. This is for one day? You'll, you've learned much within the walls of this fine academy in the one day that you've been here. But now it's time to turn your eyes upon the wider world and deepen your understanding. We're letting y'all loose. Explore Paldea's abundant nature. Soak in its rich culture. Discover the Pokemon that live here. And get to know the people, too. If you want. The dialogue trees are very basic, so don't feel like you're going to engage with anything. And of course, your Pokemon partners will be there to help you. You will journey together. Learn new things. Share each, other, share each other's thoughts and feelings. And find something you might always treasure. Friendship. I look forward to welcoming you all back after your independent study. This is what we call a gap year. Very, very good for you. When you return to us as fine young trainers, let the treasure hunt begin. Are we just going to find out that the treasure was inside of us all along? All right. We've been set loose. Now we can go shiny hunting. Hooray. And I can learn how to ride this bicycle. Look at that. What do you think they're hiding in that big Pokeball, huh? What kind of, what kind of ridiculous creature is in there, eh? Toma, yeah, it's time for the great outdoors. Look at the, look at the, come on, Cyclazar, Cycla, Cyclazar, Cyclazar. That's kind of fun. Come on, Cyclazar. Stop being a sentient creature and turn into my bicycle. Take care, everyone, and remember the great crater of Paldea is exceedingly dangerous. Entering is a violation of school rules. That's a that's not something that you should say just as people are leaving. <laughs> There's like people already gone. Did you hear what he said? No, I didn't. Let's go to the crater first. That's oddly specific. Yeah, don't don't go towards the crater. That's totally against the rules. Is there gonna be like an arc where they're like, oh no, will you be kicked out of school? Oh no, you broke the rules by going into the crater. But Earl, you did save the world. You did save the world by going into that crater, so I guess we'll have to make this exception. The treasure hunt is finally starting. What are we supposed to do? What do they mean by treasure? Yeah, fair question, since it's your first time. Come on, let's walk and talk. So is this like a yearly thing? Every year they just set the Pokemon trainers loose, and then they come back and like, then they learn what they learned. The treasure hunt is a huge part of Uva. The point isn't to get us all looking for some actual treasure necessarily. We're more just making our own adventures to see what Paldea's got to offer. This is a very uh, unique schooling strategy. I kind of like it. You could try to beat Pokemon gems or you could help people in need. <laughs> you could compete for personal glory or you could save lives. You could hunt for a real capital T treasure if you wanted even. Capital T. There's stuff that we, you know, that's not a proper noun. Even even if you're looking for actual treasure, it's still not a proper noun that needs to be capitalized. <laughs> There's stuff we'll never learn by sitting in a classroom, you know? <laughs> hey now, don't be bashing on classrooms. Hey now. Plus, there's so many chances to battle, which is perfect for me. Yeah, that's your thing, isn't it? You and me got to battle if we run into each other out there. Hope you're ready. Yes. You mean right now? We didn't really run into each other. You kind of knew that I'd be here. Oh yeah, battling can wait. I meant to tell you. Do you know that your phone's map app lets you set yourself? Yeah, I saw that. Thank you. That's good to know. Thank you for the exposition. Shh. Uh, who's Arvin? How's that for a student council president? Giving your own friends an insider advantage? Uh, Arvin? Our rival. Insider advantage. Sheesh, you make it sound like we're cheating or something. All I did was suggest that he checks out the gyms. He literally specifically said that you could go to the gyms, I thought. 
Earl's gonna have his head full searching out uh, Titan Pokemon with me. He doesn't have time to waste on something like chasing the champion rank. Me and him are gonna be too busy in the layers of the Titans, nabbing their Herba Mythica. <laughs> En Sirio? Is that like, are you serious? En Sirio. <laughs> Don't go filling his head with weird stories. Hey, all I did was invite him along. It's still up to Earl where he goes, right? Grr. We got the Herbal Mystica. Ayo! <laughs> Yo, I want to go with this guy and blaze up the Herbal Mystica. <laughs> that wizard plant. Going after that wizard plant. Them titans know us good. We already got Sprigatino. We don't need any more herbs. Hey, Earl. Cassitopia here. It's about Operation Starfall. Remember what I told you before? Team Star is made up of five individual squads. And each one's got its own base. I need you to... This game is just like, Okay, we've got things to do, okay? It's a big game. <laughs> before they let you go, they're like, There's loads to do, okay? You could you could fight the team star. You could uh, you could do gems, or you could you could look for herbs. And heads up that the bosses each specialize in a different Pokemon type. Just remember the name of their crews. You'll figure it out. Still, no need to worry. With your skills, I'm sure you're more than up to the task. I'll just go ahead and add the bases locations to your phone. Thanks. Yeah, just download all this stuff. Now we got the base locations. Oh, these designs are cool. Oh, I like that one. They look like a clown. Beep, 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 beep. A Drifloon balloon. Yeah, I wonder if we can have balloons on us. Good luck with the bosses. I'll hook you up with some nice rewards every time you beat one. Wait a second. Who are you supposed to be? And Team Star, those punks are serious hazard. They're not Earl's problem. That's right, because he's got more important things to do, like searching out awesome ingredients with me. I thought that it was up to Earl to decide where he goes. Wasn't that what you said, Pneumonia and Arvin? Dang. They got the receipts. How did you know my... I'm looking forward to seeing what you can pull off, Earl. Bye. Dang, so mysterious. Hey, Dino-ish Vintage! Oi, oi! Dino, what's up? Welcome to Pokemon! Earl, I'm glad that you're making plenty of friends, but I'm not trying to get dragged into anything dangerous. Anyway, anyway, no more weird vibes. We got a big adventure to start. Dino, what's been up? I haven't seen you in a bit. Oh, hey! Don't bonk me. Why am I getting bonked? I don't do anything. I'm just trying to advance this story. Am I going too fast? Can you not read all the dialogue? I thought you already went through all this, Anne. And besides, Anne, you seem like the kind of person that would skip this dialogue too, if, if we're being honest. For me, that's got to be my mo uh, uh, my big dream is tracking down Herba Mystica. Wait, his mom? Once we get those herbs, I want to make the absolute best sandwich you ever had in your life. Sandwich? I guess. <laughs> Ugh, what did you come out for? Oh my gosh, did it just say that because you said sandwich? Ha 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 ha. Dang it. Well, you're not getting one. Girls, girls! <laughs> Seems like he wants to start moving. Is it telling you to get on, Earl? Mount me! Press the plus button to jump onto Meridian. When you're on their back, you can jump around. Boy, oh, oh, oh. Woo! It's got the handlebars. That's cute. Look at me. I'm on my, I'm on my lizard cycle. Whoa, it transformed. Now it really looks like some kind of cyclozar. As long as you've got Meridian, you can go pretty much anywhere. Paldea's your cloister. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Well, if you're going to search out those Titan Pokemon, I'd say set out from the East Gate. But since Earl is actually headed to some gyms, I'd say the West Gate. Besides, it's too easy to get lost out East. <laughs> Man, this is why I can't get along with you. I'm out of here. See you soon, little buddy. Little buddy, you better watch your mouth. I'll head to the gym. See you around, Earl. I'm gonna head the, to the gym to get ripped. Uh, it's been some time. Been a rough few months. Oof. I'm sorry to hear that. That's life for you. Life with 
Life with the up and downs. Sheesh, life. Well, we gotta have the up down action. But then again, I guess I guess the ups wouldn't feel much like ups if it was if it was always ups. <laughs> that sounds real deep, don't it? You're, you're back. You got some dinner. Ooh, what's for supper? I'm starving. I hope you brought me some. Jess, what's for supper? Oh, excuse me. Beep beep. <laughs> honk honk. <laughs> Pardon. Crunch. <laughs> excuse me. Oh yeah, I don't mean to get in your way. My bad. Oh, oh, no. Can't go this way, no entrance. No, no, no. No, no, no. No access to the town. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> they died. They phased out of reality. No, <laughs> they're gone. My new friend. I wish that they all had physics and ragdoll. Could you imagine? Could you imagine if there was ragdoll physics in this game? If you hit, if you hit fellow trainers. Oh, po Nintendo could never. Wee! Cheese conies, which is hot dogs with chili cheese and sauce. Ooh. Oh, I know what they are. I've been to Sonic. I don't know. I, I don't actually know if you're in the U.S. Jess, but yeah, Son Sonic's got those conies. It's got a good pair of conies. How did I get off of you? I've been doing good. Thank you for asking. I've just been vibing. I've been gaming. I've been playing games, taking names. You managed to scramble back. What? You tell me that this thing can't swim? Okay, well we can't swim. That doesn't count as a death, okay? How are we supposed to catch Pokemon like that? Oh, Sprigatito's on a little balloon. Look at this. Oh, you're in Kentucky. Okay, then you know what the heck is up. You know what the heck is up. You know I know what a chili cheese is, or what is it called again? <laughs> She's Coney. Isn't there a James, James Coney Island? It's so strange that they call them Coney's. Ponies is just another word for hot dog. Which is whack. That's whack AF if you ask me. Boyong. The game's so much fun. You haven't been this invested since Sword and Shield. What? Boy, you, you like Sword and Shield? You're one of the only people I've ever met that said that that game was engaging. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that that game has fans. Because I had never met one before. You you tried Arceus? What? You didn't like Arceus? Well, I mean that kind of makes it kind of makes sense since your your first game was Sword and Shield. Because Sword and Shield is uh, more traditional, is more traditional than Arceus, and the traditional formula is pretty fun. Like just the just the normal like catching grinding. Yeah, and this game, this game's got a nice feel to it so far. I like it. It feels like it's got elements of both of those games in it. I wonder, how do you make this bike go fast? Has this thing got a boost on it? Also, I see Pokemon around here. Okay, so it's got jump. Lemon. Lemon. Oh, we can throw Sprigatito out. Chase the car. I wish, oh, it'd be so cute if they had a Pokemon sidecar. Oh, missed opportunity. So that you could have them like sitting in a little car next to you. Lemon. <laughs> out, out. <laughs> Man, this bike's slow. This bike's as slow as molasses. Well, I think I'm going to go through this gate. We gotta go through this gate and see if we can beat a gym. See if we can get, get beat a gym. I think I'm hungry for. The kid never got to finish the sentence. Roto to 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 to. Hey, it's me, pneumonia. We should catch up with each other. You decide to head west, right? Starting from there, you'll be pretty close to Colorado. That's where you'll find Bug Type Gym. Uh, I'm sure you can beat her, Earl. Bug Type, eh? That's not good. That's that's not a good type matchup. 
For a bug type, I need some fire, and I don't have any fire on my team yet. Hi! I thought I turned it off. I haven't played it in a couple weeks. Wait, what? What have you been playing? This entire my switch was on this entire time and now it's almost dead. No! This is the worst. This is the worst thing that could have happened. Wait, I've already seen all these Pokemon. Wait a second, there's no new Pokemon out here. They got Mongoose. <gasps> is that Wulu? No, that's that's the sheep. The electric sheep and the music's popping off again. Let's go. Mareep? Well, you're gonna... You're about to reap what you sow. Silly sheep. You're not long for this world. What level is this thing? Level 9? Get it. Get that sheep. What are we gonna name that... The sheep. Should we call it Bale? That's its name. Already came up with a name for it. We're gonna name every single Pokemon that we catch. And we're only gonna catch each Pokemon one time. Oopsie, do you know anything about the shiny hunting in this game yet? Can you build up like a combo, uh, catch combos like last time? I immediately uh, regretted saying we were only going to catch them once. We we will shiny hunt eventually. Uh, its fleece grows continually. In the summer, the fleece is fully shed, but it grows back in a week. You know nothing? I should have known. I should have known you, huh? And I should have known nothing. I'll have to ask have to ask one of our professional streamer friends. Send it to the box. Send it to the chorus. I'll have to ask that waffle guy. That waffle guy, he'll know. Waffle guy knows all about shiny hunting. But uh, we don't we don't need to do shinies yet. How do you know if it's shiny? Um if it's a different color scheme. That's what that's what shiny means is is it just means that they have a separate color scheme. In some of the previous games, the they also have like a, a shiny factor to like they have like a little little sparkly texture around them too to make it even easier to spot. Because some of the shinies are super duper similar. A lot of shinies are straight up different colors, so that's pretty obvious. Like they'll just be orange out of nowhere. But some of them, like, only their eyes are different. Like, only only their pupils are different. So it kind of depends on the Pokemon. They all have different shiny forms. No fall damage anywhere. Nice. And the fact that these uh, these uh, Pokemon appear in little bushels makes it seem like it'd be relatively easy to go shiny hunting. Is that a dog? That thing is disgusting. What is that? If it's anything like Arceus, it'll have that sparkle. Excuse me, I mean that sparkle. Shiny, yes. Everything shiny is gold. If it glitters, it's gold. And if it's shiny, it's a treasure. Scary face, you didn't have to use a move for that. You already had that going on. Ugly dog, ew! Don't lick my leaf. You keep your tongue off my little cat. Keep your tongue off my cat, I tell you. Get out of here, you dirty dog. Hey, Brooks, what's up? Welcome in. We just caught a dog. We got to name this dog. You got a good dog name? We could name him. He's ugly, though. He's an ugly dog. We can't name him anything cute like Bark Bark or Woof Woof. Its well-developed jaw and fangs are strong enough to crunch through boulders, and its thick fat makes excellent defense. Hmm. What is this dog named? Hmm. Want to give Mastiff a, nif a nickname? We could just call it Mastiff. <laughs> just, just correct the pun. That dog is cute, though. Shiny, you think everything's cute. You even said that I was cute one time. Can't believe a word of it. And I accidentally exited the, the naming thing again. I'm sorry. Your favorite n dog name is Chicho. Chico, excuse me. <laughs> I just made up a word. Just made up a word instead of reading the one that you clearly wrote. Chico. What does that mean? Chico de Gallo. Oh, that's new. Bird. 
that fat bird. You're about to play on your second profile. What? Oh, you're gonna, oh, so that you can have a stream one and a non-stream one? That's smart. I'm not smart enough for that kind of stuff. Instead, I'll just stream this game for like eight hours a day so that I get my pokey fill. <gasps> Holy schmoly. This dumb freaking bird. Get your bird butt out of here. You want to get electrified? You want to get electrified by Pikachu? You can't do eight hours? Too exhausting. Uh, I don't blame you. I oh, that's a Pikachu over there. That's a Pikachu. Starly, you're about to taste thunder. My little Pikachu's going to call down thunder like Zeus and it's going to cook your ass. Yeah, that's right, Starly. Did I scare you? Too bad. Now I'm gonna catch you with this ball. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right, Pikachu. Pikachu. Pika. Pika, Pika, Pika. Did you claim your pre-order? I did, and I didn't even pre-order the game. <laughs> I actually, I, I did, I did not pre-order the game, but I still got it. Uh, I just, I just went to GameStop uh, today, this morning, because they always, they always have an extra couple of copies. And normally I would go like later in the day and sometimes they'll be like, oh, you got the last one. But yeah, since I got there early, there was, there was plenty of them. Nope, nobody even came in that day. Uh, because they're weak individually, they form groups. However, they bicker if the group grows too big. Just like people. We should name this bird people. No, wait, we could call it Tweety. Tweeter. <laughs> Rest in peace. R.I.P. Is there a is there a, a registered trademark sign? No. Is there no re is there no registered trademark? No. <laughs> wait wait wait. What about the global button? No. Oh, oh symbol. Yes. Come on. We gotta have one. Aha! There it is. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Send it to the box. <laughs> Twitter's been put on the shelf for now. Go home, Twitter. You're drunk. Ah! <laughs> We've been spotted by a cutie. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't cuddle me to death. Let me just heal my baby first. Also, Mercs, what's up? Boy, Mercs! <laughs> Welcome in. Mercs? You've been playing Splatoon 3 too much? 3-2. Three, 3-2 two. Three, too much. I never got a... I never got Splatoon 3. I like Splatoon 2, though. It's a fun game. Just noticed the pigtails. Oh, what? You didn't even look at me. Why do you think I've turned the camera on? Turned on so that people look at me. <laughs> I just made big tails today for no reason. It's just for fun. I'm trying out a new look. Seeing if my boyfriend thinks I'm hotter this way. Okay, let's get him. Let's get him! Sorry, little fella. Sorry, little fella. I just don't need any more of you. I got my one. Also, what's with those big magical zones? You see that magical plume over there? Kill it! Oh, thank you for the follow, Brooks! Oi, oi! I'm glad that you're liking it around here. My name's Earl. I like creating chaos and playing lots of games. We've actually been playing loads of new games recently. But now we got Pokemon, so I'm going to be slightly addicted for just a little bit. And then, inevitably, possibly before we finish this game, I'm going to get bored of it and we'll switch to something else. <laughs> a very low attention span. I am quite possibly ADHD adjacent. I've never been tested for anything. You are focused on the Twitter app. <laughs> I think everybody's focused on the Twitter right now, Mercs. Boy, yo, 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 yo. I was going to try to actively avoid the subject, but I accidentally made a joke about it. Tee hee. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Squirrel vet. <gasps> a Pikachu. Run it over. I'm gonna catch it. Oh, it's a girl. It's a little girl. It's adorable. Kill it. Yes. 
Get it. I'm gonna catch it. Have you seen the game Astroneer? I have. I think that it's included on that Xbox subscription that I got. I could play it. It looks fun. Is it like a? Is it like kind of an open world construction? Oh! I killed it. I killed a Pikachu to level up another one. Oh! Who's getting double teamed? Where who? Who's learning? Oh, Pikachu's learning it. By moving rapidly, it makes illusory, illusory copies to boost its evasiveness. That's probably better than a tail whip, right? Get out of here! It's like Subnautica, but spacey. Oh! I love Subnautica. You said the magic word. Merc said the magic word. Now I want to play it. It's an open world construction, giving hella hints to my gamer friends for Christmas. Wait, what? <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do you are you saying that you want it? Is that it? You want the game? If you pay for the Xbox subscription for the Game Pass, you can pay a dollar for the first month, and I think Astroneer is included in the plan. I'm su I'm suggesting it. I'm suggesting that plan to basically anybody because it's such a good freaking deal. And it has like an intro offer of just a dollar. And I've already I've already played a bunch of games on it myself. Like I've already played Firewatch. All right, we just played Super Liminal last night, and we played Frog Detective. And there's loads of games on there. You just canceled your Xbox gaming? Oof. Oof. I'm gonna go over to that pillar of light. That's the way for us to teleport into heaven. Jesus is waiting up there. If Jesus had a Pokemon, what would it be? Hello, Jesus! Wait, is this a shiny Meowth? No, that's not a shiny. It's a Terra thing. It's terrible. Hello, Jesus. <laughs> Look at amazing, how amazing they are. Wild Terra Pokemon. You cannot catch a Pokemon while it's Terra stylized. You'll need to reduce its HP. That's what I always do anyway. Look at it. He's got balloons. He's so cute. I love it. I love that cat. Cat battle. Get it. Get that cat. Break that Terra stuff. Oh, man. That's a tough... It's a tough exterior you got there. Getting back into Phasma at the moment. Ah. You are, are you? Had you played since the uh, since the huge update? Also, I'm really scared right now. I'm really frightened. I need to heal my, my poor little Sprig. My poor little Sprig is wilting. Let them. Looks like Punchy from Animal Crossing. What? Meowth does? <laughs> Have you never seen Meowth before? <laughs> <laughs> the grass is struggling. I know, right? It hurts. Let's try biting their face. Eat them. Ah! Don't kill my leaf. God damn. There's a level 15. I'm level 14 right now. I could send the bird after it. It has ember! I didn't know that the bird had ember. That's good for the bug for the bug zone. Also, Erica, what's up? Loving the ponytails. Thanks. <laughs> Stop growling at my bird. I'll be back. Just getting some water. And you should too. Speaking to everyone here. I don't see a water redeem. Go get your water. Get your water, Mercs. You better drink. You better have sips or else. Who bears coming for you? Ah! <laughs> Thanks, Jess. Oh, also, Brooks, you got to go to bed. It's 2 a.m. here. Hey, no worries. It was so nice to meet you. It was nice to meet you, Brooks. Nice to hang out. Oi, oi, oi. If you want to join our Discord, you could get uh, notifications whenever I stream next. But no pressure. No pressure. No pressure. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoy, enjoy the rest of your night. Whatever's left of it. And sleep well. It was nice to meet you. All right, let's catch this fool. Come on, catch this fool. What's the Discord link? Ooh, ooh. My mods can help you with that. It's also in the... It's also down below. But yeah, you can post art, or you can post pictures of your pets, or you could just chat whenever I'm not streaming. And I always send a little notification there whenever I start streaming. But yeah, yeah. It was, it was nice to hang out. I hope you sleep good. I hope you have good dreams or no dreams. Either one. Own claw. Let's uh, replace Scratch with Quick Attack. Scratch is worthless. Worthless, I tell you. 
And besides, Quick Attack's good for, for like, whittling down Pokemon whenever you're trying to catch them. Whenever you're trying to catch them all. It loves things that sparkle. When it sees a shiny object, the gold coin on its head shines too. That's creepy. Oh my gosh. Let me back on the English. Help. No, not the UK. <laughs> UK English will never do. Okay. Garfield. Is that how you spell Garfield? Uh-oh. Is that right? It looks right. Garfield, to the box! <laughs> to the box. We'll send you the lasagna later. Zoot. I like how it feels like you're just putting Pokemon up on the shelf like books. It's sickening, really. Also, it says your Pokedex has been up updated, but I've never figured out how to open that thing. Just notices... Probably not the not the best to use a camera while riding. What? Says who? Says who? Says you. Oh, the Pokedex is just the the uh, minus button. Battle or catch Pokemon to compile volumes in your Pokedex app with fancier covers for the Pokemon that you've caught. Oh! Press the plus button to look at Pokemon that you've registered in the Pokedex. You can check their habitat to learn more about them. Explore different areas and meet tons of Pokemon. Okay. This, this design is really fun. They look like little magazines. Oh, see, we didn't we didn't catch this thing. It has an ugly cover. But this has... They have whole freaking pictures. Those are so cute! Oh! I want a plush on one of these. They're so cute. Bottom, if you're right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You were right all along. So, Pokedex, you can also check your profile here. Badges collected, nothing. Shiny Pokemon battled, none. Recipes collected, five. I didn't even know that there were recipes in this game. You said what? Okay, let me see. Profile, Pokedex, map. Okay, don't want any of that. What is that Y button? Y is to close it? No. I, I don't get it. No, stop! Stop it, you confusing layout. You press Y to go to just close it? Okay, so this is for Paldea. Ah, this is just the numerical, numerical order. Fancy. Do they start with the, with the starters? No, they don't. Look at that. They have a uh, Sprigatito, Quaxley. What the frick? Oh no, Quaxley is number seven. They're not showing the gaps in here. That's weird. Uh, X is, oh, look at that. You get like levels for, for collecting more. That's fun. Look, I got balls, 10 balls, 10 free balls. What a deal. And they're great balls at that. You arrived at your destination. Yeah, whatever. I didn't mean to set a destination, okay? It was all an accident. I keep pressing A. Listen, the stupid layout on the Switch controller with the B button on the bottom. X is supposed to be on the bottom. X means yes, not no. Why does Nintendo want to be different? Stop trying to be different. It's okay to fit in with people sometimes, Nintendo. It makes it so that your gamers enjoy your console more. What is that thing? the frick? What the heck am I looking at up there? It's a little coin, baby. What the frick? Get that thing. Sprigatito, get him. Sprigatito. Get him. Sick him. Oh, you need, you need to be healed. You gotta be healed. Your body's all busted. You got a broken leg. You got a broken leg and half your fur's ripped off. Okay, there we go. Now you're looking better. Now you've just got some some little scratches. What is that thing? How do I get this? How do I get that little fricker? Oh, a gimagool. <laughs> little bit of gimagool. Come on, you gotta get the gimagool. The gabagool. I don't know what that gave me, but it's good. Hey, Sly Fox! Ah, what's up? Do you like my do you like my Nessie cosplay? 
Uh, <laughs> just kidding. I wonder, can I do it? I can do a Nessie cosplay. My hair's right. My hair's correct. It's just not long enough. Not long enough, but I got the twin tails. What is Nessie wearing? Nothing? Nessie wear a blouse? Red blouse? Dido, 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 dido. Is that what it is? No, no, no. I just, I just did pigtails today for no reason. Oh, a t-shirt and pants? Not, not Nessie IRL. I got no idea what Nessie looks IRL. Whoop, 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 whoop. A long dress. Telling me I gotta buy a dress. Whoop, whoop. Pichu. Baby! Look at it. Oh, it's a baby battle. Look at the two babies. They're squaring off. We've got Meowawana versus Pikachu Ripoff. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. They're so cute. I love how this, oh shoot. It was cute. Well, it lasted. Oh, BRB, gonna stream hop. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll see you later. Thanks for jumping in here, Sly Fox. Sly Fox, you lovely person, you. It was good to see you, even if for a moment. Oh. Oi, oi, Lucy! I'm a piranha. They live in the Amazon. A piranha is a fish, just like your present. Ah! <laughs> I do look like Darla. <laughs> I just need more headgear. Anybody got headgear? And I need an ugly outfit and a bad personality. Oh. <laughs> You rock a dress. What are you talking about? I just don't want to pay for it. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll get the Nessie dressy. Get dressed like the Ness. Yoshi! Hi! What's up? Look at me and my Pokemon. We got Pichu fur? Oh no. We may have caught it, but whenever we caught that Pichu, uh, the, the Pokeball closed on the part of his fur and chopped it off. <laughs> Despite this Pokemon's cute appearance, those who want to live with one should be prepared to receive... Uh, to be on the receiving end of its electric jolts. Good morning! Zap, zap! I love how it immediately makes... It, it immediately is, like, consi is considering the fact that you'd want to live with it. It's like, sure, it looks like a pet. What is... What, what should we name it? Should we name it... Power socket. <laughs> we could name it um, Zeus. Little Zeus. Zeus the Mighty. Oh, Zapper would be a good name. No! We gotta catch another one and name it Zapper. You know what? I'm making a I'm making a um, special making a special change for this. We're gonna find another Pichu. We're gonna call it Zapper. Frank Zapper. That's a Pikachu. We need the small one. We need the miniature Pikachu. We need the Pikachu mini. What the frick did I hit? Ow! We hit a disgusting bug in the road. This is the grossest Pokemon I've seen in my entire life. Please kill it quickly. Looks like it's got a vacuum for a face. You know what? You're not even worth it. You're not worth the experience. The fact that I have to be close to you for that long, not worth it. There's little Bonsleys everywhere. Where's Pichu? We need a Pichu. We need to call it Zapper. Come on, Zapper. Here, baby, baby. Hello? Baby? What happened to... LOL, wow, what happened to catching them all? What? I already caught one of those. I already went through the pain and torment of being close to that. I already got it. It should have a little, like, icon whenever you run into them. Okay. Oh, oh LOL. Okay, fine. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't worry. I will never let my opinions ruin the collection aspect of a game. Listen, even if I hate things like challenge modes or timed modes or speedrun modes, I, I will... I will make sacrifices to get the final achievements, okay? There's not even achievements in this game, but I like I like the Pokedex. The Pokedex concept. 
to catch them all? Now that's what keeps me going. Okay, I don't see any more Pichus, you guys. I think we I think we hunted them to extinction, unfortunately. Also, what is that thing? Ew, it's one of those. It's one of those little nasties. Hey! Bonsley, you're interrupting my midnight drive. What's in here, Dr. Bonds? Can I magic leaf you to death? Oh yeah, even though they look like a plant, they're actually a rock. Which is kind of silly. Oh wow, it's sturdy, eh? No! No copycat. No puppy guard, no copycat. Ow! How dare you attack me with my own leaves. Quick attack this sucker to death. It may not be effective, but you're effectively dead. R.I.P. Bonesley. Alright, where's... Where's Pichu? Pichu? I thought I smelled one over here. Also, there's a, there's a lot of these big ducks. Seems like the bigger the model, the worse the pop-in is. It's too bad. If they didn't make them pop in, you could you could spot a you could spot a shiny Pokemon from a long way away. <laughs> That'd be a little cheap though. I can see why they wouldn't. Oh yeah, I'm also supposed to take a sip. Thank you, Jess, for the sip earlier. I just remembered. Oh, sorry. I was immediately like, I'm kind of thirsty, but I'm not allowed to sip unless they tell me to. My health is on hold for your entertainment. It inflates its flotation sack. That's that's a hell of a way to start a, a Pokedex entry. It inflates its flotation sack. That's just how this entry begins. Most of them are like, this curious Pokemon comes from the no, it inflates its flotation sack. No matter no matter how you meet this Pokemon, no matter why you're learning about this Pokemon, the first thing that you need to know is that it's inflating its flotation sack. It's already started. Keeping its face above the water to to watch for it for prey moment. What? It inflates its flotation sack, keeping its face above water in order to watch for prey m movement. <laughs> I thought it said moment. It's prey moment. <laughs> it's still written confusingly, okay? <laughs> it's still confusing. Uh, I want to name it Ollie. After after the otter and um, it, no, that's not how you spell Ollie. Is it an I? After the character in Wind in the Willows, isn't that the name of of the little otter? Little otter's name is Ollie. I'm pretty sure. In the Wind in the Willows, put it in the box. Take it to the chorus. Come here, seal. Go ahead and get now. When we still need a Pichu to name Zapper. But now we can go back. Oh, it's a choodle. What are you doing out here, you little you little weird totodile thing? Get that turtle. Get that total. It's cone. It's a cone total. A cone total. Oh! Toto dead. Sorry. Otter and portly. Ah, oh, you're right! It's portly! Ah. Oh. Dang it, you're, to you're totally right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for correcting me. It has been so long since I watched that show. We had we had both a VHS of the... We had a VHS of the movie. And we also... My mom read us the book whenever we were younger, but e even then I couldn't remember. Portly is not a, not a super active character. But Portly does get found by this, like, deer forest spirit thing. That's kind of creepy, but I love it. That is a weird freaking book, but I love it. Now, where'd Pichu go? Ollie's the correct spelling. Whoops. Not only did I spell it wrong, but it was the wrong name from the beginning. The stream is now in tatters. Erica said, get drunk. I mean, I take a drink. <laughs> Listen, I have some boxed wine in the fridge. 
I think it's, um, you ask me what type of wine it is. I think it's chillable red. There's a bunch of, um, a bunch of the chillable red at Walmart had big American flags on it. And just, just to prove how much of a commie I was, I dug into the back and got the ones without the American flag on them. <laughs> okay, sorry. I think I'm giving up. Never mind. We're going to do one more look for Pichu. Get out of here, Azriel. You are so cute. You are so cute with your little... Your little food sack. Sitting on your food sack. Sitting on your yolk. Hey! You and your umbilical coordinator, get out of here. Magic leaf! It is so cute. It's like one of the cutest Pokemon in the entire game. I think it may be the cutest Pokemon in the entire game. It's a hard, it's a tough call. There's a lot of really cute ones, but those are some of the cutest and all of their evolutions are adorable. They turn into a big bunny at the end. Is that a pooper? No, that's a Squobet. Squobet is not that cute, but it is a squirrel. Therefore, I like it. Box wine is the best wine. It's the most affordable wine. And let's be honest. Can you really tell the difference? I like sweet wine because I'm trashy. Whoop, 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 whoop. <gasps> Pikachu. It would be fun if you could find Pokemon with different hats on. Like if you could find a Pikachu with a top hat <laughs> or a little party hat just walking around in the wild. Imagine. Imagine you walk by and you see a distinguished Pikachu with a, with a monocle and a top hat. That's what all the shinies should be. They should all have... Huh? Oh, I got a text. It was a group group message. Group messages don't matter, thankfully. They're never talking to me. And even if they are, I can always just say, Oh, the group the group chat is just too active. I can't read all the messages. Sorry, I didn't see that. Boyong, boyong, boyong. No worries? What? I have to be worried. We need that Pichu. I know there's a Pichu out here. We caught two, but there were, there were two in a row. How rare could it be when we ran into it twice? These Pichus are actively hiding from us. I don't know if Pichu hates us, but we must find it. We will find it. It's one of those dogs again. Look, there's this thing again. He just showed up. A Gimagool coin. So can you just go back to the same locations and pick them up? Maybe they're hiding. You think they're bashful? Look, sheep, a bird. I'm still seeing like new Pokemon show up randomly. I didn't see you hiding in the bush, you little stinker. What is this, hide and seek? Hide and seek super edition? Where if you get found, you get it blasted with magical leaves? Correction, Ollie and Dolly were both the name of the blog for Wind in the Willows, so your version of Ollie is both right and wrong. Ollie and Dolly are the name of a blog for Window, window in the Willows? What? I ain't read any blogs. I didn't even know that blogs were a thing still. My mom used to have a blog. I don't know what she used to write about. That's so wild. What is the equivalent of having a blog now? I guess it's it's not like streaming because it's all written. It's like having it's like writing articles, but blogs are but blogs are like a hobby. So what what would be the hobby equivalent of all that writing? Like an essayist? Like YouTube essayists? Are they the bloggers? A podcast, that's true. A podcast is exactly what it is. You're completely correct. I can't believe that I didn't think of that. I often forget that podcasts exist as well. People do be making podcasts that's nobody li that nobody is listening to. Just like blogs that nobody read. No Psyduck! We already have a Psyduck. I like Psyduck. Psyduck's a funny little, funny little duck. And their shiny is amazing. Their shiny is a nice light blue. It's very cute. Vlogs have been a big thing too. That's true. That's true. I forgot all about that. 
Letting out a, cr a charming cry, the user does emotional damage. <laughs> emotional damage! To opposing Pokemon. The attack never misses! <laughs> Yo, Igglybuff never missing with that emotional damage. Uh, puts the target to sleep? That's really useful. Yo, you telling me they got the pound? They got the pound sign? We love a good podcast, do we? Do we love a good podcast? Is that true? I do listen to a lot of YouTube videos that have the tag listenable. I I do watch a lot of YouTube videos that also have a podcast format. Like you could listen to it as a podcast. So I'm, I'm not judging here. I just, I just don't, I don't know. Podcasts are weird. They have like that RSS feed or whatever. And you have to have like a special app just to listen to podcasts. You can like subscribe to them and the episode layout is really weird. I, I don't I don't know. I used to listen to this podcast called Cashing Out or, or ca Cashing In with TJ Levy. Or no, Cashing In with TJ Miller. Uh Cash Levy. Cash Levy was the was the main podcaster. And then it was with uh, TJ Miller, that guy that played the emoji in the emoji movie. The main emoji. TJ Miller's voice is really funny. They're a funny, funny couple of fellas. I like the podcast because it was like, it was a comedian podcast that almost talked nothing about the game. Like they just literally just made up bits and just nonsense 24 seven. But it was also like really low effort bits. Like they didn't have sound effects or setups or scripts or anything like that. They just riffed. I like that. I'm not crazy about the, um, what is it called? Like improv, improv con, uh, podcasts. A lot of them are a little, a little too try hard for me. A little, little too much, a little too much effort. I like to, I like to do a little bit of silly improv occasionally with my friends. And that, that podcast always reminded me of that feeling. Whoa, what's up with those eyes? Oh, those are normal, I think. Where is a Pichu? There has to be a Pichu. There's also um, items that you can normally use that will make rarer Pokemon show up. So maybe we'll have to catch another one. And I'll just have to remember to call it Zapper. The fact that we took so long to look for this Pichu, Pichu is probably going to really help me remind, uh, remind myself to name it Zapper. Psyduck. All right. I think we're going to leave for now. Most YouTubers you follow either are how-to, home improvement, or vlogs. Ooh. Yeah, home improvement's always fun. Or people just doing, like, super creative things with their house. Like, I guess... I guess some of it's not, like, necessarily DIY. It's just, like, entertainment. Like, look at this person that has all these tools. They got all these tools and all this time and all this money. And they can just make their house look crazy. <laughs> I don't think we're allowed to swim yet. But I know this thing can swim. I know it can swim. <laughs> but for now, it dies. It only knows death. How do I... No, stop, stop. You watch YouTubes that are also podcasts? It's easier for you? Ah, yeah. I, I like YouTube a lot. And I have YouTube Premium, so... Got to, got to make use of that, you know? Hey, are we schoolmates? Maybe. Oh, I guess we could do like a little hasty battle. How am I, how am I Pokemon doing right now though? Ah, because I, I do want them to like be leveling up and everything. Sprigatito's still paralyzed. Maybe, maybe we'll go, we'll go heal. And also, wait a second. There's another Pokemon in this area that we haven't gotten yet. It's... I don't remember what it's called, but it's that little pink one. Let's let's find that pink one, and then we can go heal up really quick, and we can search for like a new area to to hunt around in. Or maybe we'll go to uh, to the next. What's it called? To the gym. We could go to the gym at this point. Aha! There they are. You, you. I want you. You look cutie. Oh my gosh, Pokemon get cuter by the year. Like every single game, they they make the Pokemon even cuter. Happening. 
Their little face. Their little face. Get caught. Is that a motorbike Pokemon? Yes. That's my electric motorbike. It's charged via solar. All right, actually, I guess biofuel, because we fed it a sandwich. Registered. This this little thing looks like sherbet. Looks like a little sherbet. A little sherbet in a bowl. It carefully carries around a round white rock that it thinks is an egg. Oh, <laughs> it thinks it's an egg. It's bothered by how curly it, its hair looks. Oh, that's cute. It's carrying around a little rock that it thinks is an egg because it wants to be like mama. Mama carries around a big egg and takes care of it all of its life. But Happiny is so small, they can only carry around a little white rock. They're just practicing. They're practicing their incubation techniques. What should we name it? You could call it Sherbet. Sherbet. Because it looks like it's in a little bowl. To the box! To the box with you, you normal Pokemon, you! No normals on my team. Sprigatito, don't you dare. No. No! Stop! How do I stop this? Yeah, I don't think so. I didn't think so. We're not... We. I have not decided if we're going to evolve Sprigatito yet. I, I'm surprised that this decision has already come up. I cannot share my screen. So I'm not sure. That's a new one. What? Oh, wait. Autocorrect. I wanted to call you Lisa. I thought that you were commenting on the fact that I was trying not to evolve my starter, which is not a new one. <laughs> but you were talking about Lisa. Ah! So many birds. No, 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 no. No bird. No. These little, these little Pokemon are hard to jump over. I need a boost. Mm -hmm. Its wheels are very satisfying. I gotta say, kind of a sick bicycle. Cyclical. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, we gotta, we gotta get to Pokey Town. We gotta get to Pokey Town and heal up our babies. None of our babies have died. Not really. There was literally a staged death that they forced you to do. It's like a story, you know, one of those like story mode things, where they just let you pretend to battle something. It's literally unwinnable. An Everstone. Okay. Well, that's... If I give this Everstone to Sprigatito, then it will not evolve, and it won't even try. So that's probably a good idea before I decide whether or not we're going to let it evolve. Yes. You hold that rock. You hold that rock, and you never grow old. Oh, wait. We, we don't have any of these bees. Are these called combies? Convenience store? Combi! Combi! Combi, my friend. They're adorable. Three little cute faces. Oh, Sprig's still paralyzed. I was kind of hoping that this paralysis would go away a little bit sooner, but uh, it's still sticking around. Ah! Okay, nice. We just need one more hit. Ah, Sprigatito's in danger, though. Oh god, Sprig might die. Oh, I'm a fool. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I killed my baby. I killed my child. Oops. Uh. <laughs> Darn it. Dumpling, get out there! <laughs> Dumpling, you're next on the chop block! We needed to go heal them! I should've healed them. Give them a pounding! You pound that, honey! No! My evasiveness. Oh no! That's right. Now we catch it. I do I do get a little focused on catching them sometimes, then I let my Pokemon die like an absolute monster. Like the absolute monster that I am. Sprigatito is not gonna forgive me for this one. Sprigatito will remember this. I, <laughs> I kind of wish that that, would, that that would show up. I think the Nuzzle is an electric type, which is very deceptive. 
You can ask the Pokemon for advice? What do you think, Pommy? Pommy wants to forget charge and learn nuzzle. That sounds good to me. You know best. They get to decide their own moves now? Does the game have Pokemon death yet, or are they still not ready? They will never. They'll never do it. The trio is together from birth. It constantly gathers nectar from flowers to please Vespaquin. Oh my god. They live their entire life in servitude? That's horrible. Digimon did it? Pokemon will never be Digimon. And I mean that in the most toxic way that I possibly can. I'm gonna call it... Uh... Honey Bunny. No, it's like a Honey Bunch... It's like honey bunch. It's a trio. It's a it's a honeycomb. It's a hex. Hexa honey. Honey hex. Who's delight? <laughs> this is way too long of a name. Who's delight? No! <laughs> I can't do it! It's too long! Pooh's snack. Or just poo snack. <laughs> Such a stupid name. To the box! Never to be seen again! Poo snack has been locked away for a millennia. Alright, we gotta we gotta heal Sprigatito stat. Can I just teleport somewhere? Let's see. So it kind of shows the Pokemon. And also there are water Pokemon. So I have, n I have no idea when they're going to let you. Um, you can just teleport to the West Gate. That's a good idea because I think we're down below. Let's let's go there. And then we can we can go and heal our Pokemon up here. My Pokemon are, are not well. They are. They are hurting. They are bleeding out in their Pokeballs. We've got to get them out of there. We have to heal those wounds. Hooray! Hurry! It's just like the first episode of Pokemon. Whenever Ash accidentally lets Pikachu get ran over by a bike. You've gone from 2D Fluffball to 3D Powerpuff Girl! <laughs> Transform! Actually, I don't, I don't think that the Powerpuff Girls transform, do they? <laughs> Cinnabare, what's up, what's up? Oi, oi! <laughs> I've transformed for now. I would really like to have like a magical girl transformation so that I can switch between 2D and 3D during the same stream. That'd be kind of rad. See you later, Hopwhip. You can hop your way to hell. Hooray! Alright. We gotta revive our poor Pokemon. To the gas station. Excuse me, madam. Could you please heal my Pokemon that I have unfortunately let die? Powerpuff Girls and the Transformers crossover. Ooh. Powerpuff Girls. Gone mechanical. Sprigatito should be all better now. Oh, by the way, did you know if you press the ZL button, you can lock onto a nearby Pokemon, meaning you can keep your sights on it. Once you lock on, throw in a Pokeball. We'll let you start a battle. Ah. Okay, so it's kind of a, it's kind of an Arceus thing, and it will give you like more details about them, I guess. Yeah, and it says like whether you caught them or not. That's convenient. I mean, I'm gonna be on my bike most of the time. But yeah, I guess you could be really precise. Like if if they're in a group, you can you can very specifically go for one of them. Oh, this is a whole new world. Oh, they're cute. Look at all the Maribs. Listen, my character hates the rain. Whoa! Let me off. Whee! <laughs> it's so janky. You get saved by your telephone. Careful around those cliffs. You saw somebody fall on the ground. Oh, no! Fall through the ground. You can't ride Mirrodon here. Why the heck not? <gasps> it's a small Oh! Small I've been looking forward to seeing a small all day. Small 
I love it. I love that baby. Smoliv is my is my favorite new Pokemon. Also, there's a Bee Mama and a Diglett over there. There's a bunch of new Pokemon. Noise. Get that olive. Get that small dish. Also, I like that I'm still riding on my car. <laughs> Imagine Optimus Prime as a Powerpuff Girl. Oh, that sounds beautiful. That's everything that I need. That would complete my life. Small of oil. <laughs> That's the item that you can get off of them. Small of oil. This Pokemon converts nutrients into soil, which it stores in the fruit on its head. It can easily go a whole week without eating or drinking. Aww. It's adorable. Ah! No, I didn't mean to not save it. I'm sorry for screaming. I need to be quieter. I'm being super loud today. We have to name one. I have a funny, I have a funny idea that y'all could probably come up with in two seconds. But not if I battle quickly. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Get him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sugar, spice, and everything mechanical. We got small olive. A small olive. One small olive was hurt in the making of today's stream. Yes. Extra virgin. <laughs> Extra virgin small of oil. <laughs> Into the box. Now what do we do? Oh yeah, there was a big bee. Where'd that be at? Oh wait, Diglett first. Then we should go to a, um, we should go to the Pokemon gym. See if we can beat the next Pokemon. Get him. Get that dig. Uh oh, we're about to dig its grave. Oops. Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, whoops. Should not have done the super effective move. <laughs> no. We're level 16. Level 16 Sprigatito. I wonder if we'll be able to to win. Ask for advice. What do you think, Pooper? It looks like Pooper wouldn't mind skipping over learning it for now. Sure. This game just let me be lazier with moves. This foolish game didn't know what it was doing. Thought you were going to go for Smolliver. Aw, Smolliver and company. Smolliver twist. <laughs> All of my Pokemon names have been very literal today. Get him! Get that rascal! <gasps> There's also um oh a crick crickut crick cricketune? Is that a cricketune over there that I saw? Wait a minute, you come right back here. D we got Diglett dirt. Its skin is very thin. If it's exposed to light, its blood heats up, causing it to grow weak. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> they really made that. That's a horrifying description. They're in the sun. <laughs> it was outside. <laughs> no. <laughs> its skin is very thin. That's disgusting. What should we name this thing? Thumb? <laughs> I'm telling you, too literal today. We could just call it dirt. <laughs> Anybody got a better name? Got a better name? Hmm? Timon. What? Timon. Diggy. <laughs> Diggy. Diggy. <laughs> That's... No, that makes me think of that makes me think of that Diggy Diggy Dirt song that I've never heard but people keep quoting. <laughs> I think dirt is gonna do. <laughs> All right, dirt. No, 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 no. Dirt into the box. Put the dirt in the box right now. Unhand that dirt. You foul creature. Put that foul creature into the box. Who cares if it makes it dirty? All right, now where'd that cricketune go? I smell you. Aha. Gotcha. Also saw a big bee mommy, but I, I don't know if we'll be able to fight a bee mommy at the moment. 
Oh, it's Cricket Tot. Cricket Tunes, the big version. I love his fancy little horns and his and his nice little jacket. I will say, I kind of wish that the battle zoomed in on their faces so that I could see them up close. That's okay. Get him. You get that Cricket Tot. We're having fish sticks and Cricket Tots for dinner. I wish we had fish sticks. I love those crappy fish sticks that are just super skinny and they just have like barely any meat in them. It's mostly breading. And it's just like shredded fish. It's totally unknown what kind of fish is in there. When it's antennae hit each other, it sounds like the music of a xylophone. That's a very specific little little fact for this distinguished gentleman. Um, we could call it a uh, tater because it's a cricketot. Tater the cricket tot. It's usually pollock in fish fingers. Huh? Is that true? I know that uh, the finer the finer fish that you can get uh, is what cod. A uh, cod's not nice though. Cod cod's cheap, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that it's normally cod. Talta. We'll put talta on here. Pollock's a common white fish. It is. Maybe where you live. I've never even heard of a pollock. Cod's expensive? What? How do you know? How do you know zombie food? You're not from America. Are you sure? I mean, I do I do tend to agree with anybody over myself, but Cod is the fish that you want in fish and chips? Bro, we don't have fish and chips over here. We ain't been fishing chips out for a while. We gave up on those chips. Haddock is even more premium? Yeah. I knew that because I watched Little Bear when I was a kid. And that's Owl's favorite fish. Whoop, 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 whoop. Alaskan Pollock. Aha. Well, looks like you're right. Looks like you're right, zombie food as usual. Huh. I thought the cod was cheaper. You miss Little Bear? Did he die? <laughs> this is horrible. Well, I'm sorry to hear that you miss him. What happened? Hunters? Did he did he get caught in a forest fire just like what what is the name of that? Cub. Cub is the name of the other bear in the little bear movie. Cub! Cub! Where are you? Mother! Wow! Magic Diglet. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Diglet has a crown! Diglett has the whole pantheon on its head. What the heck? Is that a bank? Yeah, get that super effective leaf on that fool. Did we try to catch this thing? I, I don't know if it if it's any good to catch them. I guess it means that they can transform. Pollock, Pollock is in the cod family, but Pollock is a moisture meat. Ooh. Close to, in relative to Cod, the Gadoid Cod family. Honorable mention to Haddock, Whitey, Whitting, and Hake. Your fisheries biologist? What? That's so cool. That is so cool. I didn't even know that fish were real. I just saw a really old picture of you, and I'm just like, what? Of me? Where'd you see that? Where'd you see that? Who's posting old pictures of me? For shame. We don't need to name this Diglett. Fight off seagulls for the extra experience. <laughs> yes. I keep seeing that. I keep seeing this video on TikTok of somebody eating like a, eating a fish and it has like onions on it or something, which apparently is like a common way to prepare it. And they're going, aww. And then the... Um, just a bird comes flying in and slaps the crap out of her face and almost steals the fish. So chips is a UK french fry? Yes. Yes, indeed. Uh, it's not only UK. It's also apparently in Scandinavia. Or at least, at least my Norwegian friend keeps calling them chips. We should let them evolve, right? Dumpling! Dumpling! What are they going to turn into? A Jigglypuff. 
Congratulations, your dumpling evolved into Jigglypuff. Aw, <laughs> that's a really cute way of phrasing that. Your dumpling evolved into Jigglypuff. Thanks, Mercs. No, they're called potato chips. What? Were they? They yeah, they call potato chips crisps. Crisps. I don't call fries chips. What? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Don't you bonk me? I've heard you say it. I've heard you say it. You call them chips. You said you were making some chips. It's true. Uh, if it inflates to sing a lullaby, it can perform longer. And cause sure drowsiness in its audience. What? If it inflates, it's a balloon Pokemon? I'm learning more about Jigglypuff. I never knew Jigglypuff worked like that. I didn't know that it could blow up. Jigglypuff exploding modifier. You know, Anne, I might be tripping. Maybe, maybe I'm remembering wrong. You would probably know your vocabulary better than me. But I don't know. Sometimes friends be picking up on phrases that you didn't realize you were saying. But if it's not on purpose, then it has become much more doubtful that I'm correct. And I've been continually wrong this evening, so I would, I would not put it past me. Let's uh, start easing our way towards keeping an eye out for shinies. But we'll, we'll start easing our way towards that battle tower. It's a bug type gym. Allegedly, I don't actually I don't actually know if I'm going the correct direction and it's gonna be a bug gym Bug Yeah, it is bug. Okay, so this is a bug gym which fire is good against bug The dark type moves that Sprigatito have would be okay But Sprigatito is gonna be is it, all of the bug attacks are gonna be super effective So we can't use Sprigatito for this Which sucks cuz it's our most level Pokemon we definitely don't want to switch anything at this point. Because we need a, we need levels. We need levels, yo. So what what we'll be able to battle in there? That's level 16. Burb is level 14. But it's still kind of weak. Pika New is okay. Dumpling is alright. We've got we've got some contenders, but but nothing that's gonna be super effective. I mean, uh Burb has Ember. That'll help. But no proper uh, fire types yet. It's wild that they're doing bug bug gym first. What would be even super effective? I guess Fuey Coco would be super effective against Burb. You don't think you need to know that Jigglypuff exploded? No, not exploded. They just blow up. <laughs> then you blow up. Look at this ugly little thing. It's kind of cute, but it's mostly ugly. Sunkern. Sunkern cost fallacy. No! We killed it. Oops. Oopsie. I sure didn't mean to kill that thing. What the heck? We're already back here? Oh. How did I not see small of whenever I came over here earlier? There's small of everywhere. Alright, Sunkern. Can I aim specifically for you while I'm on a bike? Yoi! Come here! Hey! <laughs> it doesn't even work! Oh wait, yes it does. That was weird. It was just hiding behind a sheep. <laughs> Can I just try to catch it, like, right off the bat? Is that- is that A-OK? -okay? Is that acceptable? Probably not. Oh, it appeared to be caught. Not really. <laughs> uh, I'll kill it if I do anything. What's our lowest level? Pooper? Pooper, could you tackle this fool? I'm pretty sure that might kill it, though. It's dangerous. Oh, no. Not another weed cat. What? Meowawana. What's wrong with the Meowawana? D's Nook. It's the cutest one. You know it is. And it also has the best uh, final evolve. Granted, that's not why I picked it, because I'm not sure if I'm going to evolve it yet. I I'm listening to feedback. We we've given it an Everstone for now. Its final version looks kind of like Balan Wonderland. It's got like this clowny look about it. It looks kind of like clown circus vibes a little bit. 
but also kind of cat mommy vibes. So it's it's not bad, but I'm just not sure. It is very weak. Its only means of defense is to shake its leaves desperately at its attacker. I think I've met some people like this. It is very weak. Its only means of defense is to shake its arms desperately at its attacker. Yeah, that sounds like some of y'all. Weaklings. <laughs> Maybe, wh who, who should we call it? Who's the weakest person? Who's the weakest person you know? Hey, I have this silly screenshot of you. This is very much a threat. What? Who saw the picture of me as a kid? Maybe Anne is just always making potato chips. Maybe working for Lay's. What? <laughs> is that true? I miss I missed that piece of dialogue, but it appears that Anne works for Lay's. Why won't you send me Lay's chips in the mail then? Huh? I know that you can just grab them off the assembly line. Answer me truly. Do Lay's chips taste better directly off of the conveyor belt? Uh, so it dances to protect itself. Yes. <laughs> Name it OT. No! <laughs> OT's not Sunkern. OT would be Quaxley's final evolve. OT would be any blue Pokemon that's kind of edgy looking. Yeah, like, like, um, like Quaxley. Quaxley would be OT. I don't think OT would be a Sunkern. Although, Sunkern is very small. Sunkern. <laughs> Hey! Stop punking me. I didn't even do anything. That was such a long... That was such a long wait for a bonk. Because I didn't do anything wrong. Or you were too small... Or you too slow. Sunken. Are we sure OT wouldn't be Golduck? Hmm. Sometimes OT is Psyduck. Sometimes OT is Golduck. It all depends on if the camera's on. All right, we could go to Bugtown, USA, but I am, I am ever so concerned. So is it this to this tower? Oh God, is this one of the open world? Is this an open world tower? Oh no, it's one of those open world towers that you go to the top and you get the lay of the land and it and it like puts a bunch of marks on the map. Is that what this is for? Or is this just for cool? There's items up here. Nice. Are we gonna meet a new NPC up here? <gasps> Treasure! I love this tower. Ah! <laughs> oh no! The treasure chest is aggressive! It's a gimmagool! Give me that gabagool! Hill this fool! Brigatito! Remove his life! Actually, I think we'll catch it. It's a super rare Gimmagool. Oh, it's a ghost type, so it, it doesn't get affected by normal. I didn't know it was a ghost. What could have possibly made me think that this is a ghost Pokemon? <laughs> you go to the top to see all the missing map textures. <laughs> yeah, you go to the top to, to see everything as a plane. Sprigatito's older! Seed Bomb! What is a seed bomb? Whoop, whoop. Sprig wants to forget Hone Claw and learn seed bomb. Yes. You know best. You know best, little cat. Little cat, I trust you for all decisions like this. Give my ghoul. It lives inside an old treasure chest. Sometimes it gets left in the shop corner since nobody realizes it's actually a Pokemon. Give my ghoul is a pretty fun name. No! I accidentally skipped it. I was going to call it Mimic, just for the record. Just let the record show that I was going to name it Mimic. Missing textures, eh? Where are they? Where are they? You know they're somewhere. Look how tiny those, look at those trees. They're just little pixels. <laughs> those branches are just little funny-looking pixels. Hmm. The trees are changing. They're changing quality as they move around. Also, something popped out. Whoa! 
Oh, there's some texture stuff going on on that hill. Do you see that? Oh! The hill's doing things. The hill's being unruly. Yeah, if you just walk around, things just happen. Whoa! What was that? That was huge. Whoa, it's the same spot. How did I activate that? Was it because of my, oh. Oh. Can I just like get it to activate over and over? Whoa. That is wild and I have no idea why a huge thing like that would be changing. What is that? Is that the sea? No, it's bigger than the sea. Hey, thank you for the sips. I have no idea what is a texture that, that is that large. It's gotta be like the skybox like bleeding through or something. I have no idea, honestly. I shouldn't even make a guess. That is wild. Whoopee! I love the fact that you can't die. An electro ball. Well, that's the craziest glitch we've found so far. I think that that's crazier than the ground because I I've seen that crap before. I've I've seen games have like kind of sussy ground that you can clip through before. It's really funny. It's just it's just the camera movement not working well. But that that is that is wild and a giant gray and white texture appearing. Look like television static. It was kind of cool. It was kind of cool in a janky way. Oh my gosh, there's so much jank. The, as far as graphics are concerned, this is worse than a Bethesda game. As far as like slowdown, optimization, and graphical errors, this is worse than, than a Bethesda game. But I doubt that the game will have as many gameplay errors and unusual NPC stuff, I would bet. Was was in this area whenever you found your shiny Pokemon. Ooh, were you just running around and you just saw it? You were just zooming around. Oh, by the way, did you know you can press the B button to crouch? Whenever you crouched, it'll be harder for them to notice you. If you get close to a Pokemon without it noticing, you throw a Pokeball, catch it off guard. You'll be able to act first. Nice. Okay, that's good to know. Like falling through the ground in seven days to die and getting all the mining achievements. What? Zombie food. Zombie food, I never thought that you'd do something like that. That's amazing. My opinion of you just doubled in quality. Also, let me just point out how frustrating it is that my character doesn't have a jump. So I have to get on my bicycle to go anywhere. You were just looking around and stuff, and it was just standing there. It was standing there like nothing was going on. It was like, what? What? Have I got something on my face? And you were like, sh 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 shiny. What? Hey, what? You 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 got some kind of problem? Then you're like, mine. And you charged it. Poor thing didn't know, didn't know what was going on. Didn't know what was happening for a while. And then all of a sudden, poof, is in a Pokeball. Never to be removed again. Whoop, 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 whoop. Now I want to find a shiny Pokemon in the exact same spot. You said that it was one of these little these little hopplers that you saw? A little shiny hoppler. I, d I do get curious what, what all the shinies look like. I sometimes will just like go on a on a streak of just looking up all the shiny types. Because I just want to see how pretty they are. Man, the frame rate in here is nasty. I think that we will... Ah! <laughs> I think that we'll do this gym if we can. And then... Uh, we might call it a night. Because I've been hungry for the past three hours. Whoa. Who are those cool cats that are in front of the place? <laughs> nice to meet y'all. Hey. Y'all seem pretty cool. 
Y'all like bugs? I like bugs too. Uh, I guess I'll put Burb in front. As Sprig is gonna be weak in this place. Whoa. Bugs. Gyarados is the best. Oh, you got a shiny Gyarados. What, what color do they turn into? Are they purple? Is that what Gyarados turns into? Oh, hey, Earl. It's me. Came to see this gym. That can only mean one thing. You're out to earn some gym badges. Yeah. You bet I am. Yes, I knew it. I'm so glad that I asked you to do it. Before you can battle the gym leader, you gotta pass a certain challenge. Mm -hmm. It's a test. You gotta pass a test? Is this a memory test? Is this gonna test my uh, reflexes? What is this? Is this a blood test? I always fail blood tests. Please don't do that. Welcome to the Cordondo Gym. Let me register you. Sure. It's not like you have to. The game already knows what my name is. Here at the Cordondo Gym, that means uh, taking on Olive Roll. Who's Olive Roll? We, ha we held the Olive Harvest Festival here for generations to usher the bumper crops. To pass our gym test, you'll need to roll an olive-shaped ball all the way to the goal. <laughs> Your effort should ensure the great olive harvest next year. What? The staffers over at the olive rolling field will explain the rules. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is fun. Or potentially fun. <laughs> you, you go out and roll an olive? <laughs> That's what it is. You always pass blood tests. That's kind of scary. For some reason, you using that face makes me think that like you're you're getting you're getting sucked by a vampire, and you're like, oh yes, they're always pleased. The quality of my blood is second to none. They always say. So where do we do? Oh, it's the other way. It's the other way. It's over here. So there's uh, there's Jigglypuff and Igglybuff. And that new that new dog with the buns on its head. All right, we gotta go do some bug stuff. Whoa, is that a ball? That is not a ball. That's a giant cube. Oh, I see. It's like a soccer game. Welcome to the olive rolling field. The gym taste is about stamina. You need to push with all you got to get the large olive bowl rolling. Make it to the end. Get the ball over various obstacles, then push it into the goal. Now that you're filled in, you want to start it? This seems fun. I like this. Great. Put in a wish for a good olive season. Now roll, roll, roll away. Fall guys in Pokemon? Is it timed? Or is it just, is it just for fun? Ooh. Yeah, I vaguely remember some tests like this in... It probably wasn't Pokemon... It probably wasn't Sword and Shield. Was it in... Or was it? There was some, like, hurting minigames. This is fun. I, I like this idea. It's a giant olive football. Now don't, now, don't tell me that this is an olive. Olives would be much squishier. This is just, like, a maze? Less than 2% of people have your blood type? Oh! I bet your blood's valuable. You, must, you got valuable blood in there. Where'd you get all that cool liquid? You make that yourself? Be honest. Okay, so there's a person over here. Do we need to push the olive over here? For the olive harvest? I, I don't get why there's multiple paths. It says, beat me and you can take this shortcut here. Shortcut? I mean, I could, my Pokemon could use the experience. I guess we'll fight everybody. Here, I'll open up the shortcut. If you manage to beat me, let's see if you can get past my wall of small of. <laughs> Whoa, Esmeralda. Esmeralda's a troublemaker. Look at those angry eyebrows. Ah, it's a cricket. I love those guys. I love their mustaches. Get them! Burn them alive! Burn that cricket. Ow! How dare you tackle a flying type. This guy's tough. 
Uh, it says it's also dangerous for you because you can't have blood donations from people who are who are positive. Oh. Or like the positive uh, version of your letter. You got you got rare blood. I mean, it's it's like it's sought after. That fluid inside of you, people be wanting that stuff. The can bird kill Cricketune? I think so. I mean, this attack is good, but uh, this bird's probably not gonna get a bunch of fire moves. We're gonna need like a proper fire Pokemon. But they always, it's always freaking, it's always the fire types that are the hardest to find early game. I have no idea why. Hooray! Woohoo, that's a lot of experience. Flail, sure. Yeah, fire types be rare for no good reason. Burb wants to forget Ember and learn Flail. Nope, not gonna do that. Flails around aimlessly. The less HP they have, the greater the move's power. That's kind of cool. I'm gonna replace... I'm gonna replace Quick Attack with that, actually. Here we go. Uh, but if I'm a B negative, you can have an O negative as well. If I'm O negative, you can only have O negative. Oh, that's so complicated. I have no idea what my blood type is. What do you think, Pikachu? We're getting rid of double team. You didn't know that you could fight these? Yeah, no. <laughs> they, they're they completely optional. I don't really, th this is not a shortcut. She cried. But there's money too. Come on, Olives, clear the way. Yeah, but they give you money and experience. Trainers or like, I guess it's just me like being triggered from ye olden games because the old games like you, you would want to battle every single trainer in the game. Like I would, I would walk through and double check every route and make sure that I'd fought every trainer because that is so much experience. But these days, yeah, you don't need to do that. Yeah. Well, I want to fight them all. There's... Only two people? That's that's the person that like the gate. Yeah. I'll fight this guy just so that I can I can kill his bugs. Let me kill your bugs. Oh look, now I have a picnic option, but I think I need a blanket for that. Can I check um Summaries? Let me see what attacks I have. Oh, I want to see their moves. Change held item. Oh, I think we got to move. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so their bug types. Are, is poison super effective against bug? Poison tail. I kind of want to try it. Even if it is super effective, this is level 12 versus the level 15 burb that's barely doing any damage. But burb did just level up. We could We could just heal him real quick. Might as well. No reason to be greedy with these potions. All right, Buster. Let me beat up your bugs. Show me what you got. Show me your bugs. Show me your bug collection. Antonio. Antonio sends out. Ew. Look at that fur ball. Burn it. I think this thing has poison moves too. I'm scared. I think this thing's going to be tougher. <laughs> Fire is still super effective because it's a bug. Burb avoided it all. Burb didn't even notice that it tried to attack. Oh, nice. No. Did it just disable Ember? Oh my God, that's so rude. Peck it, peck its eyes out. Yeah, <laughs> it's still super effective. So flying, so it's flying and fire, huh? I had a better attack this whole time. Because Peck is better than Ember, I think. All these, these adults are really, really mean. Like they get mad. Both of, both of these, <laughs> these adults are like bullying these poor school children. <laughs> you shouldn't be so into this, man. I'm just, I'm just trying to help with all of Harvest. You gotta be so serious. Whoopee! 
our first olives then. Now we just gotta go get five more. Hooray! Are those small olives making noises? Those are yucky. <laughs> That's a yucky wet noise. Somebody tell small olive to quit being so moist. So oily. Ugh. They're very aggressive. I know, right? These adults? Not this one. She seems nice. With that performance, I'm sure that we can look forward to a great olive harvest. So how does the science of that work out? How's the science of this olive harvest? Uh, how's that help? Also, look at all these wild jigglypuffs. Jigglypuffs and iggly buffs and smiggly schmuffs. So many Pokemon everywhere. That, I will say, is good for this game, is that the, the Pokemon density is really good. And the Poppin's not too bad for the for the Pokemon. Open up! Open up for me and my Pokebike. You gotta go beat up your bug-type people. Yeah, and now that we know that we have Peck, we can just use that. I hear you're on a roll out there. A big congratulations to me from su for successfully clearing it. You've now earned the right to challenge a gym leader. Best of luck. Oh, is this going to be like in a big stadium? Yeah, maybe maybe it's a big stadium like in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Are they going to make this into like a big event again? That was like the only cool thing about Sword and Shield. Maybe I can make up like a Pokemon bingo card or something. I wanna, I wanna make uh, these streams like have some, have some engagement of some sort. Like maybe for, yeah, maybe a bingo card or some sort of like way to randomize the way that I play this. Cause I think that this game is, is like a, it's like a hearty chunk of content. So I'm, I gotta come up with something. Good night, y'all. You're gonna try to sleep for once. Hey, Jay, get some good sleep. Get some good sleep. I hope you sleep well, Jay. Thanks for hanging out with us. Oi, Jay, you're a good bean, huh? You're a good bean, you hear me? You take care of yourself. You love yourself. All right. Eat up, my cute little Vivalon. Oh, she seems like a really sweet old lady. I mean, a sweet lady. Mommy. Oh, what a lovely trainer you are. She's got a little... She's got a little spider web on her on her uh, outfit. She also looks like a chef. Thank you very much for your skillful olive rolling. It was quite impressive. Did I forget to introduce myself? Forgive me. You could have chat names in the Pokemon lottery. Ooh. Yeah, we definitely need to name all of the Pokemon in our team after after people in the chat. And then maybe we could have a redeem or or a raffle to like to knock out other other people's Pokemon. That'd be fun. We just need to figure out where the renamer is or how to rename Pokemon, and then we could totally do that. My name is Katie, and I'm the owner here at Pess... Uh, uh, so Soapberry? Dude, this is just my sister. They freaking ripped my sister and put her in this game. Name is Katie, and she works at a soap, at a soap making place? Bruh. Oh, that's right. It's not my shop. Uh... It's not in my shop. I'm on duty as the leader of Cortando Gym. Oh, Katie's a baker? Yeah, but it said Soapberry. Just saying. Forgive me. Ahem. My name is Katie, and I'm the gym leader. My main line of work is crafting sweets as a pastry chef. You can also remove Pokemon from the team. That's true. That would be brutal, though. That would make this game harder. <laughs> if I don't get to pick which Pokemon are in here. But we could do that. I'll, I'll, I'll have to come up with something. Yeah, like maybe make it so that there's like a raffle. But not not like a real raffle. I just mean like a, a... Just you enter your name, you get an entry. And then you can either name a Pokemon or be named after... Or have a Pokemon named after you. And switch out for one of the ones that we have. Little sweets that bring happiness with just one bite. Bug type Pokemon hiding in fo foliage. Uh, bug type Pokemon hiding in foliage. Both are small and yet very powerful. Don't let your guard down unless you want to find yourself knocked off your feet. Okay. That's a lot. That's a lot of talk. That's a lot of talk. Let's see some action. 
Ooh, fancy animation. What the heck is that? That's not, that's not some kind of battle. That's not, that's not a tough battle. Don't take my bug type Pokemon lightly. You'll be in a world of pain if you do. They're literally light. I'm gonna peck that bug's eyes out. Dude, your Pokemon are weak. <laughs> When you go to check summary, if you click X, you can change the nickname. Oh, thank you. That's so easy. Good. Then we could definitely make something fun with the nicknames. Yeah, threatening kids. She's like, I'm going to kill your fucking Pokemon right now. My Pokemon are going to flatten yours. They're going to turn them into a mushy po Pokemon plot pie. We're going to crush your Pokemon into dust and then snort it. All right, we're going to kill this tarantula. Super effective. <laughs> it's just two hits for every one of them. We stand Pooper. Pooper is amazing. Pooper is a godlike Pokemon. See you later. <laughs> you called your Quaxley Jojo? Nice. But which Jojo would it be, eh? Part of the Jojo family for sure. Oh, you're quite good, aren't you? How about I roll? What? What'd you say about rolling? Teddy Ursa! Oh, Teddy Ursa's a cute Pokemon. Now that's a good choice. We love a Teddy Ursa. Now, my little Pokemon, time to break free from your cocoon and come into your own. Magic Teddy. <laughs> this magic, this magic effects. Yo, look at that big bear. This bear reminds me of League of Legends. It's got bug, bug antennae. Yo, the music! Taking cues from Sword and Shield. Feast your eyes on my shining bug decoration, though this one is not so sweet. Whoa! Hey, watch it with that. Oh my god. You're nothing to me, Teddy Ursa. <laughs> oh, he smiled and he went to sleep. That was a cute death animation. They said knocked out. They really went, meant knocked out. Teddy Ursa just went to bed. Oh, all my sweet Pokemon dropped like flies. They really did, though. <laughs> we got $2,700. We could buy one pair of shoes with that much. Your strength rose during our battle. What? Your strength rose during our battle like a nice bread in the oven. <laughs> There's a game coming out next year called Pow World. The creatures in it look like Pokemon. There's always games like that. I'm, I'm trying to remember what what was that other Pokemon clone that was out recently? It was like an it was an MMO, I'm pretty sure. Oh, there's so there's so many of them. Oh, I, I do not remember what it was called. I think somebody gifted it to me and I just hadn't tried it yet. Tim Tim, that's what it was. Thank you, Alchemic. Alchemic knows what the heck is up. Alchemic watches the gaming industry like a hawk. Victory against me allows me to present you this badge. I hope you enjoy it. Listen, I'm not saying that Pokemon games are perfect, but them ripoff games never, never, never capture the magic that Pokemon has. Like, Pokemon's got so much garbage in it, and it really needs to be like freshened up. It's all so samey, copy paste. But honestly, I've never played a Pokemon clone that that was satisfying. You saw a trailer, and it looks like it has a satirical element. So it's like the that one of those already exists called um, what is it called? Pocket Morty, the Pocket Mortys. That's that's a satirical take on Pokemon, because it's all just you just catch different Mortys. That game actually looks a little bit fun. With one gym badge, Pokemon up to level twenty-five will be easier to catch. You have quite the appetite as well. How about a little TM? Pounce. The user attacks by pouncing on its target. Oh yeah, that's another good reason to to do these badges so that it's easier to catch Pokemon. I forgot about that. 
I forgot about that element. Off you go then, until we meet again. Thanks. Thanks, lady. Now, whenever we come back, we'll go to your bakery and see if you've got a bun in the oven. Whoopee! Hey, hey, Earl. I just had to tell you, my Pokemon are learning some pretty cool moves. Be ready. How to go by the in the gym, by the way. I passed. Yes! Haha! -ha. I mean, it was obvious that you were going to pass, but congrats. I'm so glad I encouraged you to take on the gyms. I'm training hard too, by the way, day and night. Going all over the place to boot. Thank goodness we got the map app. After all, the path is getting stronger. Uh, going to some strange places. I wonder what Arvin's up to. Anyway, catch you later. See you later. Thanks for the call. Glad to know that you care. I wonder how many Mons we have. So, having this badge will make it easier to catch up to level 25. But it won't affect the shiny rate. I'll have to look up what affects the shiny rate. Normally, normally in these games, or at least in a few of them, uh, catching the same Pokemon over and over will increase the shiny rate. And, like, up to a certain point. Like, if you catch... 30 in a row without without missing one and without catching anything else then uh, I think that like in previous games that's increased the shiny rate you can also get a shiny charm for finishing the um, Pokedex normally don't know if that's in this game either by the way did you know you can pick your profile come back whenever you need stuff yeah, but I'm just wondering when they're going to start selling some stuff like, um, what's it called? Like a repel or an attract? Or a lure, I think it's actually called. I, I don't see them selling lures. They got, they got Pokeballs. I could use some more. I wonder if they still have special deals whenever you buy 10. Here you are. Thanks for shopping with us. Yeah, and a Premier Ball. Nice. So you always go by... By tens. And also, I wonder, what what's the deal with the L's? With the LP stuff? Picnic. Probably best to not host a picnic here. I want to see what this picnic thing is. I want to see all my cuties out on a... Out on a blanket. Picnic. Throw ball, crouch, what's... Aww! A little picnic table! You can enjoy picnics together with the Pokemon in your party. If you're playing in a group with friends, you can also have picnics with friends. You won't be able to set up a picnic table in the middle of town or on inclines. This is kind of on an incline, bruh. Wide open level spots. This is an incline. <laughs> yeah, look, we made a little table. Recall Miradon. Whistle. Oh, a little ball. It's either throw ball or whistle. Aw, look at all my little Pokemon. Hide, guide, throw ball, crouch, so. So can we sit at the table? What's, what's the point of this? You peeked inside the basket. There's nothing in the basket. There's no food. All my Pokemon will starve. So we could put back the big one and just look at all the little babies. Look at the babies. We got Pooper, we got Jigglypuff, we got Sprigatito, we got Burb, and we got a Pikachu. And isn't there one more? Well, there's nothing for the poor Pokemon to eat. Oh, they're all playing down here. Oh, Pikachu is goaded. There's also this little baby. I can't leave the zone. <laughs> there's a wall. There's a wall where I can't pass, but the Pokemon can. Get over here. I want to pet you. I'll pet you because you're cute. Look at them. Oh, baby. I wish that you could do it. Oh, well, that zooms in a little bit. Sprigatito. Sprigga. Mm, babies. Sneaky. Oh, I love it. I love the babies. Jigglypuff, you're good. You're a good little demon. Adorable. Well... I think it's time to pack up the picnic. Let's pack up the picnic, and I think we're going to call it here tonight. This is fun. This is fun. I like this game. 
pretty pretty standard Pokemon game. Not a lot of new stuff here. Just a mix between Arceus and normal modern Pokemon games. It's basically Sword and Shield mixed with Arceus. That's that's how I would describe it. Um, but not much not much Arceus in here. Not a lot. You do get the you do get the bike, but I guess there was a bike in the other game too. I kind of forgot how how progressive uh, Sword and Shield was, but it was pretty. It, it, it did change a lot of stuff. And um, yeah, this game does not does not progress a lot. Not not a lot of crazy new stuff in here. Some of the stuff is like Sword and Shield, but worse. Some of some of the stuff is kind of like Arceus, but worse. Like the uh, like the gym battle. Gym battle was not as cool as in Sword and Shield. Didn't feel as significant. Ooh, water creatures. Psyduck swimming around. Uh, the Gram fix. I I don't I don't really remember exactly what these other games look like, but it feels like the worst that Pokemon has been for a long time. It's about as bad as X and Y with 3D on. Like, X and Y looked pretty good as long as you didn't turn on the 3DS as 3D. But once you did, like, the processing power just, like, dipped. And it and it went to trash really quick. But this is one of the worst... Worst... I don't want to say worst looking, because there's a lot of pretty stuff in it. But it's, it's, like, the worst optimized, I guess. One of the worst optimized. And it it's so much of it is very crunchy. It's, like, it's got pretty stuff in it but the game is making that stuff look ugly. That's that's how it feels. It's like these models are, are nice and some of the textures are, well, actually those textures are really bad. Okay, never mind. The textures are pretty bad in this game, but they couldn't, they couldn't res them up. They kind of can't help that. <laughs> this game's already like at its limit right now. It's already like chugging. So I'm like, I wish it looked better. But could they have done better? I mean, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu look way better than this game. So I guess they figured out a way there. But maybe it's maybe it's this open world format. Maybe it's a point of view. I don't know. Peak Pokemon was on Game Boy? Mm, you mean Game Boy Advance? I don't know about Game Boy. I, to be fair, I haven't played any of the Game Boy Color Game Boy games. But, um... I like the Game Boy Advance games a lot, and they already feel like super bare bones, super stripped back. But they just got, they just so much, uh, I don't know, the sprites are so fun. But the game is so, so very linear. So very linear, you know exactly what to do. There's not that many Pokemon in it. Uh, the, the There's no interesting battle animations, but the battles are faster. But I guess the the battles have been getting faster as the games go along, like they're getting fast again. But the um there there was a there was a like a whole little area where battles took freaking forever, like in Sun and Moon X and Y, and probably some games earlier that were on the DS DSi. Those were so slow. It was, the battles they just took forever, long animations, intros, stuff like that. But this one this one doesn't have any of that, so that's nice. The textures remind you of DX from 2003. They're pretty bad. Yeah, the textures are bad. They're very bad. But it feel like... I feel like wherever... Like, this rock texture right here, wherever they're sourcing it, like, it's definitely been resed down. Like, everything in this game has been purposefully lowered in fidelity so that it runs better. Like, it, it's just literally a power issue. So, I don't know. This engine has not impressed me since Breath of the Wild. I'm pretty sure that this is based on the same engine as Breath of the Wild and Arceus, and it has not looked good since Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild took on such a nice painterly aesthetic so that the, the textures were, I don't know, either easier to ignore or they just, I don't know how they made it work. I, I did they, the world is pretty empty. The world is pretty empty in Breath of the Wild, but, like, the performance is so good, and the game's honestly pretty dang pretty. Oi, oi, Texan girly, you're here just in time. I was just ranting about this game. But all that said, Pokemon is still fun. Pokemon's still Pokemon. 
I still love the creatures in this game, and I just like catching them. Like, it's just it, the, the loop. The loop is here. It's satisfying, and I am definitely one of those, like, Pokemon simps that will literally just buy a Pokemon game because it says Pokemon, and I know that it's going to have a bunch of creatures that I think are cute. And it'll have a story that's not too hard to ignore. Uh, didn't the previous Pokemon game have issues? Uh, like graphical issues and stuff like that? Yeah. They built it on a high-powered computer and tried to scale it down to Switch. I mean, yeah, all, all, all games in the entire world are, are programmed on computers. There's, there's no games that are programmed on the consoles themselves, but... Yeah, I, I don't know what the issue is, really. Because I'm not I'm not developing for Switch. But there are definitely better looking games that are on the Switch. So, sounds like a skill issue. <laughs> to be honest. Guess what? Oh my goodness. Do you want me to actually guess, Texany Girly? Whoop, 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 whoop. But yeah. How many Pokemon did we catch? We caught a little handful of them. Uh, how do I open that again? Aha! We battled 40 and we caught 30. So we've made a we've made a little chunk. We've taken a little chunk out of this. How far does anybody know how many Pokemon are in this game? I like that you can just go straight past them and it and it looks at them. This is almost 400 right here. That was your favorite Pokemon game that I've seen. Can you play? Which one? Uh, I'm looking at my Twitch following list and everyone is playing this game. I know, right? Yeah. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. It's kind of meta. <laughs> uh, the best uh, the best feeling Pokemon was Let's Go. Yes! Let's Go Pikachu is the best best Pokemon game, in my opinion. I like, I like a lot of things in Arceus, but Let's Go Pikachu is a game that I would play right now. Like, it's a game that I'm actually... Even though I've already gotten the, the Pokedex is done, I would play it again. Because it was so... It was so pretty... The catching mechanics were super fun. Stuff was snappy. The graphics were really nice. Story was easy to ignore, which is always a good sign in a Pokemon game. I loved the I loved the gyms. It's just it was just such a tight, nice little game. It just worked. There wasn't that many Pokemon in it. There's only like 150, I think. It just works. It just works really well. And this game has got like so much stuff going on that the quality like uh, really really moves around a lot. Like I mean, this map is obscene. Like who asked for this map? Open world, open world Pokemon. I wonder if that's an idea that I'll ever like. Maybe not. Maybe. I, I think that I think that Game Freak is just stuck in their old ways way too much. Like. This open world format with catching monsters is such a such a fun idea, but I I just don't know if Game Freak is ever going to be able to give up their old design, like their their old design methods, which just do not work very well for this. I I don't even I don't even have like a, a list of grievances or anything that need to be changed. I would I would have to like be playing it and and they would just like come up, like things would just happen that annoy me. But there's just so many old design philosophies going into this that it's just like, will they ever be able to adjust to this format? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Or maybe they'll just stay bad and they'll just keep pumping them out. Because Pokemon is also held up a lot by card game, TV. Like, there's there's so many things adding into the Pokemon thing that they'll always get... They'll always get some money, no doubt. They'll always get, they'll always get a big chunk of change. Yeah, the map is big, and that is not necessarily a good thing. It's not necessarily a bad thing either. I haven't really gotten a feel for the map yet. So, yeah, we're in area two, and Mesa Goza is over here. So we have essentially traveled on, like, we... This is our house, I think. Our house is here. We drove to Mesa Goza. I We haven't been down here yet. So basically, we've just been on like one little chunk of the map. Just one little chunk. How many areas, quote unquote, are there? There's so many. There's so much. I don't know. I don't know. Some people really like um, open world games, but I, I will admit I am growing tired of them, to be honest. 
to be honest. So so many games have just like converted into an open game format that just don't work very well. And there's so many lazy open worlds that are out there that are just like filled with like just check just check boxes, check boxes, check boxes. Okay, now you get to towers. Okay, now you kill the people. Okay, now you blow up the things. It's just like, okay, and now go to the next area and and blow up the tower, get the things, shoot the dudes, do the copy paste mission. Like it's just I don't know. I'm tired of it. The only open worlds that I play actively uh, in my own time are truly like janky open world games like seven days to die that is a janky piece of crap game and i love it for it like it's it is all about the skill tree for me baby it's all about that skill tree uh same with same with uh skyrim janky game story is actually pretty good but uh it's all about that skill tree baby it's all about grinding that skill tree um minecraft is kind of unique because it's mostly building that i do it for building and destroying that's what i love in minecraft uh, anything that has some some creativity and designing and building in it is always always welcome. Like raft, raft is raft is janky, janky kind of crappy, <laughs> but it has building. I like that. Hey, you can't insult Metal Gear Solid like that. I've never tried a Metal Gear Solid Five. I've never tried it. I own it. It's possible that I'd like it. I know that there's a lot of creativity in that game. Like you can, it, it basically is like. A combat sandbox where they they give you a bunch of different combat uh, techniques, a bunch of different ways to to face the missions, and you can kind of just you can kind of just tackle challenges the way that you want to. Uh, it doesn't sound like my kind of game necessarily, but uh, I've not tried it. I've not tried it. Um, I normally games that require a lot of strategy and creativity. I don't like playing because it's not really what I play video games for. I don't play video games in general to feel like I have a big brain. I, I normally play video games either to relax or to test reflexes. Those those are like the two things that I like. I like I like either being relaxed by a game or or getting to like test my reflexes. So a game like Dark Souls or, or like a really difficult platform or something like that challenge engages me. Uh, or if the game is like really relaxing. Then, then that's another thing that I'll play. You've been playing Peaceful Raft because your brain just wants to do menial tasks without the risk of being attacked. Exactly, exactly, that kind of thing. Nice relaxing. Uh, I've been playing, I think I already mentioned it, but I've been playing um, a Power Wash Simulator. That's That's been like my, my go-to off-stream game, but I just finished it, so I'm going to have to find another one. I'm tempted to play House Flipper, but it does really annoy me that I'm missing DLC for it. And the DLC is really expensive for no reason. It's like I only have like half the game. <laughs> Boy, yo, 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 yo. Have I played Fallout? I started playing Fallout New Vegas. And that that's a game that I'm like, this is a really good game. But oh, it would take me a lot to get into it. Like there's just so much going on. It's it's a very interesting game. I, I was really enjoying it. Oh, I should not have done growl. Games are made for instincts, not for thinking. Well, I mean, some people love a challenge. Some people like to uh, like to do a like to do a puzzle. Some people just want a puzzle. They open up a game and they're like, "All right, this is something that I can focus on. This is something for my brain." Rock Ruff is so cute. You played some Blood Bowl and you've lost every game until you change it to easy mode. Oof. Yeah, that's 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 a big reason why I don't play. I generally don't play multiplayer games. Is because whenever you introduce like PvP, then you immediately make like the skill ceiling is normally way way higher. It's like if I'm competing with people, then I start like having to judge the way that I'm playing it and like I start to have to take it really seriously. That's just what my brain does. Whenever I'm playing against other people, I want to win. But uh, then I get bummed if I don't win. And it's just like, that's that's an element that... That disappointment doesn't exist in a lot of games. Like in Pokemon, there's basically nothing that can happen in this game that's going to make me feel bad. The only thing that could make... The only thing that this game can do is make me bored. That's, that's the worst case scenario 
for Pokemon is boredom. But in a in a PvP game, like you can feel like absolute dog crap because because you died and you're just like, oh, I let down the team, I'm ruining my stats, I failed here. Like it's so frustrating. But I, I still do play them sometimes. Hey, Howie Jr., thank you for the follow. What's up? We was we was just chatting about about video games. I was I was planning on ending the stream, but then we started chatting, and I was just like, why not why not catch some Pokemon while we talk? You've been on Left for Dead, uh, Left for Dead kick lately. That's pretty. That's a pretty fun game. I really like it. It feels like that game feels also kind of janky. That <laughs> it's just like a it's just like a mow down the zombies game. But it's co-op. It's co-op. Have you been playing with AI or with, with other peeps? This Pokemon travels in a pack with others until it grows up. When its mood turns sour, it starts striking the ground with the rocks on its neck. What? Whenever Rock gets mad, Rock Rough gets mad, he just starts slamming the ground. <laughs> You've been playing with bots and people. Dample. That's what I always did with, um, a, wait, no. That's what I always do with uh, Counter Strike. Counter Strike is another is another Valve game. Same engine, same engine. But yeah, uh, for whenever I play Counter Strike, I'll I'll often play with bots because I just kind of prefer it. I also freaking switched out Rock Rough because I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. Uh, bots are fun because they suck. <laughs> They'll watch you die. They'll be like, "Ooh, that looks like it hurts." <laughs> we'll see you later, Texan Girly. I might be back, uh, but night, sleep well, and eat well. Nice. Yeah, I need to get some food in a little bit. But yeah, Texan girl, it was nice to see you for a bit. Enjoy your evening. Oh, Fampy, yes. PC Pass has the new Dune strategy game. Yeah, I saw that. It's um, it's early access, right? It's, um, what is it, Spice Wars? Dune Spice Wars. That's given me a little bit of the uh, Age of Empires vibe. See, Age of Empires is right on that line for me. It's m probably a lot because of nostalgia, but like Civilization, I can't stand that game. It's too much strategy. Like it's a good game, but it's just not for me. Too much thinking. It's far stronger than it appears. A Fanfi is swinging its trunk around and your arm gets hit by it. Your arm bone will shatter. Whoa, whoa. If Famfrey is swinging its trunk around and your arm gets hit by it, your arm bone will shatter. <laughs> Dude, what? <laughs> what kind of Pokedex entry is this? <laughs> My God. <laughs> but look out. If it's just like swinging its, swinging its nose around a little bit, it'll break your arm. That's realistic? No! If, if, you, got, if you got hit by, by an elephant's by a baby elephant's trunk, it would not shatter your arm bone. Not, no way. I don't believe that. I bet you an elephant's trunk could snap your arm bone. Like if it, if it, if it curled around your arm, it might, but not just, not just swinging his trunk around. No way. Also, KP, what's up? Yeah, if an actual elephant, but this is a baby elephant. This is Fanfi we're talking about. Fanfi's even smaller than the average baby elephant. Baby elephants are huge. Fampy, Fampy is smaller than a baby elephant. And also, we could check how heavy it is, too. Uh, Sprigatito might die on the next hit. This stupid ghost-type Pokemon. Uh, we could put Dumpling out there. Let's see this. If an actual elephant slapped me with a trunk, I'd go flying. <laughs> an actual full-grown elephant? I, I'd get some air. I'd get some air and internal organ damage. <laughs> Your boy be dead. Uh, sweet kiss. Let's see. Let out a charming cry. The user does emotional damage. <laughs> Hit him with that emotional damage. When you sing that song... Oh, that's not much emotional damage. <laughs> they'll recover from that. Just a little bit of therapy and they'll be fine. Hit him. Give him some more. There we go. That's enough to catch him. This might do. This might do. 
Have you ever been hit in the eye by a baby? It, it dang hurts. It does. Babies just flinging around their arms and suddenly their, their fist just randomly smacks you in the eyeball. Our eyeballs are so, so fragile. It freaks me out, actually. That's one of the reasons why anything in horror movies with eyeballs freaks me out. Like, that's one of the last bastions of me being scared. Because generally, nothing makes me squirm. But eyes make me squirm just a little bit. Because they're so, they're so delicate. You've been punched in the face by a medium-sized dog. <laughs> I like the specificity of the size. Medium-sized. Been punched in the face. It was close fist. Gotta find you an eye movie now. I mean, listen. I, I've, I've seen it all, Lens. I've seen it all before, but it will make me squirm a little bit. We were watching, um, we were watching that Guillermo del Toro, um, Cabinet of Secrets? What is it? The, the Cabinet of Myster Mysteries or something? Cabinet of Curiosities, I think? That, uh, thing on Netflix, which is just a bunch of short films that Guillermo, like, I guess he, he hired the people to do them? And there is this one of them um, about autopsies. And that one was, that one made me squirm a little bit. But that is some of the most, that's like the most advanced, disgusting body horror I've ever seen in my entire life. Like that's, that's as far as I've ever seen. Like it was saw levels or further, I guess. Yeah, Cabinet of Curiosities. It's good. It's a really good show. Highly recommended. It's a it's a bunch of different stories and they range like uh, they they're very very different than one another. Lots of good actors in them. The visuals are often pretty. The stories and ideas are really fun. Def definitely recommend. Maybe we can just hit them one more time. They're pretty tough. They're level fourteen. And uh, Pikachu might hurt themselves. Pikachu is confused. Yeah, it just smacked itself in the face. Just a very enthusiastic high five in the face from <laughs> from a fast overachieving border collie. Aw. Good dog. Good dog. It was an accident. I'm now taking a Pokemon break. What? A break from Pokemon or a break for Pokemon? It seems like the entire Twitch platform is taking a Pokemon break. I could have caught or killed this Pokemon a long time ago, but I'm trying to be careful and not kill it. I would I would like to not kill it. This is a Pokemon that probably only appears at night. Ghost types are, are particularly hard to catch normally. And I would rather just take my time. Pikachu, please don't hurt yourself. Oh boy, I think he's gonna smack himself. Yep. <laughs> Break from Pokemon, been playing so much now. Ooh. I'm definitely going to be tempted to play this more tonight. Pokemon is not a game that a lot of people enjoy me playing. But it's so fun. It's so fun. It's just a nice, relaxing experience. Just chilling. Chilling and poking. I could always do... Um, I could always do grinding off stream, I suppose. Suppose I could. I could try to get to a point where I could shiny hunt on stream. That would be fun. Ooh, all right, all right, all right, all right. This is it. This is it. This is it. Oh, baby. Easy. One shake. One shake, baby. Sent you a pic of my accomplishment today. Is it just, is it just the hours? Is it just the hours number? Or is it the, or is it the shiny? <laughs> it loves to bite and yank people's hair from behind without warning. Just to see their shocked reactions. This little turd. This absolute turd likes to yank people's hair. <laughs> Hateful. What a goblin. An absolute goblin. Do not trust this Pokemon. Do not trust this Pokemon. This Pokemon is a real piece of work. I'm going to put old Burbo back on the team. Oh, Burbalisa. Burbalisa. Burbo, no. Uh, is that Ghastly? That is Ghastly. We could snag a couple more Pokemon. It's not very nice, but it's so cute. Yeah, it's a little stinker. 
One of my favorite ghost types for sure. Now, Ghastly. Payback, I haven't done anything to you. You can't use Payback the first move. First move can't be Payback. That don't make no sense. That make, don't make no sense, Ghastly. You're bending to English. You're bending English to mean whatever you want. Also, don't put my bird to sleep. <laughs> that bird is flying and sleeping at the same time. I expected a crash landing. Hey, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Pikachu. Dang, all my Pokemon are dead. All my Pokemon dying. Is this is this a poison type boy? Parker! Hey! Hi there. I'm still playing this game. <laughs> What's up? Do you want a drink from the store IRL? What 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 store? You're going to a store to get a drink? My my initial reaction is yes. But I'm still curious what you're talking about. What kind of drink? We talking about alcoholic or non-alcoholic? Oh, like a gas station. Oh. Hmm. Um, no, I don't think I do. Thank you, though. Thank you, thank you. Whatever you want, baby. <laughs> I mean, if you were going to pick up a Red Bull and there was a deal to buy two, get one free, then you could do that. But I don't need it. I have, I have G Fuel. <laughs> but I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm back. I can't sleep, so I'm not gonna. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you can't sleep. We're just catching some more Pokemon. I was gonna quit, but but I kind of got stuck. Kind of got stuck catching more. Get Gashly. Get that nasty Gashly. Gashly cannot live after what it's done to my Pokemon. Gashly was caught. That's right. Catching Pokemon so addicting. It is whenever you know that there's new Pokemon. Its body is made of gas. Despite lacking substance, it can envelop an opponent of any size and cause suffocation. These are really violent Pokedex entries. <laughs> there's, been, there's been at least two of them that we're talking about death, death or mutilation. Pokemon, this is a child's game. <gasps> Burbs evolving. What are those little crawly guys? I know, I know, I can make this another one. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Look at that strong bird. Fletchinder. I shall call you Fletchinder. Blue Thunder. Its territory has a radius just over a mile. If any bird Pokemon should enter, it will show them no mercy. Jesus. <laughs> the violence continues. It's all these Pokemon that appear. Uh, well, I guess Fletchling is actually an all day Pokemon. Flame charge, yes. Thank goodness we're having a fire Pokemon situation. Want to forget Growl? Good call. Good call, Burbo. All right, Burbo. I'm going to need you to kill this small, this small bug. This bug won't stand a chance, Burbo. Just go sicko mode on this fool. Throw some feathers at it. Oh wait, you sleeping? You know these these might be too effective anyway. Now, I'm going to have to ask you to wake up. Is there a... Let's see, let's see. Awakening. Awake, my soul. Flame charge. Oh. The ghost Pokemon entries are dark. <laughs> it's a bit much, really. <laughs> this, this little bug's double kicking. <laughs> Look at those big feet. Got those giant feet, and it can kick all the way to a bird? You think that this will kill him? Power 35, let's do that. Way safer. Whoa, that is close. You know what? I'm not so astonished. Holy crap, it's so strong. Well, it's level 15. It's a higher level than my bird, I think. Oh, it's gonna die by its burn. No, don't die, don't die. I have to use a great ball to up the chances of catching the sucker. It nap and leave a message. Yeah, <laughs> leave a message. Address it to bird. Nimble was caught. Hooray! It's highly skilled at a fighting style in which it uses its jumping capabilities to dodge incoming attacks while also dealing damage to opponents. It jumps. <laughs> that Pokemon entry said, it jump and kick. When it jump and kick, that how it do an attack. <laughs> Anything else new out here? 
Y'all see anything fresh? What the frick is that? What is that little thing I see? <gasps> it's a little thing! It's a little guy! It's Capsa Kid! I've never heard of this. It's got a little bonnet! User flails. The less HP it has. Is this gonna be safer? I think I'm gonna peck this little thing to death. Oh, it lives! Thank goodness! Capsa Kid! It looks like it's got a little beak. Okay, I want my bird to stay alive. And we got po we got potions to spare. Nimble's a cute name. Yeah. You googled the autopsy episode, and yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, it's also it's also really dark. Yeah, the the, the gore is a bit much. But it's also like controlled gore, and that that almost makes it worse in a way, because it's very slow. It's very slow and methodical with the yuck. But uh, a lot of the episodes are not, are not too intense. Hooray! Capture Kid was caught. The show has a great range. Some of the some of the some of the episodes are just a little bit creepy. Some of them are straight up disgusting. A couple of them are actually scary. But generally, just like a nice spooky vibe. Get rid of scratch. Do dig. I love this um suggested move thing. Because I'm not so good with picking moves. I just make people mad. You're glad that you looked it up because people recommended that and you would have went into a blind? A lot of them you could go into blind. If you wanted recommendations, I could tell you which ones are not so intense. Or I could tell you, like, generally what's in them. But you could also just look that up anyway. You could just look up, uh, I guess trigger warnings would probably be a good idea. You know, look up if the dog dies at the end. That'd be a pretty good way to pick because, because there's a nice range to them. There's one in particular about um, somebody that buys storage units that's really just entertaining. It says entertaining, it's got good characters, it's got a little message to it, and it's uh, it's just fun to watch. And it, it doesn't really have anything that's that's too yucky in it or anything. Oh, you're a weenie? Yeah, I forgot about that. I forgot the about the weenie side of you. Whoa, Skittle! <laughs> you know what movie we could watch, Lens? Oh wait, we no, we already watched it. <laughs> I was about to say that we could watch that other Guillermo movie, <laughs> but we've already watched it together. <laughs> we watched it. We watched it together whenever y'all visited <laughs> Crimson Peak. <laughs> I was gonna suggest that, but I watched it with you. <laughs> Stupid. <sighs> as long as it has sunlight and water, Skiddo can make energy with the leaves on its body, allowing it to live on rocky mountains barren of food. Eh? You mean those leaves are attached? You had to Google the plot for that too? No, you watched it with us. Did you Google it before you watched it? Just to double check. I mean, I, I don't really blame you for like double checking to make sure that uh, the movie doesn't have anything interesting in it, you know? Uh, let's puck, peck that mabre. Kaboom. That was garbage. Whoa! That donkey just flattened this bird. You know your limits? Well, I mean, limits can change, Lens. You could, you could evolve. You could become more powerful. If you wanted to. But you certainly don't have to. You could just inundate yourself with violence and, and sex and language just so that you're completely numb and you feel nothing anymore. That's always an option. Mubbery is pretty cute. It's cuter than any donkey in the entire world. It looks like a little, looks like a little statuette or something. It's adorable. Now burn it. Now burn it and catch it. Hey, don't be double kicking my bird. Everybody wants to kick my bird today. Stop that. Stop kicking them! Couldn't look up everything everywhere all at once. And that one scene sticks with a what? Which 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 one is which one are you thinking about? You thinking about whenever they're looking for that jumping point? Whenever there's a battle over the same jumping point? That scene is one of the best. One of the best in cinematic history. It has to do with paper. Oh the paper cuts. Paper cuts is a little oof. A little oofy. 
They really made it last a long time, didn't they? <laughs> they really, they 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 really wanted you to know. And they even had like stinger sound effects that went. Ee! The paper thing. Did we watch that? And did we watch that? Though a slow walker, Bumbray is plenty strong. Its pace doesn't change when it's loaded with 50 times its own body weight. I think we did watch it, didn't we? Dang, I can't remember anything these days. Like, I, I, I literally, again, and I'm going to ask you this again. Did we finish Osama ranking? Because <laughs> I forgot again. And I saw I saw it on my Crunchyroll list, and I couldn't remember. I think you said we did. I think. <gasps> What's this little thing? Look at this little muffin. Look at that little muffin. We did finish Osama ranking. Is there going to be another season of it? Or is it Dunzo? There's, there's supposed to be more, right? That Mudbray's watching the catch. Yeah, it's just like, hey, it ain't me. <laughs> the Mudbray's like, look, none of my business. None of my business. I didn't see nothing. Yes, just let me go, and I didn't see nothing. A special coming next year? Oh, so there is more. OVAs anyway, but the, did the story wrap up? I don't remember how it ended. Manga is ongoing. You're ongoing. You're gonna go to bed. Zombie food, get some rest. Get some sleep. Thanks for hanging out and chatting, zombie food. It was fun. It was fun. And stop that. It was fun. You're ongoing. Listen. I'm going on and on. <laughs> it spends its time running around wastelands. <laughs> Does this look like a wasteland dweller to you? <laughs> it spends its time running around wastelands. If anyone steals its beloved berries, it will chase them down and exact its revenge. Jesus! Yo, Flittle doesn't play. You better look out. You better look out. Flittle coming after you. It's exacting its revenge on you. Shucks. Got mud brain, the little, the little scuttlebug. Scuttlebug USA. Dang, I'm just looking for a cool poke of what the frick is that chimchar? That ain't chimchar. What the is that a Power Ranger? What is this? <laughs> it's Char Cadet. Stupid design. <laughs> I just want to get this thing out of my face. I just want to erase this Pokemon. Get out of here. I hate that you hit things with the bike to get its attention. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just a little bit of vehicular bug slaughter. Listen, it's a good intro to a battle, okay? It always surprises them. It always, it always catches them. Catch them with their pants down. A cute little psychic. I know. It's so cute. Now, don't die, Charconet. Don't die, little robot child thing. Looks like Baby Groot Fire Edition. Oh, my bird. I should have kept it alive. No, my bird. No. Now you'll kill my bird. You killed my bird. You hater. You little stinker. I'm gonna put Pooper out. Pooper, you just stay in there and let me catch this thing. <laughs> Alright, Pooper. You just do your thing. Do your thing that that you sting still. And looking like a mud puddle. Hey, Kuya Cat, what's up? Oi, oi! Happy Friday! Maybe I should get a drink. It's Friday night. Friday night. Why don't I have a drink in my hands? <laughs> No! Charcadet? Charcadet! You stop attacking that sleeping pooper, I swear. Also, pooper's pooper's head kind of looks like it's got bones sticking out of it. This Pokemon does not want to be caught. This Pokemon has resistant abilities. This Pokemon just got schooled. Just got schooled in the art of catching. Got him. How do you like that? How you like me now? 
Its firepower increases when it fights, reaching over 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit. It likes berries that are rich in fat. That's a bit of a non sequitur. <laughs> its firepower increases when it fights, reaching over 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit. It likes berries that are rich in fat. Good to know. Glad to know its dietary restrictions. Into the box. <laughs> Look at those eyes blazing with determination. It looks like a proper shonen character. It looks like the main character of your favorite manga. Boy, yo, 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 yoing. Speaking of favorite manga, I guess I'm gonna keep reading. Uh, I'm gonna keep reading Chainsaw Man. I'm already through all the episodes. I'd forgotten that it wasn't fully released yet. That really threw me for a loop because I just ran out of episodes and I was like, what, what? <laughs> but I know what comes next. I just want to watch it. <laughs> Why isn't there more? Why isn't the show already fully released? Uh, Sprigatito should be able to survive one hit, right? This is a fighting type. Yeah, another fire type. You're right. You're right. That's something that we needed. Yeah, we could maybe we could maybe replace the bird, but I will say now that now the bird's got two two fire attacks, and has flying. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice combo. But we'll have to see. Oh my god! You just tossed me up like a world. Uh, this is this is fighting type. I know that. I'm pretty sure that ghost type is really good against fighting type. Maybe dark type. Not at all. Absolutely horrible. And Sprigatito's getting bodied by this monkey. Sprigatito is hurting out here. Let me tell you, Sprigatito not doing so good. It doesn't help that this stupid potion doesn't revive them all the way. Yeah, soda pop. Now that's what we need. That's 50. That's a big 50. We'll go heal after this. Because this whole this whole Pokemon catching thing has been uh it's been a mixed bag. Oh, that's low. It's a low kick. Magical Leaf is powerful. Seed Bomb is even more powerful. Holy crap! That might be too much. Oh my god. It is too much! It just completely killed it, dude! Oh my god! That monkey dead. We just pounded that monkey into powder. The poor little monkey didn't ask for that. He just said, ooh, ah, ah, give me banana. And I just tossed a bunch of seeds on its head and crushed it. Every single bone in his body went. <coughs> poor monkey. I didn't mean to treat you like that. Listen, monkey, we can we can make a truce. You just got to appear again. And I promise I won't, I won't kill you like that. I won't treat you. With such disrespect again, Pinky promise. I like how some of the Pokemon notice me, but it, it, it makes no di- Ah, what? You little- You know what? I was just talking trash about you. None of these are effective, and this Pokemon's almost dead, and I should have gone heal. And Pikachu needs to be swapped out of first place. And, and, mistakes were made. I would love to burn this little creature. I'd love to cook it. Anytime that a Pokemon catches me, I'm just like, well, this is an opportunity. It's an opportunity for me to for me to get some experience. So I don't I don't like running from battles. Oh god, I'm running from this battle. This is too much work. You're too much work, little bug. You're, you're worth like 10 XP. You're, you're not you're not worth my time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have places to be. I have businesses to run. I'm running a small Pokemon business. Uh, where's the, where's the closest place to heal? Aha! Probably over there, but I could double check the map. Get a little a lay of the land. We just gotta go back for Mankey. We'll just fly there. Fly there and, and drive back. I kind of wish that there was a boost on this bike. I'm not gonna lie. But it, that might be broken. And also, this game is already breaking. <laughs> this, this game is already struggling under the weight. <laughs> the graphical weight. Look at the person in the background. Do you really think that they can add a boost to a game like this? Do you really think that they can make that car any faster? Not a chance. Not a chance. 
this game's sputtering. <laughs> they can't handle it. No way. No way they couldn't handle it. This ain't, this ain't Sonic Unite. Or Sonic Forces? What's that new Sonic game? I hear that you can go so fast. Oi, oi! Yeah, 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 yeah! Get ready for bed! Get ready for bed! Get ready for the bed. Get cozy. Get some nice jammies on. Could get some hot tea. Or, or eat a, a melatonin gummy. Get snuggled up. Get snuggy buggled up. Because the ASMR stream is going to start pretty soon, so... That'll be just in time. So where were we? This is this is a manky zone. I don't know if this is the exact zone that we were in. <gasps> but there's a manky right there. Wait, no! I was gonna switch my team order. My team order, oh no! I don't know, Nessie told me that I should try it. Nessie said try SMR. Nessie really said go for it. Oh no. <laughs> they killed the they killed the creature that I wanted. The bird was like, whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> the bird is like so excited, <laughs> so excited to have killed that Pokemon. But uh, I'm not pleased. <laughs> your owner, your owner tells you to attack the Pokemon. You kill it, and then he sighs. He sighs and shakes his head. Not like that, he says. But aren't you proud of me? I did my best. I pushed. I pushed my powers to the limit. I put myself in physical risk for you, master. Are you pleased? I defeated it in one fell swoop. No, bird. That's not what I wanted at all. I'm trying to collect the Pokemon you don't understand. But master, I can still be first place, right? No. To the back of the queue you go. My favorite Pokemon is this little grass baby. They have weak attacks. But, but my attacks are way more effective. No, that's the problem. No! Sprigatito! I couldn't be mad at you, though. You're too cute. You're too cute to be angry at. Now that bird? I have endless rage for that bird. But this Sprigatito, too adorable. All right, little, little baby. What, what would happen if I did a seed bomb? Do you kill it instantly? Because it was already kind of damaged. Ah! Hey, you quit tossing around my weed, baby. Nope, that does just kill it outright. <laughs> that does just bring it down to zero. That's a lot of XP, though. If we just stayed out here and killed monkeys all day, we'd be so strong. All right, little monkey. I got a new plan. Magic leaf. could possibly not kill it by doing another magic leaf because it's not it's not yellow yet. Oh, perfect. This cat always it always knows. It always knows the right move. Now cats have monkey. Actually, uh-oh, Sprigatito's life is in danger. I didn't realize that. Okay. <gasps> Crisis averted. Mankey was caught. All right, we've caught every pokemon that we've encountered. I think Slam? Slam's a good move. I'll take it. Yeah, Slam's good. Get rid of that tail whip. Ain't nobody need no tail whip. I'll basically just do whatever it's recommended, unless I know that I like the move and I don't want to go bye-bye. Hey, Sandwich, good night, good night. Adios. This is, this is Spain, after all. Adios, Sandwich Nom Nom. Enjoy your sleep. Enjoy your sleepy. Thanks for hanging out. Meow, meow, meow. It's extremely quick to anger. Uh, it could be docile one moment, then thrashing away the next instant. You know what? Same. To the box. Good monkey. The music's kind of jamming all of a sudden. Y'all spot any new Pokemon out there? Y'all smell anything fresh? Hmm. What 
What is that? That's new. It looks like a low tad. Looks like some kind of weird noodle. Oh, it's in the water. It's cheating. Is that a... Is that a Magikarp? Is that some wacky freaking Magikarp? I don't know. It was weird. That wasn't shiny, was it? I hope it wasn't. I'm not allowed in the water. Oh, think about the hydrate. Oh, it's a tad bulb. It's a tad bulb. But it'll do. Let's magic leaf this pool. It wasn't shiny, don't worry. Yeah, it didn't it didn't look like it. it looked like an alternate design or a different fish. Spring Cedar's gonna die! Eh? I wanna do this. Catch that. Catch that tadpole. My character's still adorable. I've been kind of ignoring it for a while, but. Tadpole was caught. Congratulations. You've collected another Pokemon. Sprigatito. Spriga, Spriga, Spriga. It's a Ella Tadpole Pokemon. <laughs> it floats using the electricity stored in its body. When thunderclouds are around, Tadbulb will float higher off the ground. I wonder if that's a thing that happens actually in the game. It's kind of adorable. There are thunderstorms after all. Tadbulb. Maybe it just doesn't appear whenever it's uh, rainy. Yeah, that's just a different Pokemon. If I focus it and toss, can I battle it? Yes. That is one way to do it. It's Basculin. Uh, Pika. Pikachu, get in there and zap the devil out of this fish. This fish is a Satanist, and the devil needs to be zapped out of it. <gasps> Pikachu's in the water! Pikachu's swimming! I didn't know that Pikachu could swim. That's adorable. That's adorable, baby. This might kill it. Hey, no flailing! It doesn't even work very well because its, it's health isn't low. Dude, this fish is tough. Bro, what does this do? Electric ball. The faster the unit, the faster the user is than the target, the greater the power move. I don't think I'm much faster than this thing. This is a fast fish. It's going, it's going faster than I am. Still super effective though. Good swap Pikachu out. Pikachu's kind of getting bodied by this fish. Hmm. It's electric type, normal type, ground type. Water is good against ground, I think. Wa oh, water is good against fire. Water's not good against electric, though. Yeah, let's, let's just swap it out for the other electric. We just need to hit it, like, one more time, and then we'll have a chance to catch it. Aw. It can swim, too. It's so small. Nuzzles, power 20. Let's do a shock. Zap, zap. Whoa. It's just doing normal attacks and it's kicking my butt. All right, I'm going to put my Pokemon at risk. All right. Don't 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 disappoint me, Pokeball. Uh-oh. Sorry, little guy. <laughs> Sorry, little guy. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> What's my fault? It was the Pokeball. The Pokeball didn't get him. <laughs> it's the Pokeball's fault. I shouldn't have used that crappy Pokeball. <gasps> oh, look at that. Jigglypuff float. I love finding... Uh, oh. <laughs> Psyduck's like, wow. We're going to catch him. Get that fish. Get that Pokemon. I'm like, aren't you, aren't you a Pokemon? Yeah, but I know you don't want me. I know you're just going for that Basculin. You don't have him in your decks yet, right? Wow! <laughs> nice catch! You're a good Pokemon trainer. Dumpling wants to learn round. Round is an attack? <laughs> round is a shape. This game's lying to me. What do you want to do? You want to forget all about pound? No more pounding. Jigglypuff says, that's enough pounding for an entire lifetime. Psyduck's waving! Psyduck's waving to me, dude! 
Psyduck, Psyduck is watching his fellow creatures be captured and he's just waving. He's just waving with a blank expression. It's so vicious that it's called the Thug of the River. Yet Basculin is still targeted by predators such as Don Dozo and, Bo and Bombardier. <laughs> the Psyduck, I mean, to be fair, it says it's the Thug of the River. The Psyduck's like, another one down. Good, get rid of him. I hate those fish. <gasps> it has its child with it. It's 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 parent. Its parent is like, oh dear, dear child, that's a poke trainer you see. Now, if you ever if you ever run into one of these, be sure if they target you like, well, like that, then they might attack you. Okay. This has been a very educational field trip. All right, we caught a fish, which is very unnecessary. That Psyduck was homeschooled. They count everything as a field trip. If they go to the store, they call it a field trip. Mom really be like, "We got to go to Kroger. We're gonna put the. <laughs> we're gonna count this as education." Boy, yo, 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 yo. This is a real Pokemon with nerves. I want you to know. I want you to know that it has nerves and bones. It could feel pain. And I'd be jumping off cliffs. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It had to be done. Time must be saved and I don't want to fly. Heal my Pokemon. They're all injured slash dead. Thank you. <laughs> you saved my life and the life of my friends. I'll never be able to repay you. Which is doubly true because you you don't get paid at all. Flip back through your adventure guide from time to time. Come back and see us whenever you need. Okay. Okay. Thanks for the help. So they only show Pokemon that are really close to you, eh? So you basically have to move around if you want to see what Pokemon are where. If you wanted, like to know where Pokemon were at, you'd have to look at them very specifically. It'd have to be like, oh, recent notes. What does that mean? Notes. These just show up randomly. They just give you like random notes. They got five, five notes down here at the bottom that, uh, that inform me about where these Pokemon could be found. That's kind of cool. So I guess this is just like a random five Pokemon that, that the game just like helps you try to find. Recently battled Pokemon. Yeah, but how do we see the full list again? We go up here. Then I guess we could always like, if I wanted it, so like Houndoom. Where do you where do you get a Houndoom? Where the Houndoom at? Yeah, it's way up there. And it becomes more active at night. But I uh, would definitely not at any point in the game where we'd want to be hunting down specific stuff. Nowhere near that. Instead, more like. We would, we would travel to a new area and then just like keep an eyeball on the mini map, keep an eye on the Pokemon around. We'll want to be doing that anyway, just in case that there's like a shiny around or something like that. But yeah, still, still very much at the beginning of the game. We might even have some abilities that we haven't unlocked like swimming or flying. Those could be included. They're in Arceus. I, I haven't seen uh, like any proper spoilers for the game. I haven't watched any gameplay. I just saw some evolves, so there could be, there still could be more goodies. So it might, it might pay to continue the story a bit and just uh, catch Pokemon on the way. That's what I normally like doing anyway. But uh, I am still starving, so I think, I think we're actually gonna, we're, I think we're actually gonna stop now. <laughs> we're actually gonna save and stop because I'm, because I need to go get some food. And we might, we might play this tomorrow. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It depends on, on. Uh, how much I want to play this game <laughs> because I, I have a feeling I'm going to want to play it. And if I want to play it, then I'll, then I'll probably share it with y'all. Maybe, maybe we can play with some friends. Maybe we can play with, um, I don't know what Ops is doing tomorrow or if I could get some friends from team harvest to play. I, I know that nobody in, I'm pretty much like one of the only, if not the only Nintendo gamer that's in totally human. Totally Human has, like, nobody that plays Nintendo games. <laughs> it's just me. So, it, it'd have to be Team Harvest, I guess. Um, but, yeah, we'll see. Maybe maybe we'll play some co-op with some friends. I'm not really sure what that entails, but 
it could be fun. And pretty much everybody's playing this game, so should be should be pretty easy to find, right? There we go, some outro music. Nice! And I can find somebody to raid! Thanks for chilling with me and checking out this game. This game is, I mean, Pokemon games, they're like they're like some kind of sickness that just keeps coming back every few years. Like it's just it's just hard for me to avoid them. It's hard for not, me not to buy them. It's hard for me to not get sucked into them. So I'm kind of like, why not? Why 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 try not to? So, yeah, we we're back at our back on our Pokemon nonsense again. But uh don't worry. If you hate Pokemon, it's always just a phase and I'll just I'll just get over it after some certain amount of hours. You never know. Depends on depends on the specific Pokemon game. That's the that's the deciding factor is is how long do I play it? Do I actually beat it? Sword and Shield I beat, but god it was hard to beat. It was so hard to do. I never finished Brilliant Diamond or or Perfect Sapphire or whatever those games are. Never finished it. Way too boring. Way, played played it way too close to another Pokemon game anyway. Um, but Arceus, we got through that. We got through it. It was it was fun. I liked it. And this game, this game's giving me the good feels. I'm still I'm still on that that the high from just catching new Pokemon. <laughs> Let's see. Do we want to raid some? I'm gonna raid somebody that's not playing this game because I. Do not want to watch any more of this game right now. <laughs> if we're being honest. Let's see. What what are, what are my friends up to? First time master mode. Wait, 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 wait. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. We got some peeps online. Let's go say hi to... Just rated them. Just rated them as well. Could we go say hi to? Let's see. Did Drewby just get started? We could go say hi to Droops. Go, go say hi to some Droops. Some Droopy Droops. Yeah, Droop just started and is playing Breath of the Wild. Thanks, Ad. Yeah, let's let's go say hi to Druby. Druby is a fellow member of Team Harvest. Beautiful human being. Very, very sweet guy. And uh, plays lots of fun games. Lots of retro games. Very funny. Very funny. Good guy. Very funny. Good guy. If you don't know Druby, you, you ought to. You ought to. Druby's good people. Druby's good people. I got to meet Druby recently. And uh, Druby is every bit as wholesome in real life. And way, and way cuter in real life. Uh, we could just say Squirrel Raid. Go give him some love and watch some Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild's good stuff. New hairstyle. <laughs> you could say that. It's not. It's not really. It's not really what I would call a hairstyle. Lighthouse. Don't worry. Don't worry. I just randomly did this today just for fun. It's not a. It's not gonna become a habit or anything. <laughs> it's just. I just randomly looked at my head and I was like, pigtail. <laughs> I just looked at it. I I don't remember what what made me want to do pigtails. I think I think what I was doing is that I was like, I wanna. I want to. I I what I need is a curling iron for my hair. I need a curling iron very very badly. So what I was doing is just taking strands and just curling it by hand just for fun. And I was like, this won't, this won't stick. This won't stay. I need heat to make this stick in my hair. But while I was doing like the little twisties, I was like, huh, I could twist it and put it up. And then I was like, wait a minute. If I did ponytails, I've done, I've done like ponytails for, or pigtails for funny uh, previously. And then I was like, I've got a lot of hair now. That would look, to it would look totally different. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's my, my brain's analysis. The, I, although I will say, I kind of want to try pigtails with loops in them and maybe make them a little bit higher and make them look like, like bear ears. That would be kind of cute. I might try that. I might try that like little, yeah, make them high up. You want them higher up? Yeah, 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 yeah. I could make them little. I could make them little buns, like little bear ears. That'd be cute. Mini buns. This looks like I'm a brat child. 
this looks like I'm an absolute troublemaker. Like, I'm gonna color all over the carpet and I'm gonna like just like piss everywhere. I just look like a child, a very, a very annoying child. <laughs> Angelica from Rugrats, yes. Yes, that's I, I look like an annoying child whose parent has to just like take their hair and be like, just like, just, just pull on their hair and put on the things and they're going, ow, 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 ow. And they're like, it doesn't hurt that bad. If you would brush your hair, then I wouldn't have to put it up in pigtails. And they're like, ow. <laughs> I hate it! And they're like, well, that's too bad. You don't take care of your hair. I look like the girl from Finding Nemo. Yeah, Darla. <laughs> Darla. Why won't you wake up, fishy? <laughs> fishy! Shakes it, kills it. <laughs> I'm a piranha. They live in the Amazon. A piranha is a fish, just like your present. <laughs> that little demon. <laughs> So scary. You look like a girl. That's a banned term. <laughs> That's valid, though. There's a lot of people that that would be offensive to, <laughs> I guess. And I guess it's it's derogatory, isn't it? Yeah. I guess that is like a kind of misogynistic, crappy term of phrase if it was isolated. But that wasn't isolated. It's because of sexism. <laughs> Yeah, I, I got that. I got that eventually. <laughs> I, <laughs> my brain's working great. <laughs> Look, I'm hungry, okay? I'm too hungry. I'm sexist. I'm sorry. I'm not. Anyway, this sweater reminds me of Neil from the from the Santa Claus movie. Oh, I've never I've never seen the Santa Claus movie. This is this is a sweater that my boyfriend got me whenever we were in Sandy Sandy Exos. And it's, it's really comfy. I love the design. It looks so freaking good. Yeah, I look like a little Christmas Christmas goblin. <laughs> look like a Christmas goblin that's going to complain no matter what is on the table. Guaranteed one of the dishes, this child is going to hate them. <laughs> they are awful. And they, and they only have friends that they can control. They don't, they, they don't make friends with anybody that doesn't just do what they say. I'm so hungry, I'm sexist. It's a great quote. I think it's okay because I'm not. It, it's, <laughs> it's a good quote, but you might get it. You in trouble later. Why would I get in trouble for that? What would that mean? I would only get in trouble if I actually was awful and like they kept getting requoted. If it was accurate, then I'd be in trouble, but it's not accurate. B uh, BRB, sorry, uh, by the way, sorry for cracking you the other day. I was also laughing very hard. What, cracking me? Did you just crack me? Who, who just cracked me? What does that mean? Cracking you the other, I was also laughing very hard. Wait, are you, are you laughing at me? I can hear you laughing over there. I can hear it through my headphones. You know that it reverberates through this cord and I can hear it. I don't want to answer every time somebody pulls it up. <laughs> what? Alex, what's wrong with you? Sounds like somebody's got to go to bed. That's what you get for staying up so dying late. <laughs> the dead squirrel. I can kind of make that face. <gasps> That's kind of it. It's too close for comfort. You got scared? <laughs> You got jump scared. You got jump scared by by close contact. Alex is like, whoa, whoa, whoa! Back up! I said I'm shy. Oh wait, no, you're innocent, Alex. You're not shy, Alex. Wait a minute. Fine, fine. It's it's the thing that I was thinking. It's fine. I was laughing too. What? Sorry for cracking you. I don't know what cracking me. What 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 do you mean getting cracked? Peep and peens during observation. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Observation. Observation duty is a good game. I want to get the fifth one and we should play it. Observation duty is, is very funny. I, I like it a lot. I was looking at the other games and it's like every different, um, a lot of the entries in that observation duty franchise, quote unquote, are like not good. Like there's one that's VR, I think. There's one that's like, 
free roaming. And then the fifth one, they went back to what the first game was. But like the, the two, three, and four are all like different games, I think. From, from the screenshots and from the, from the uh, descriptions. At least two of them are definitely not the same thing. But uh, it looks like five goes back to Roots, and we could definitely play that one. It's on my wish list. It's on my wish list. We'll save it for later. But yes, let's raid our friend Ruby. Give him some love. Make sure that you, you give him a follow and say hi. They are a fellow Harvest team member. They're a very adorable, nice person. And they're not playing, uh, they're not playing Violet. And that's what really matters. It doesn't matter what you're playing, as long as you're not playing a, a Pokemon game. Because, uh, I don't want to go from Pokemon to Pokemon now. Come on now. Uh, but yes, thank you so much, mods, Lens, and, uh, Kimmich for watching over the chat. Dai and Jedi Aurora, my other mods, were not here. But thank them for existing. Thank God for them. Uh, also... Shouts out and thanksies to my to my diamond members, to the diamond members of the Earl Club, uh, namely Lemonberry, Kuya Cat, King Squirrel, and mine, Tayaki, Kim, Kuri, and Pink Monster. Y'all are amazing, and everybody else that either followed, or talked, or lurked, or lived. Thank you for being here. It was good to see you, Fine Pine. Thanks for jumping in and saying hi. All the love to Fine Pine, super cool human being, Innocent Alex. All the love of VIP in no time, no doubt. And also, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, Tayaki. Always cute. You're always a cutie pie. Alchemic. Thanks for vibing. For vibing and chatting. I hope y'all enjoyed the games. Uh, Lighthouse Flame. Thanks for being here too. Drex. I'm glad that we got to catch you at the end and you got to see my hair. Lemonberry. We'll try braids soon, all right? Pinky promise. And thanks for all your lovely art. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll see y'all later. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Beep boop, beep boop. Meow.